Uh, anyway, chat, really quick. Yeah, chat, don't you know it's the, the horror novel? It's about the holes in the wall. Yeah, the Junji Ito, it's a Junji Ito reference. It's a, this hole was made specifically for me, and then it's like people climbing, like, you see, it's a mountain, it's a bunch of, ho like, a human silhouette holes, and then you climb into it, uh, and it's spooky. It's fun. Thank you, Yucky Germs. Oh, dude, there were so many discords. One of my favorite ones was in the Clock Tower speedrunning Discord. Someone posted, or so, yeah, someone posted, like, oh, Dysus is gonna wake up, he's gonna see everyone and uh, tag him. And then I literally just responded, I was the first one to post it here. <laughs> Uh, it was, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, yeah, that one. Uh, it's not Uzumaki. It's um, a very specific one. But I was going to dread. I hope you're doing good today, chat. Anyway, now that we're here, now that we're here, now that we're here, let's talk about the games list today. One, we're starting at the OG Clock Tower. Now, the way I do this is I do all the endings that could be canon. By the way, as you play the game, as you do all the games, I'm probably going to geek out what I think is going to happen. I have so much more to add. I wanted a quick video for YouTube. I have more I'm going to add as we go. Like, we're going to talk a lot about Clock Tower today. Um, but the original game, I'll be doing three endings, actually. I'll be doing A ending, B ending, and C ending. Uh, the reason why we're doing three is because any of the three endings can be canon. Also, if I only did one ending, you would get 20 minutes of Clock Tower. That would be boring. So I started doing three endings because it adds more to clock tower right that's fun i think that's a great time you get more clock towers and yes otherwise this would be short and i think this is such a better way of doing this um we well ignore that uh we have the uh clock tower ps1 here uh we're doing both uh jennifer and helen routes uh there are two routes to this game uh we're doing both uh we have clock tower ghost head which i still have not looked into actually getting better at this game but i mean it'll suffice um Clock Tower 3, which I feel like I'm good at Clock Tower 3. I've been getting good at that. Uh, Haunting Ground, which... Uh, well, you know, Clock Tower Mobile. Sorry about that. We have Clock Tower Mobile here. Uh, we have Haunting Ground after that. Um, after Haunting Ground, we have Night Cry. After Night Cry, we have Remothered and Broken Porcelain. Um... I'll explain all these games in the relation to the Clock Tower series, which, yes, before you ask when the new game comes out, we will be doing it. It will probably show up probably after Clock Tower Mobile. So um, the way I'm doing it is official Clock Tower releases are in Phase 1. Uh, phase 2 is the spin-offs. So, like, uh, when we started adding in Clock Tower Mobile, we put it right here. Uh, because it made sense to put it after the last official Clock Tower release, uh, as it's, hey, here's all the Clock Tower stuff, and then here's the other games. So. Yeah. Uh, anyway, I hope that kind of explains that. Uh, we're gonna dive into the game. I will give a heads up right now. Uh, probably sometime during the first three endings, we're gonna have to play an ad, because I didn't realize I'd be geeking out for that long. Um, we're probably gonna play it somewhere around ending B. Uh, from the Twitch side. But, uh, yeah, that being said, let's dive into it, huh? Let's get started. Um, yeah. Although, hopefully I get a good, hopefully I get good RNG. We usually reset till I get good RNG. Also, now that we're there, um, thank you again for the raid, uh, Star Races. Sorry, I was, uh, kind of in the middle of really, really going into it. I hope you had a good stream. Uh, tell me what you're doing today. I would like to hear about that. Hope you had a good time. Sorry if I seem a little bit space. What do you mean, next level? This live or pre recorded? Uh, why would it be pre recorded? I'm on Twitch. Yay! We got good RNG. Pre recorded. No, I'm not pre recorded. You're pre recorded. No, I'm fully expecting more pink bathrooms because it sounds like I actually petroform. I'm saying, all right, chat, hot take. Hot take right now, and I'll tell you this immediately. You ready? The new clock tower is going to be a terrible speedrun. And I hope it's a terrible speedrun. It's going to be awful. Yep. You know we'll make it speedrun proof? They already made it speedrun proof. Ask how me and my buddies came across this game? Absolutely. The year was about 2012-2013. Also, boys, right there in the turn of three months with bloody scissors and emotes. And thank you, you're doing good today. So Bond has arrived. What do you mean? 
Axel Larson. Han has arrived. How's it going, Hegdis? Josh the Wizard. Uh, oh god, you're running out of names! Running out of names! Welcome on in, everyone. Welcome on in, Raiders. The Pond Raiders. How's it going, Axel? Hope you're doing good today. What are you doing? Uh, I could probably give a shout out to Jennifer Slow as shit on these stairs. Uh, welcome on in. I am McDysis. I do a lot of horror games and horror game speedrunning. You're doing uh, Legend of Zelda. Ocarina of Time. Uh, what are you doing with Ocarina of Time? Are you doing uh, speedrun, randomizer, ga uh, casual gameplay? Tell me all about it. Also, welcome on in. I like meeting new friends. Uh, I am McDysis. I do a lot of horror games. If you like horror, you're all in the right spot. Uh, currently, we are geeking out over the Clock Tower franchise because Clock Tower has gotten its first official uh, major gameplay announcement since probably 2003. Not its first actual one, but its first major one. Uh, but yeah. I do every horror game that you can think of as a speedrun. But also I'm a geek about the Clock Tower series. But definitely welcome on in. Um, welcome Raiders. Um, I hope that kind of suffices. Uh, right now we're doing the Clock Tower full series. Uh, this is a fun marathon idea that I do, which is um, all the original Clock Tower games, all the spin-offs, and yeah, it's fun. It's like 10 hours. It's Clock Tower trending Twitch category, we're gonna make it one. That's the plan, right? Is that Dragon's Coronation the Raider? I know you. I know some of the, I know some of these names. Uh, I need to get a rope though, I think. Wait, hold on. Is that just there? No. No, it's not. I was like wondering. I was like, I don't actually know. I don't think it spawns. Yeah, the grocery store one was fun. You're talking about uh God, uh, what was that one again? Night of the consumers. Yeah. Ah, was a good one, is that? Peg, Pegdis Niggle. Yeah, I know Walking Around of Time has a very thriving community of gamers. Uh, how do you follow what's happening to the captions in Japanese? So when I started learning how to speedrun this game, originally I did it in English. However, the English version has some uh, issues. You do 100% speedruns? That's wild. There's a lot that goes into that. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, but yeah, Clock Tower news. I'm pretty excited. Uh, the, I was actually just saying that the remake's not going to be... Uh, the Port Plus, or whatever it's called, is not going to be a new speedrun. Yeah, so, um, Jorge, the way I do it is I don't actually know what's being said entirely. The way I know it is because I'm looking for just certain text. So in the very beginning, like with the box, I'm looking for a full sentence. If I see dot, 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 I know it's bad. Um, and just one of those things that you just, you know, you see good, you get good. Yeah, it's always nice meeting new friends. Uh, also, we're doing ending A. Oh, wait, uh, I fucked that up. It's fine. We're doing ending A, so we should be fine. Oh, was a power comment. We're doing good. Yeah, we're just talking about the uh, the new one, the new game coming out. I am pumped. Octar's and eating good right now. Also, new Gex. That's actually a funny part too, chat. I'm gonna buy the new Gex immediately when it comes out. We're only in first place and almost first again. That's badass, especially in Ocarina of Time. That's like, that's pretty badass. Oh, there's no more ties. I heard about that one. There's also Roller Coaster Tycoon Three. I played that game a lot as a kid. Funny enough. Or that's a passionate Gex. Dude, Limited Run actually did feel like they kind of did it for me in, in a way. I have nothing but Gex quotes. I might. Also, this game is very RNG based. Uh, hold on. There we go. Oh, Demon Anno be doing good. All right, let's see. Did I get good RNG? Yes, I did. Holy shit. I actually get to show you guys one of the cool skips in Clock Tower now. So I was actually saying right before the raid came in um, that... This game is a really neat speedrun. However, the new game will not be a good speedrun. The reason why is because the new game, from what I can see, is not based on this one. It's based on the PS1 port, most likely. Because the PS1 port, the definitive port, has all the content. That's good casually. As a speedrun, eh, not as much. It adds more content, it has none of the skips. Uh, new bandit. And check this out right here. You see the hole on the ground? That's uh, called hole skip. Uh, and a point and click game. Also, King of Bandits in the prime for three months. You know the bloody scissors of the emotes. And thank you. Hope you're doing good. And cheers. As the next level, welcome to the raid. Also, welcome any raiders. If you have any questions, you're more than welcome to ask. I talk a lot. So, hole skip right there. Normally, you're not able to pass this hole. Check this out. Like, if you try passing the hole, it doesn't work. You can't do it. However, you can use a lot of the text boxes in the game. Um, oh, wait. I, pff, that's fine. I threw that up. Um... Hole skip works because normally you're not able to pass that. However, in the original version of the game, it gets really awkward with the text boxes. The text is super important, and you can actually bypass a lot of things you shouldn't be able to bypass by abusing text. I forgot. I was supposed to go. 
I'm in a weird area because normally if you're doing record, you just reset already, but we're doing no reset mode. So it's like, oh, what I need to do? Oh, there, there, there. And also doing this for nine hours should be fun. About nine to eight to eight to anywhere from eight to ten. Oh, I'm pumped, Rube. I, I'm also so happy a lot of people just thought about me with the announcements. Like, Clock Tower is eating good. Clock Tower will be eating very... Also, I'm going to hard grind the game when it comes out. I'll say that right now. Like, I will hard grind it, but I'll tell you right now, it's not going to be a good speedrun. Now, I've kind of been interrupting myself a lot. The reason why it won't be a good speedrun, that's probably what you're wondering right now. The PS1 version is not a good speedrun. Every version after the SNES version has patched all the speed tech. So watch, right here, here's a minor skip. This is called text skip. What you can do is that whenever you have text in the game, uh, you can open up, open up the item inventory. And since they share the same box, you can use the item text to actually overwrite existing text. What this does is it skips any waiting and immediately puts you to whatever action should be happening next. It's actually very good for saving an absurd amount of time in the run. Uh, it's kind of wild how much it does save over time. Uh, like in a 12 minute speed run, I think it's in total odd. I'm trying to think of all the applications. I want to say it's like maybe in a 12 minute speed run, it's about like 30 seconds. If you get everything right. Maybe about 30, maybe closer to 20, like 20, 30, something like that. It's one of those things that really stacks. Especially in longer categories. Like, it just progressively goes up. Um, but yeah, it doesn't work that way in other versions of the game, unfortunately. Which is one of the downsides. Actually, no, I know. 30 is about right. 30 is about right. Actually, maybe more than 30, because I realize we're actually skipping a lot. Uh, but I can just show you one of the coolest skips in the game right now. Um, it's called the Reverse Dog Skip. Because Clock Tower is a game where you also has own Havericks. Uh, one of the win conditions is that you need to um, find a robe and you need to find perfume so you can fool a dog, or else the dog will maul you to death immediately. And it's supposed to be like a kind of like a puzzle final boss thing. A new Clock Tower is coming. A new Clock Tower release will be coming out. It is Clock Tower SNES Port Plus. Uh, it's pretty much another port of the original Clock Tower game. And it's going to be likely adding even more things like quality of life, cutscenes, and all that jazz. I wouldn't be surprised if they started adding a bunch of other things that are unexpected as well. They're adding a new song. Um, who knows? Maybe they'll even add more stuff we don't even know about. It should be neat. Maybe even, even the deaths might just be cooler. Yes, yeah, so check this out. So this is the final area. Normally you need a robe and perfume. We don't need that. What we're going to need is nothing. Might add tech skip? Uh, I don't know if they will, but check this out. One, two. Uh, so that's dog skip. Uh, I have passed the uh, the final death requirement. As well, I'm doing tech skip to uh, talk to our dead friend here. Uh, we're ignoring her now. See, she's just on the ground. She's dead, but uh, it'll be fine. She, she'll walk it off. It's okay. You see, she's dead on the ground, but nothing. no worries there. All right, so here's the thing on why it's called reverse dog skip. You can't actually go back. Jennifer tells you, there's a dog here. The perfume wore off. I can't get away. So what we're going to do is we're going to use that same text box to bypass this. Oh, I, I whipped. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, if you fail part one, you're okay. If you fail part two, you die. So let's see. Got it. It's a lot harder than it looks. Usually I have to like just, I just kind of mat, like rhythmically tap. And that seems to work. But uh, doing that has a really neat effect on the game. So I can actually backtrack to the mansion again. So the thing is with this, why is this faster? In ending A, uh, the requirement is that you need to actually um, discover the truth about the mansion from Mary. So there's two ways of getting the ending. You either discover the truth from your dad or you discover from Mary. The dad is faster every time and everything else will be doing it from the dad. However, ending A specifically requires you to learn it from Mary. So the thing is, learning, um, getting a lot killed and having to get the second, um, like, book room is slow. It's really slow. Uh, this way, we're going to be able to skip quite a lot. We skip a cutscene with Mary. We skip, um, we skip having to go to, like, two additional rooms. We skip having to get a key. We skip having to get roaches. Uh, doesn't ending A require some of your friends to be alive? It requires one friend to be alive by the end of the game. However, all your friends will be dead by the end of it. 
It is cock towers in Jerem Crab. Also, hold on. Uh, so how good do you rate cock tower one to ten? Is good. I think this is the best of the original horror games. I can honor also has a crazy game today, so doing well. Yeah, I will unironically say this. Oh, I missed text if it's fun. I think the original Clock Tower is the best of 90s horror games. I don't even mean that as like a, well, best of original 90s horror games. But actually, I don't even rank it that high. Top, top, top three. Top three. There's one game I can say is better. It's probably not the one you think. But it, out of all the original 90s debut horror games, it's probably one of the best ones. Now, I bet you're wondering, chat, what do you think I rank over Clock Tower? It's not the game you think it is. It's not Resident Evil, and it's not Silent Hill. I think Clock Tower is better than the original Silent Hill and Resident Evil. Parasite Eve? Actually, yes. I think Parasite Eve is the only game I really think is better. Horror games! No, not Gex! Overblood? No, not Overblood! <laughs> anyway! So, Silent Hill is good, but it, the first game is kind of clunky. League of Legends. Death. Yeah, doing good. Also, no chat. We're locked in jail. Whatever's gonna happen? I have little glots back. No way. See, I told you she'll walk it off. There we go. See, she she's fine. She walked it off. Oh, Lifeline. That was PS2. Sanitarium. Uh, that game's weird. That game's a bit rough. Fun, but rough. Yeah. See, she walked it off. She's fine. Alone in the dark. Alone in the dark. Run is one. All the alone in the dark games are pretty rough. <laughs> oh, no, 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 Cleve, what are you doing yet? Oh, oh, by the way, chat. Uh, she uh lived to immediately die again. She died instantly. Typing in the dead? No. There's two Clock Tower 2s. I think it was Sweet Home. Love Sweet Home. But yeah, there we go. Yeah, it's kind of funny because the way this works is that um, the game has two requirements, right? So requirement number one is that you need to learn about the truth of Bobby. And then you need to learn the truth about Mary. Um, having Mary, uh, you know, kill Lot gets you the truth about Mary. However, finding the Lot's dead body in the uh, underground gives you the truth about Bobby. And those are the fastest way of doing both. So reverse dog skip, what it does is you get the truth about Lot, and then Lot comes back to life so you can learn the truth about Mary, because the game never expected you to come back. Why would they why would they think that? And that's why reverse dog skip is so impactful. Because otherwise you'd have to go to like another room because Lot is meant to be dead. Ah yes. The <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, Abject. <laughs> Never played Do Horror it looks good. Yeah, and the whole thing, uh, uh after, also welcome, F. Um, it's because it's on the SNES, or the Super Famicom. Uh, graphics back then on this game, uh, oh, you know that for a while. Uh, speedrun community-wise, we've been thriving since, uh, uh, probably 2017 since I've been in. But even before I got in, it was thriving pretty well. Yeah! But it's, I, I mean, technically it's Super Famicom because the game never had an official, um, American release, which is actually why we're getting so excited right now. Oh, so we do Dog Soup again, and now we're back in the end game. Yeah, Clock Tower has been thriving for a good while, um, but this only applies to the SNES Super Famicom version of the game. Um, because PC version doesn't have the tech, PS1 version doesn't have the tech, now there's Wonder Swan. All this is only available on this port, which made it such a good speedrun. Like, it's just kind of a problem with the later updates of the game that it can't be as good of a speedrun. So unless they decide to add in a bunch of wild speed tech for some reason, like, it's not going to be a good run when the new one comes out. But I'm okay with that. That's actually good. Because I mean, it's going to be a better casual game. And I'm fine with that, actually. <laughs> you know? There, no, they're not going to add stair skating. Anyway, there's uh, Dan. He's an orphan meat baby. Well, he's an orphan meat mech, I should say. Look at you. You're covered in orphan meat. Oh yeah, it's probably gonna dive more into the cannibalism plot point. Yeah, I do want to say uh, also, Axel, thank you again for the raid. Uh, imagine uh, I always like meeting other streamers. It's always nice to meet new people. So I'm assuming it's a lot of the uh, you said Ocarina of Time on Hundo. I was becoming wizard. I really recognize a lot of names from the raid, by the way, which I think is pretty... It's nice to see a double dip I did not expect. Yes? Cool. i have to check that out. I always like meeting new people. The thirsty Hundo crowd. My buddy used to watch a lot of uh, Zelda Hundos back in the day. He would always uh, just tell me about just how wild the category was, so I know uh, a good respect to the category. Also, I want to say right now, for, for the raiders, you've all been rather polite and pleasant, so... 
Thank you for joining uh, Axel's raid. All right, and now we go up top. It's always nice. I don't know the place to get your layers and some secret ground. <laughs> makes sense. It does make sense, I'm a good guy. Alright, there we go. Miles Levitt with a tier 1 for 24 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you. Hope you're doing good today. Also, cheers, Miles Levitt. And now you have blue scissors, so thank you very much. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I think good things are coming to the Clock Tower fan chat. And the Gex fan. The funniest tweet I saw about Gex, by the way, was that apparently... Uh, what's the word? Gex... Gex? Yeah, sweet, it is back. Gex is absolutely back. And the funniest shit... No, not that. Funnier than that. Funnier than that. Gex. Square Enix sold Tomb Raider. They sold Deus Ex. They kept number one. They kept your boy. Imagine that. Square Enix. Oh, I'm just gonna play Gex Remake. I'll just play it straight up. The fact that they're making it. Also, look, wait, we saved her. Oh my god, chat, Laura. She gets to live forever. I'm sure nothing bad will happen to Laura, right? Embracer, yeah, Embracer. Thank you for the fall, by the way. It's a good time. <laughs> uh, all right, good stuff. But yeah, Chad, the endings would be really fun. Sound like the fall. It was good in drama. Oh, you're good, by the way. And then the birds. By the way, one thing I'm going to be quite excited about is the inclusion of... What's the word? I'm really wondering with the new clock tower. Are they going to try pushing a particular ending as the main ending? I actually talked with VJ Smith a bit on this on Twitter because um, VJ Smith pointed out that multiple endings will exist. They announced this, multiple endings will exist. But in a lot of games that have multiple endings it can't be denied that there's always one ending that's the main ending if that makes sense you know well no the post credits thing happens earlier canon yeah wh like what's the canon ending we might finally have that question answered for us which it could be neat if that happens uh because uh right now with clock tower snes or super famicom a uh, clock tower the first fear i can just call it um a, B, or C can be canon. The only requirements are that Jennifer is the lone survivor. That is it. She is the lone survivor. That is all that happens between 1 and 2. We don't know anything else. Uh, personally, in my opinion, I think the canon ending is A. Uh, the reason why is because ending A features the most that would make sense for a canon ending. Lot dies in front of, you know, friends are murdered in front of her, which I think is so much more impactful. Because, like, having a, like just find the dead body later doesn't make sense or having just ignoring everything doesn't make sense i think having ending a makes so much more sense oh it is abject yeah it's ending a as well also not only that like jennifer's fighting for her life when she's saved by the crows uh the crows are like a huge theme throughout this game Ending C lets you learn Bobby and Dan's names, though. True. Actually, you know, all the endings that you learn, uh... I think all the endings that you learn. Actually, why am I going for best RNG every time? The ending and draw. I like C ending, but the thing is, I really think that the crows should be more impactful. I think the idea that the birds save Jennifer at the last minute is a major thing with this game, and it should be. Exactly, Boyd and Fred. Like, Jennifer building that attachment, her freeing the birds, it's a nice thing. I think it is very nice. Uh, 
Oh, yeah, this is Japan's Grilling Adventure Games in the West, Monkey Island. Uh, well, this wasn't really uh, the equivalent to that. Also, I'm gonna go this way. A weird thing about this game was... This was Fumi Kono wanting to make a horror game uh, based off of movies he enjoyed. Um, and it was a Japanese man. It's not point and click. It is point and click, but that's not the point I'm making. It's not an answer to fight to point and click games in the way you're thinking it is. It's more that Fumi Kono wanted to create a, you know, horror movie. You can quite literally see the, the you know, the, the mouse clicker on here, which I have its entire controlled by controller. Which I kind of hope it still will be, but I mean, I'm cool with pointing clicks. The birds like reference to the birds. No, the whole game is a reference to something called Phenomena. What room did I get up top, by the way? I don't remember what room I got. Was it Doctor? Yeah, exactly. Like, they, like, they love Dario Argento. Like, absolutely so. Yep. Well, it's uh, the whole uh, game is based on uh, Argento's phenomena. It's like a direct rip, almost. In need if I could do a video on the history of Clock Tower? I would love to, but... Honestly, for... I don't think I want to make one on the history of Clock Tower. And like, I feel like that already exists on YouTube. But I really want to talk about is a theory of the Clock Tower franchise that never gets talked about. And it's my theory of corruption in this franchise. I think corruption plays a major plot point we don't talk about enough. Damn, well, I can't have a good forever. All right, chat. All right, we have the bad result. It's fine. Uh, which room is this? This is the piano room, right? No, she was not right to do the car ending. She's immediately punished. Poor Jeebus, no! Well, thank you for the rave. I was about to play an ad. I don't want to hit. I don't want to hit you all with the ad immediately. Well, I'm money bribing. I was my silver wing. Here's the ad. You have great timing. I was. Uh, it's all good. I just. I mean, I can wait a little bit. I can wait like eight minutes. They all understand. I can wait a little bit. Give some introductions. Explain everything. Oh, they also re-release two and three. Well, if you buy a clock tower, if you buy the you know the new port, they'll probably do it. You gotta buy it. That is the case. But yeah, welcome Raiders. How is Retro? Also, there we go. No, I, I'm not raiding into ads for the sake of raiding into ad. I have eschewed democracy to play my favorite series. You're goddamn right I did. Well, you know what they say, Wondrous. You have to break a few eggs to make an omelet, Jack. Yeah, we had a good stream that. What were you actually, were you actually playing more, Jeebus? What, what were you actually playing? That is my question. Making the mother of all omelets here, Jack. Can't fret over every egg. There it is. We're gonna play their Prince of Persia War then. Nice! Hope you enjoyed it. Hope we had a good time. You know, I, I am going to buy a bunch... I'm probably going to buy it on every console, I'm not going to lie to you. I actually probably will. I don't normally buy games on every console for the sake of it, but I actually might. Anyway, chat, let me show you the number one reason why the new games will be a bad speedrun. You ready? Wait for it. I will do them, yes. However, watch. You see what I just did there? I talked to this bag, and now I have the flag for talking to the dad. 
Oh, absolute wonders. Absolutely. Absolutely. Glitch? Yes. Well, it's called tech skip. But the thing is, Delirium, in later versions of the game, every version after this version, if you want to get credit for the dad, you have to talk to everything in the room, including the dad. Now, why is that bad? Talking to the dad has a minute and a half unskippable cutscene. This is the only version where one, you can skip the dialogue text, and then two, you don't have to watch that cutscene. There's a dad in this game? Not just any dad, it's your dad. They found him. He's been here the whole time. And new version when you skip text? I'm not too sure. Even, uh, even with skipping text, though, it's not going to be as good as it could be. Damn, I didn't make it. It's fine. Like, there's just so much stuff the SNES version has, they would have to willfully downgrade it. Yeah, this game only came out for the Super Famicom back in on the, uh, the Japanese Super Nintendo. Why is he here the whole time? This place like a filter with the family. So the lore of Clock Tower goes that, well, there's two two stories. So let's start with why you're here, why Jennifer is here. Jennifer's an orphan, and Miss Mary Barros works for an orphanage. She's actually, the, like, the head of the orphanage. And she decided she wanted to adopt some of the orphans because they live a sad life. So she adopted four orphans. You have uh, Jennifer, Lotz, Anne, and Laura. Now, Anne and Laura are kind of tertiary friends. They actually don't really care about Jennifer. They're just like, you're an orphan. You are also orphans. Oh. Okay. Uh, and then Lot's supposed to be like your actual friend. Why? Because Lot's a tomboy. And that's the reason. Jennifer is different. She doesn't have friends, but she has one A friend. Anyway, going on with this, stuff starts happening in the mansion. It's spooky. You know how it goes. Um, and that's why you're here. I like Vampire Hunter D. Never played it. I'm vaguely aware of it. So, considering this, why is your dad here? Your dad was a doctor, and at the age of five, Jennifer's dad ended up doing a house call at the Barrows Mansion. Um, you know, uh, Mary was giving birth to twin boys, and what happened was uh, the dad, you know, made the on-call delivery, uh, he delivered the babies, and then, as they naturally do, um, one of the baby boys bit off his hand. So Mary, being a rational person, decided, I'm going to lock you in my my dungeon. So she threw him in the trap room and um, killed him. As one does. Based? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. The dungeon she has, yes. Remember Nightmare Creatures? Yes. So that's why your dad's here, and that's why Mary's here. Anyway, chat, really quick, here's what's gonna happen. We're gonna go up the longest staircase, and now is a good time for this. So, I am going to play a brief ad. I need to play the ad. What does that have to do with Scissor Man? I'll tell you that before I play the ad. Scissor Man is the other brother, Bobby Barros, because we have Dan and Bobby. Now, Dan is... Well, both of them are born under a blood moon, and Dan is the favorite child in the cannibal. Bobby is known as the Enforcer, so Mary, you know, ended up having a scheme. They wanted to get orphan meat to feed old Dan. So what they do is that Mary adopts orphans, and then Dan, uh, Bobby kills the orphans, which they then put the meat in the freezer, which then they feed the golden child, Dan, um, so they can satiate him. That's why Bobby is doing his thing. Bobby is unfortunately... Anyone here uh, a sibling who has to work harder to... Uh, you know, accommodate for the favorite sibling. That That's what Bobby is. I feel bad for Bobby, actually. Bobby's a victim. Yeah, I feel bad for Bobby a lot. You know what? I will, Captain Russ. I, I will. Just for you right now, I will. All right, chat. Anyway, I'm going to play the ad now. Uh, when you get back, we'll probably be around the, uh, the, the underground. 
And uh, yeah, right now we're just kind of uh, doing the getting the staff because staff stuff's mess uh, unlucky. So, all right, if you want to vote the ad, ad block, Twitch Turbo, or sub to the channel, those are all your options. Subbing also gets you Clock Tower Scissors. So there's that. Uh, Prime Gaming is the thing. Okay, doing it now. That's messed up. It is. Yeah, Bobby is a very interesting character because Bobby. You can't quite call him evil in the same way you can call Dan evil or even, like, Mary evil. Bobby was just kind of assigned his role. He, he's not really someone who's... What's the word? Also, Cataract in the tier one for six months. You know, the green scissors. Yeah, it is. New scissors. And emotes. And thank you. You're doing good. Also, that Patty G Punch, saying the prime game for eight months. Enjoy well, your email considered. And thank you for the kind words as well. Be doing good. Also, cheers. That's accurate, Lamb Prey. Well, Dan's evil incarnate. Dan is just straight up evil. Bobby, on the other hand, we don't really know what would have happened to Bobby. Now, I'm going to say right now, given Bobby on his own devices, it's very likely Bobby also would have been evil. I can't imagine Bobby ever actually being good. Are there people in there? Yes, it's very likely it is people in there. Like, I'll say right now, if Bobby was left to his own devices, he would probably still end up being evil. However, in this case, we don't know that. There's no way of actually being able to know. We only know that Bobby never had a choice, which it could be unfortunate for that. Unproblematic King. So Dan being a big baby is weird. Dan's not a big baby. Dan and Bobby are twin brothers. Identical twin brothers. And I mean, you're wondering, how, how, is, how are they identical if one's a big baby and the other is a, you know, a regular, like, nine-year-old? Dan's not a baby. He's a glutton. Dan is someone who has eaten so much fucking orphan meat. It has caked his skin. That's not him. That's a shell. He's in an orphan meat mech. I don't know how the fuck he piloted it. Magic. This game is magic out the ass. That's a mech. And this is arguably canon. If you're wondering why is this canon? In not this game, but in every other version of the game... Dan walks out of the mech. Where'd she go? Ah, eh, she, she'll be fine. He walks out. It's like a cocoon, yeah. A chrysalis. He just left? Ah, eh, she had places to be. Oh, it's disgusting. But yeah, he literally, like, gets out of the shell and he's in the next game and he's not like a giant baby. He's just... He looks like Bobby. So... Yeah. It's kind of trippy with that. And then also, going into the evil of the characters, you know, Dan is just evil incarnate. He is... There's nothing really evil about Dan. He is actually straight up a monster. And he's arguably the main villain of the franchise. Mary is not the main villain. She's the main villain of this game because she has the most agency... But the main villain of the franchise is Dan. Dan is the one who's been pulling every string since the beginning. Which also, Dan makes a lot more sense, given that uh, the opposite of Jennifer would be Dan. Considering, you know... Both of them had their parents, both of them had impact by parents, and because of Dan, Jennifer's life went to shit. Oh wait, we kill a lot. Dan Razmi, Chan, that it is. That was me, Stefan. That there is. I did! I absolutely did! I've been excited for a long time, and I know it's coming. I knew, chats. I didn't know, no, but like, I knew. I foresaw it. There's a reason why, chat. Can we have a round of profits? I, I, I gone guru, chat. I felt in my bones. I mean, I'm good at seeing the writing on the wall. I feel like I'm pretty good at that. You know? Oh, that doesn't kill up. You're doing good. Also, welcome back from the ad, ad watchers. 
Hope you're doing good. Hope you, uh, hope you're having a nice time. Back miss. Can I tell your future too, then? Maybe. Probably not, though. Win the lottery? No. New game? Correct, Raul. New game. It's only a port of the old game, but it's new content in our current next year. As we go, hello, hope you're doing good today. So I am pumped. But I think I'll be damn good. I'm excited. We are eating good, Clock Tower fans. Hello, Clock Tower gamers. Only a new game for the West? Also accurate. It's something, it also has new content. Are we eating humans? Well, Jennifer doesn't really eat food. Um, so you don't eat humans, but uh, Mary, Bobby, and Dan probably do. PS1, PS1 was a remake. It wasn't even a remaster. It was straight up a remake. It's really fucking weird. Like, what they defined it as was, they defined the PS1 one as a remake. Well, the PC one is a remaster, I think. It's, I don't even fucking know, man. It's so complicated. Doesn't the guy in the cage eat people? He's eating people for a few reasons. So the main one being desperation. Simon. Yeah, Simon is eating people for desperation. But also, that's actually what I want to talk about, the idea of corruption. Is there anyone that doesn't eat people in this game? Jennifer. And all the orphans. So there's that. But yeah, honestly, alright, so chat, right now, in case you're wondering, because I can, like, that's also why I've been saying I don't think Dino Christ is going to get anything. Like, I, I can usually see the writing on the wall. I can usually kind of see what's going on in the franchise or how a company might feel about it. That's a shell? Yes. So, Delirium, in other, um, in other endings of the game, or other versions of the game, what will happen is, after this cutscene, there's a micro cutscene that will go back to the baby, and you'll see a boy emerge out of it. It's a chrysalis, or an orphan meat neck. Dino Crisis is an interesting project, bro. So, Dino Crisis is a game that really only existed out of circumstance. And it was a charming game at the time. However, Dino Crisis kind of was... of its time. It's kind of hard to have Dino Crisis in our current year, because Dino Crisis was cool because Jurassic Park was cool. Currently, Jurassic Park is not in the cultural limelight that it used to be. Dinosaurs were all the rage in the 90s. Back when I was a kid, dude, I was all about dinosaurs. I watched Jurassic Park, I had the games, uh, like, it was all about dinos, man. That was just the thing back in the 90s. Meaning, you know, Dino Crisis doesn't really work in the same way anymore because, you know, there's still fans of dinosaurs, but they're not really sure what to do with it. That too. Uh, Exo Primal coming out is going to be hitting something that's going to be a little bit weird. Because it seems like they really want to move away from down a new game in Port. Port Plus. It's a new game. It is a Clock Tower port coming out for the Switch, PC, PS... Uh, everything. Absolutely new game. If anyone's bitching, by the way, I want their, their takes immediate shit. If someone is bitching about, oh, we're not getting a new game, we're getting a, we're getting a port. All right, take, take your opinion, hold it up nice and neat, and shove it up your ass. No, I want you, I want to get you down. The last fucking clock tower release we had for anything that wasn't a shit post was 2003. 2003. We're not getting a new game. We have nothing since 2003. What about Clock Tower Mobile? It's a Clock Tower Mobile. All we had, we have been scrounging. We have been scrounging, man. And the idea that we're getting anything, I am happy with. 2002? 2003 if you live in America. Any real, I'm a, any real Americans in chat?
Type uh, Yashar Katona if you're a real, real American Twitch viewer here. I'll play the, the theme song, the I am a real American. Oh, God. Anyway, there's nothing to be. Let's turn and see. 20 years. Literally 20 years. Chat, it's been 20 genuine years. Twenty fucking years. Oh, it's not gonna be good, dude. We're getting something. In twenty goddamn years, I will take literally anything. Let's see, dropper bike. I'm doing good. Oh, I love Parasite Eve. Metro is in a similar place. No, it was not. Metroid had other games that came out. Call it what you want it. Other M came out. That is a release. You've had other M. Nothing happened on the Wii? You had other M. I would, I would love a bad game over nothing. Apparently there's also Metroid Fusion at one point. So, but uh, you're weak if you are gonna be silenced by a game. Rhyme? I said other M. Oh, it's not mainline! We get jack shit for Clock Tower! We had nothing since 2003! 2017 had Metroid Samus Turns. 2016 had Federation Force. 21 had Dread. 2023 had Metroid Prime Remastered. 2010 had other M. You've had games. Guess what Clock Tower had? Guess. Take a wild guess. 2003, we had Clock Tower 3. Or 2002, if you're Japanese. 2001, we had Ready for the Next. In the last 20 years, we had two releases. One of them on the PlayStation 2, and one of them was a mobile game. That takes 30 seconds to beat. Yes, Clock Tower, Ready for the Next, yes. Ready for the Next has been removed, though, chat. It's not around anymore. I fucked up. It's, I'm excited. So, I'm saying right now, there's really not like, the only, you know what's comparable? Gex. Gex. Oh, Wonders, clearly they're bringing it back. Hey, wait a minute, I just realized something, Chad. Hold on. Wait a minute. Did, did I have something to do with removing Clock Tower Mobile? I really hope I didn't. I like Clock Tower Mobile. Why do I say that? Well, it existed pretty peacefully from 2021 until 2023 as a shitty mobile port of a game. I started speedrunning it, I think, in 20, the end of 2022 or the beginning of 2023. And everyone talking about it online has been a direct result of me shitting on it. Like, yeah. And then I learned about it from the uh, the Cuts Twitter account, which is a really good resource, by the way. A lot of in-depth clock tower knowledge. Well, it's weird, because sometimes I, I don't want to, like, uh, jerk off my ego here too much. But, like, every now and again, I do see some things that kind of line up with maybe I do have more of an effect than I think. Like, the White Day 2 one was absolutely, like, I know for a fact I had, I had an impact on that. Like, at this point, I, like, it's fucking ridiculous that I didn't. Which, that's stupid. Like, I really hope I had nothing to do with it, because I, I would hate to have one of the only Clock Tower releases. I hope that's the case. Honestly, John the Tech, I hope that's the case. I, I sincerely hope that's the case. But, like, I, I don't know how the Play Store works, in, in all honesty. Um, I just know that they went from having a game on there to not having a game on there, and I hope it was nothing of my. I hope I did nothing wrong with that. Because, you know, I'll say, um, with Clock Tower Mobile, 
Um, I really did like the art of it. I think the art was fine. Also, it's kind of funny because a lot of people will shit on art not knowing it, certain art's made for certain purposes. Like, I don't know, man. I'm not really one to shit on something for no good reason. Like, I'll shit on something that looks bad or, you know, dated or something. I think a Tomba. I think Tomba will be neat, but I'll probably just watch Tomba. Funny enough, I remember playing Tomba 2 when I was a kid. Uh, when did the Willy Wonka movie come out with Johnny Depp? I relate those two things together. Uh, my, my cousin had a copy of Tomba, and I was at his house at one point, and we're playing that game, and then we watched that movie together, and it was nice. We got the, uh, we were in the snow level, and we had the flying squirrel. For Tomba 2. There's a Gex sequel? No! There's a Gex remake entirely. I demand a Gex sequel, chat. I want a Gex sequel. I want Gex to talk about current political and uh, cinematic masterpieces, chat. This is just like the time I got a hand job in Oppenheimer. Gex will say something like that. I don't fucking know, man. He'll say something stupid and then I'll cringe. I can't do Gex as witty as he can, but you know what? He'll say it, and it'll immediately age. This is just like the time I'm more about. They're on a vampire level. <laughs> you know Gex is gonna, like, uh, fucking say every terrible thing, right? The exact same 90s celebrity jokes in 2023. Well, Reaver, the funniest part is that Gex will probably tell modern jokes, right? But it's not only the modern jokes you think about. Gex will probably tell things that happened years ago. Meaning, Gex will probably tell you about things that happened in, like, I don't know, 2017. And if it came out this year, he wouldn't talk about anything that happened in 2021. He'll talk about, or 2022 or 2023. He'll talk about things that happened in, like, 2016. Is he Gex Dab? Yes. He will reference the meat dress. Isn't Capcom wholly owned Kuan? No. Capcom had nothing to do with Kuan at all. Haunting Ground? Yes. Howdy, Meowmix. Haunting Ground is entirely Capcom owned. Crack in the 212 months. Enjoy the emotes and the decision. Thank you. Hope you're doing good today. One yeah already. Dang, has it really been that long? Oh, hold on. Is this, that was the library, right? That's the library. I need the I need a room here. Oh, I am sad. Uh, Sammy Steve. I am pumped. That was not the mater. By the way, chat, I am absolutely ready and excited for people to realize how badly Gex has aged. I like Gex, but Gex is so fucking cursed. The thing is, Gex humor worked in the 90s. Gex is cursed in the 90s. I, I, all right. For, I remember being really awkward in the about Gex. Yeah, Gex made me very awkward. I felt very awkward playing Gex. I, I felt like I had to turn off the TV when I beat Gex. And they used cheat codes to get to the final level, and then I did the ending. And then Gex was in bed, and there was uh, passionate noises with him and his human girlfriend about to have Gexual intercourse. And I was like, uh, oh, 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 no. Oh, oh. Like, I was, I was yelling, I was like 10, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, I had an idea, but I was like, oh god, I don't know if I should be playing this. It was awkward. Oh my god. Oh god, I fucked up. Uh, it's not about the idea of people having sex with bears, Dark Sly. It's the idea that I was 10 and I was, uh, you know, I didn't know that there would be, uh, gexual intercourse in my game. And I didn't want to get in trouble. So that's my case for it. But honestly, in terms of Gex, 
I didn't totally hate Gex from Army Fly. Gex probably made a generation of scalies. I don't think he did. Uh, a lot of the sex people of Gex was the Playboy uh, centerfold. Which, by the way, Chet, I fully, I fully demand in the remaster that they remaster that cutscene entirely. Yeah, so that's the weird part, Froob. Like, the original Gex was very marketed uh, to kids, and I think Gex 3 in particular had a T for teen rating. I bumped up from E for everyone to the T for teen. Which, in all honesty, I think, uh... What's the word? I think Gex 3 is better than 2. What series sold more, Gex or Banjo-Kazooie? Honestly, I think Gex sold more. Gex was massively popular. Banjo was apparently less popular than people think. Because Gex outsold Silent Hill, it outsold um, Persona. Yeah, this is Lifetime, by the way. Three is way yeah, 3 is really good. Yeah, also, Banjo had two games, while Gex had three. Wins Croc? Don't- I think they are remaking Croc, actually. Also, funny enough, I think Croc and Banjo sold the same amount. That's actually accurate. I know that one. Croc and Banjo-Kazooie sold the same amount in their lifetime. So we'll get that wrong? Yeah, that's because over time, people tend to remember the one that's better. Like, I'll say right now, if I had to pick, I think, um... I think Banjo's probably the one that was actually well, honesty. I think uh, I think Gex is probably better. <laughs> but that's just because I think how do I put this? I just don't like Banjo Kazooie aesthetically. I don't think it's bad. I just I don't know. Gex feels really fluid, if that makes sense. Like Gex is in a really weird area. Where I don't think it's as N64-ish, if that makes sense. Well, it's not even the graphics. The N64 just feels a lot... I don't know how to put it. Heavier? When's the Bubsy collection? Didn't that already come out? Yeah, well, it's not It's not an aesthetic problem entirely. Also, I don't feel that way about Donkey Kong 64. Donkey Kong 64 is great. Um, my other problem with Banjo-Kazooie is whenever I watch speedrunners of that game, because it was on GEQ all the time, um, they only ever use the Talon Trot, right? And chat, I want you to listen to the Talon Trot and tell me, I, I, I want, I'm going to tell you something and you won't be able to unhear it. The Talon Trot absolutely sounds like PB Herman jacking off. It's like, up, 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 up. I, I imagine it's, uh, that's what he sounds like when he whacked it in the movie theater. Listen to it, dude. It's fucking cursed. He really thinks about work. So this is why he got caught? Well, yes and no. I fucking pumped backstabber. Absolutely pumped. I had to? Yes. Yeah, Gex is snappy. Gex feels good. Yeah, hey, hey, that's the thing. It's weight. I think it's the characters like on the rare platformers feel a bit heavy. Gex is very fucking light. And also just, oh no, it's lean, if that makes sense. Just gameplay-wise, I really like Gex more than I did a lot of the rare games. Zeus is a big fan of Donkey Kong 64, at least. And then Banjo is something that I, like, also, if you're wondering which one had more of a cultural impact in a good way, Banjo. I'd say right now, a better game probably is Banjo, but... I like it. Just fucking invincible. Well, she did die. Do you really think so, by the way, King of Bandits and I are today, and on the dragon and that one? Do we all really think so? Never conquer. I can't say this about conquer entirely, but watching conquer looks rough. Like anyone who I've watched play that game casually looks like they're having the worst time imaginable. 
like, for, give credit where credit's due. I've watched you play Banjo. They look like they're having fun. Banjo players look like they're enjoying the game, and that's that's great. I like that. But Conquered players look like they're having the worst time imaginable, and they really just love the game already. I thought Banjo 2 would be the magnum opus for uh, rare uh, N64 games. Like, I know the issues of Donkey Kong 64. I love that game. I know its issues. Alrighty, chat. Uh, real quick. Um, that was the original Clock Tower games. So, here's what's gonna happen. I am going to be plugging in my consoles. Uh, because I need to plug in my, uh, my PS2. But fuck that, I already have a Japanese one in there. Uh, yes, it hasn't run. It hasn't been there, so we're doing good. So we're gonna be going to the next game. Uh, we're gonna be going to the PS1 game. Uh, hold on. I'm not sure the PS1 version. Eh, it's minor updates. You're gonna have to hype. I'm pumped. Scarlet, it's gonna be good. Woo! And I'll talk more about uh, some else in a moment. Anyway, I need to plug my shit in. That is the source credits. I think they're nice. I like I like it. It's a nice pacing. Uh, but yeah, chat really quick. Be plugging stuff in. Uh, I'm gonna play an ad during this. Why? It means you don't get an ad during the gameplay. Uh, which works well there. I think we're gonna be able to catch up to a nice degree, which is where I want to be. Uh, I'm gonna be plugging in my game though and uh, getting everything all set up. Meaning, if you would like to avoid the ad right now, ad block Twitch Turbo or sub to the channel. It's also Prime Gaming. You're missing literally nothing, and this is gonna buy us time when we get to Clock Tower 3, which is longer, so this should work well. I think this will bank some time for us, which is nice. Uh, bank times would be very important, so. Alrighty, anyway, I'm gonna start plugging shit in. We're gonna be going to Clock Tower PS1 after this, so. Don't go anywhere. Prime Gaming. Alrighty, where are we at here? Uh, well, I'll turn this off. How's it going? Cool game you got there. We just finished the classics, by the way. We're on Clock Tower 2. How's it going, Susie? Always good to see you around. Hope you've been well. We're just talking about... I, I, I did my geeking out over the trailer. And uh, now we're on the uh, PS1 Clock Tower. I hope you are doing good. I am so pumped. I also hope game audio is good, everyone. I'll have to turn it up a wee bit here. Yeah, I am so excited. I've been geeking out over everything. Port Plus. That scene is amazing. Oh, I love it. Clock Tower 2. Like Port Plus can make it ASGQ. Uh, I think the original might make it an HGQ. With a knife? So yeah, I hope you're doing good. Yeah, I, I'm excited. I've been saying only good things about it. I, I'm pumped. I can't wait for it to come out. I'm hoping I can be a part of it in some way, but I'm I'm just gonna be happy it's happening. Like, I don't know. I'll be able to get a game key at the very least. Yeah, my mood was kind of immediately perked up, and I feel like I had purpose. It's way too as long as he's alive, we're not safe anywhere, but... So, the interesting thing I'm excited about, though, Susie, is... Wait, the real trailer is just a bunch of talking? What do you mean? It has some gameplay, but it's a lot of talking about what they want to do. They'll probably add more and more as they go. This game retcon stuff in the first one? Not at all. This game is entirely canon in the first one. So, chat, History of Clock Tower... And if Port Plus does well, I think they'll try to remake this game. I think this game would probably get a genuine remake, too. I don't think this game would get a remaster the way the other one does. All right, let's get into the game, by the way, because we have a lot to do. Oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I actually need to... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I almost forgot to put it in FDS. That would have been slow. Well, chat, I'll live with minor time loss. It's all right. 
exactly. That wouldn't that. So, and you think they would make the original if they were going to make this one now? No. The original never had... All right, so here's what I'm thinking. The original never had a Western release. Also, weirdly enough, the original had a remaster or remake. It's really awkward, but the PS1 version of Clock Tower was a remake. Back in the days that they're doing it. They remade it and they called it the first sphere. They included a bunch of new stuff. They kind of all just add on to the original game. That was pandemonium. We're doing good. Anyway, lose a bit of time off that. It's fine. We'll make it up. Let's do this. So it's quite exciting. Yeah. And it, they'll, they'll, use, they'll use the port plus to gauge interest. And I think they would have more ambition to make Clock Tower 2 again. Is PS1 version look uh to most of the spy changes? Mostly the latter, but I mean it was also 1997 when they made the PS1 version. <laughs> oh, they're okay, could be doing good. Or oh, remaster extra content than a remake. They I think they defined it as a remake. It's really it's a really awkward space of time, but that they had to remake the game for to work on the PS1. Again, the whole idea of remakes is a really weird area of what is and isn't a remake. But also, I do think that if the Clock Tower Port Plus were to do better, Sunsoft would feel a lot more ambitious about trying to push Clock Tower to newer heights. I think it's really important that the game does well if Clock Tower wants to be seen as a just a nice franchise. Also, oh god, dude, Clock Tower, if it does, like, one, I think a whole new generation of gamers are going to be amazed with the game design of Clock Tower. I can't wait for everyone to fall for all the Clock Tower shenanigans. Clock Tower has so much, and I love it. How do you feel about the PS3 360 era of H3 Masters? Dude, some of those are really weird. Because I feel like they all just existed for different reasons. Like, some of them are really cool, others were, like, weird. Like, why? Like, I feel like a lot of them are ways to make to make money while others were like, yes. You know what's the weirdest HD remaster that exists? But also, like, I kind of get it. The Sly Cooper trilogy remaster. Yeah, do you know why that one exists? That one was good? Right, but you know why it exists? It's really awkward backwards compatibility no it existed as a test for sanzaru yeah for i think it was sanzaru right the company that made the sly cooper hd was being tested for sly 4 so they made the original game from scratch or some shit like that it's really awkward and i don't know why they did it that way <laughs> Better open a chat. That's actually a fairly good reason, but it's weird. Like, you don't ever see that get done. Like, everything else is, all right, here's an HD Master. We already released the game. You can have more. But I'm excited. Also, hope you're having a nice day today, Susie. We're going to be doing Clock Tower all day. Um, I don't know when the, uh, the last time you were able to check out when the Clock Tower Marathons is, but, uh, we've added a new game potentially since then. Uh, also, I've kind of added more endings potentially, uh, just because I, God, I don't even remember how we got to this point, but for Clock Tower SNES, I put three of the game's canon endings because, uh, any of the three could be canon. Uh, for Clock Tower PS1, I put both Jennifer and Helen's routes because, I mean, it doesn't make sense just to do one. They're both really cool routes, which will be starting on Jennifer, funny enough. Uh, and then we added Clock Tower Mobile, because Clock Tower Mobile is an official Clock Tower game. And thank God it's not going to be the most recent Clock Tower game, because that makes me sad. Is that Tragic on Twitch, a.k.a. Emmy on Twitch? Hope you're doing good today. I'm glad you're excited. I'm I'm pumped. I mean, I've been... I'm keeping an eye out. Also, thank you for the shout out the other day. I saw that on the like my alerts when I woke up. It is appreciated. Well, there you go. Hope you have good rest.
Well, thank you. It's it's very kind. I was actually mentioning it earlier, but um, there's a few just interactions and conversations I had that definitely helped. Um, I guess invigorate a lot of what I do. Um, also just having a lot of people tag me on Twitter with Clock Tower. I don't know, like. I feel like I'm actually. I don't know, vindicated in a way. Like, you ever struggle with identity issues, but then a bunch of things kind of confirm where you are for an identity, I suppose? It's kind of nice. It's kind of like, chat, I felt the exact opposite in one, like, in one 24-hour swoop. I felt the exact opposite about the way I do the streaming. Ah, oh, that's why I'm civil. I've been playing the game for four months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. And thank you once again. Hope you're doing good today. Been doing good. Well, it's not that King of Bandits. Um, it's one of those things where, how do I put this? Well, streaming in general, there's kind of a lot of uh, a lot of questioning your own worth, I suppose. By having everyone just be so resounding, tagging me on Twitter, talking to me about Clock Tower, like just DMing me about stuff. Like, I don't know. There's a lot of interactions I had that just really made me think that, wow, I really did form a name for myself with this franchise. Yeah, and it's not every day. I was actually feeling a little bit down because, uh, chat, by the way, I, I'm going to make a video and it's going to be a little bit greedy for me. It's not even a clock tower. I want to make a Twisted Metal video because I felt a little bit bad the other day because I wanted to watch the, uh, the Twisted Metal trailer on stream and I felt like me doing that, like, I, when I did it, I, like, I just noticed, like, immediately like, a bunch of followers dropped. And I was like, oh, shit, I guess I can't be too passionate about something I'm into, which that bummed me out a little bit, admittedly. But then, right afterward, Clock Tower immediately having the exact opposite effect. I don't know. It's just kind of nice having something be so resoundingly positive about something I really am passionate about. Which is nice. I still want to make a Twisted Metal video. The one I'll make is about speedrunning, though, so it'll be nice there. I ha I've had an idea for a while. Also, Sticky Rings, in the 2 over 12 months. Uh, enjoy the golden scissors and the emotes, and thank you. Hope you're doing good. And yeah, I imagine. And then even with the RE stuff. Also, funny with the RE. Uh, Susie, you know what game I've really been digging lately? Um, Gun Survivor? <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, I really like Gun Survivor. I kind of went on a giant rabbit hole at one point. I think I watched your video on it, and then I saw it at a uh, used game store in Little Tokyo. And then I impulse bought it. And then I was like, alright, let's play this bad boy. I beat it in about, like, two hours, and then I was like, well, shit, what do I do now? And then I just started, um, I just started speedrunning it. And now I am going to be commentating it for a GDQ event. I was my fan. You like the game store? Yeah, the one in Little Tokyo, right? Uh, right next to, uh, right across from the jungle. I love that one. Yeah, I actually did a recent foray into all the Gun Survivor games. Uh, I like Gun Survivor. Uh, for the most part, they're fun. I just don't like Dino Stalker. Fuck Dino Stalker. It hurt my hand. We'll fly as long as we have fuel. Nice. So you're pretty close. I got my copy of Sweet Home there. Did you hear your name? You might have missed Scarlet. No, I was talking about uh, her, uh, Survivor. I know someone's doing Gaiden. Dino Stalker. But yeah. And, oh yeah, so chat, I, I, I totally forgot. Um, but for the Clock Tower video I want to make, there's one Clock Tower Theory video that has never been talked about, no one ever talks about it, and I would love to make a video. Because I don't want to do a video about the history of the game, I feel like if I ever made one, it would, it would just kind of be repeating things you've already said. However, there's something about the Clock Tower franchise that no one ever talks about, and it's the idea of corruption. New theory? Well, it's not so much, it's kind of a theory, but it's how corruption impacts the series, and it plays a major tune. The idea of corruption for many characters. There is so much in, I'll say, all of the games. All of them. This is the one thing that unites every Clock Tower game. It is the only uniting factor. Because most of these series, um, two of the games relate to each other. Two of them have weird fucking tendrils that go to it. But the only thing that really unites these is the idea of corruption. And that anyone can be corrupted based on, I guess, a weird factor which in this case is the Scissor Man or the Demon Idol. No, it's not the Clock Tower United, it's corruption. It's always been corruption. 
Because in this game, there's multiple examples. You have people becoming outright murderers because of proximity to Scissor Man. You have animals going absolutely batshit just because they're in the proximity of Scissor Man. The proximity of an ultimate evil has managed to make things that wouldn't normally be, you know, violent, aggressive, or evil, violent, aggressive, or evil. It makes, it's the thing that drives people to commit cannibalism. It's the thing that uh, inspires a woman to kill for her family. And it all roots itself to two things, the Scissor Man and the Demon Idol. Those two things have spawned a whole wave of killings that these games are inspired by. And this even goes in the other games, even though those themes get kind of weird. But Clock Tower Ghost Town is all about the demon idol. It corrupts the family. It corrupts everyone in the hospital. All that you learn why later, but like, it's still the idea that it's people are succumbing to this corruption. And also in the novelization, yeah, you have the whole thing that Jennifer herself can even be corrupted uh, if in the wrong slate, I suppose. Belmore, thank you for the raid. How is the stream? What are you doing today? You were doing... Clock Tower! Hey! 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 <laughs> Which one are you doing? Hope you had a fun time. We're doing the full series today. I got... You know I had to do it. You know I had to do it. Easily. I love the full series of Clock Tower so much. Chat, there's only one other franchise I can say right now. That would have me as hype as Clock Tower. Also, Cife, did you change your name? Oh, that's not Pizza. That was in Clock Tower? Right, but Clock Tower directory is but for Windows 95. Dude, I love Windows 95, Jennifer. I posted on Twitter and I DM'd uh, Susie just how the game used to look. <laughs> Which is fucking hilarious. It's the, um... Just, like, Windows 95, Jennifer, is fucking wild. Game just works. It's... It was good at the time, in all fairness. I like Lifeline. But no, not Lifeline. No, chat. Oh, Paris said EBS, but... Chat, if there was a new Dead Rising... If there was ever a new Dead Rising... Holy shit, man. I would just... I... I don't know. Dead Rising, come on, chat. If Dreadwolf got it, thank you, thank you. Also, chat, the reason why this game would need a grand overhaul, Clock Tower 2 is aged like shit. This game is not as good as you will remember. Also, this game is wildly cursed. Like, if you released this game as a straight remaster in 2024 or 2025 or even the next three years, chat, you know this game's like, has a, outside of Nabu, this game has a main plot point that, oh, Jennifer's 15. And she's going on a date with a 25-year-old man. But that's okay, because the villain is the 35-year-old man. There, there are two characters who are into a 15-year-old girl. The 35-year-old man is bad, but the 25-year-old man's okay. All evil, evil. No, you can't be dating people under 18. Don't do that. Also, Scandinavia. That was it any coin? Yes, that would mass that would rightfully get shit on in the modern age. Also, yes, the worst part. The worst part about this fucking game. There are three pedophiles. You're right. Chat, do you know that the, the I think it's K. She's seduced by Dan. That is the canon reason why she does his bidding. She is seduced by Dan. Who's worse? Uh, one, the pedophile who is doing the bidding of a little boy, or the little boy who's fucking psychotic enough to actually seduce a pedophile and have her be essentially his, his minion. Yes, that is what the game tells you. Outright. I'm not fucking joking, and that's wild. This game is aged really poorly. I love this game, but holy shit. No, it's not victim landing. Chat, I, I, it is straight up. Dan is manipulating K. The game says this, and Dan is murdering everybody. This isn't, oh, we're blaming Dan for anything. No, no. Dan is using K to murder people, and he is stringing a pedophile along so he can do his bidding. That is the actual lore of this game. If it sounds batshit, it is batshit. How is that bad for a horror theme? I. You, you can't, uh, it's way too much pedophilia. What, what's another game that has that much pedophilia? Like, Iris of the Raid. Iris, shy yourself out. 
Like, they could, they could change it. They could easily change it. I think they could easily change it. They aren't good guys? I... Well, actually, one of them is a good guy. Hold on, that doesn't work either, Failmore. Nolan's 100% painted as a good guy. Nolan's not painted as a villain at all. The 25-year-old... is painted as a good guy. The 35-year-old is painted as bad. And then the other one's painted as a victim. They have three different pairings to three different pedophiles. Thank you, by the way. How is that? Five. Hope you had fun. That's it. I mean, the Prime Gaming. International cultures. For a lot of times, Quintanera. All right, Chad. I got another fun one for you. They're Norwegian. Also, it does not matter if 15 is the age, because Dan is 10. Two of them are into a 15-year-old, while the other one's into a 10-year-old. I'm very excited for the new Clock Tower Doe yet. Hope you had fun, Iris. Also, Zaster, welcome to the storm. Enjoy the most sincerity. Cheers. Also, Iris, you can have one of the... For all your hard work as mod, you can have one of these as well. I can probably do this as well. There, you have that. So... Well, Clock Tower 3 is weird, because Clock Tower 3 is mostly implications, and it's gray enough to where I think Clock Tower 3 is fine. Like, Clock Tower 3 has issues, but not nearly as bad as this game. William isn't a human anymore. It's weird. Wait, which William? Explain. You mean Dan? Dan is pretty... Everyone sucks here, though. Dan's case is that he's ultimate evil. Like, Dan is... Oh, got, oh, Birkin. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Also, Will... Uh, Birkin's weird because Birkin is, like... As weird as this sounds, like, William Birkin works because, yeah, he's a monster man who... He's a zombie. He wants to... Be a zombie. He wants to do a zombie shit. Like, you can't really blame Birkin the guy for trying to... Do what a virus has kind of made him do. It's more that Sherry feels like a victim of virus than anything that, like, I don't know. I don't get the same vibe, you know? Like, he was, yes, it's the G monster. It's a monster trying to track him down as the nemesis tracks down Jill. You can't outright um, blame Birkin the guy for the G monster trying to exist, I guess. And it's like how the meme where Godzilla always directly beelines it to Tokyo. It just kind of... That's what Godzilla does. He's a monster. At that point, he's just kind of an animal. He's no longer the man. He's he, he's a monster who goes to that degree. He doesn't always be lined to Tokyo. You may have me on that one. Yeah, well, the, the difference here is that K is willfully trying to get with a 10-year-old as are the other characters trying to get with a 15-year-old. Jennifer's 15, chat. It doesn't matter if the age of consent is 16. One, Jennifer's 15. Two, it, the age of consent does not imply... What's the word? Even that it's okay. Can you? Yes. Yeah. Should you? Mm, that's a whole other territory of things. Hell, there's actually a relationship in this game that actually also is kind of in a weird area that's not based on... Pedophilia, thank God. It actually is a really cool dynamic. And Chad, do y'all know what relationship it is? Oh, it doesn't. Let me tell you. One of the coolest relationships in this game that's handled really well. Helen. Yeah, Helen's the blonde. Helen is handled really well. Yeah, the blonde is Helen. And Helen's handled because... Helen's in a relationship that's very... Uh, some of you might be able to like just know about this in general, right? You might be able to relate to this, and it's a really cool idea, and it's actually fleshed out super well. And it's weird that you have the ones in this game that are like, all right, here are literal pedophiles, and then you have Helen's. Helen's relationship's problematic because she got into a relationship with her boss. And then you have two competing ideologies about the Scissor Man going head-to-head. -head. And it's fucking wild. And it's actually really handled well. Like, Helen and Barden is a really good relationship dynamic. The power of imbalance on that... But the thing is, that one's actually really good, and it plays a huge factor in this game. 
If you're wondering which route's better, Helen. Helen's route's so much fucking better than Jennifer's. Hey, Persona games? Got you. It's in the novel. Novelization's trivia. But yeah, it's assumed that there's bad blood between Helen and Barden because they were dating at one point as well. Need these novels? Yeah, they're trippy. Yay. Uh, hold on, too much. Shop eyes. I oh, gotcha, gotcha. I uh, also think of the main character for first off from game. They not... Oh, that one's fucking trippy. You mean all the, the incest stuff? This is actually a dating sim gone wrong, not a horror game. It's a horror game, but there's also a lot of weird things. Also, chat, funny enough, given all I just talked about, I actually have a really weird take on Clock Tower. <laughs> Nolan's a piece of shit, but credit where credit's due, Nolan is technically not going to be a pedophile in the same way as the other characters. I I'm not doing this as, actually, guys, he's an Ophibi. No, I'm not doing that shit. That, the people who say that, they're that's weird. Nolan's this guy replying as right now. Nolan's not, uh, how do I put this? Nolan, direction-wise, is not really sexually attracted to Jennifer. Nolan is a piece of shit, but he is not attracted to minors. Now, why is he a piece of shit? He's a journalist. Nolan's arc is to get the scoop on the clock tower story. His whole goal is he wants to write journalism. He's attracted to the scoop. What does that mean? Chat, if the police are denying you interviews and uh, you talk to the 15-year-old girl victim and the 15-year-old girl victim is currently struggling with a variety of family issues and emotions and you're a decently attractive guy who wants to get an interview on the hottest scoop possible, why not lie about a date? He's absolutely using it for a story, but he's a different breed of shit. At the very least throughout the game, Nolan does not make any moves towards Jennifer. Jennifer does make moves towards Nolan, but that's a whole other messy issue that Nolan can't really be... He's mostly acts fine throughout the game's story. Yes, remembered which part. Also, chat. Look, the chandelier. I sure hope nothing bad happens. I was given the chandelier as a farewell present when I retired. Hmm. So it used to hang in the Barlow Mansion. We're not even talking about various pedophiles in different games right now. We're moving past that. It's just pretty easy to say that, chat. He's a journalist. Yes, Nolan. Again, Nolan's rolling with it because he wants to. He just wants to get his story. Although, Nolan, the reason why Nolan's not portrayed as a villain is because Nolan, at the end of the day, is trying to do right by Jennifer in ways that aren't exactly for his own benefit. A good example is right now, I will speedrun it. I don't think it's going to be a good speedrun, but I will speedrun it. Absolutely. I'm probably going to grind it a good amount. Oh, so I like how Barry Burden just waits on his chandelier. Yeah. Like, Nolan doesn't have to go get the statue. Jennifer really just asks, hey, can you please do this for me? And Nolan does. No, Nolan does, you know, care a degree. So. Oh, sorry, you're doing Battle Cat. Well, come on in. That being said, if you do want the best side of this game, Helen's route. Helen's route is so much better than Nolan's, and it removes. Uh, pretty much all of the angles of the... Well, most of the angles of the pedophile characters. Uh, K isn't all of them, unfortunately, but also K's arc is really fucking weird. Ah, oh, that was going Darius. I'd be doing good. Like, K's whole arc is wild. Like, I don't know what... I don't know what the fuck they're on making this. So that being said, chat, in the modern age, I think this game couldn't just get a straight re remaster. I think this game would need to fully be remade. They'd have to tinker the story, too. And I think they should tinker the story. Now, that being said, I think what they can do... Oh, God, how do you even do it? I think, you know, in all honesty of things, they'd have to change. I think they'd really just have to change Nolan. And maybe K. Oh, hey, look. I think Harris can remain the same, but they actually have remake Clock Tower. 
I don't think they would make the new one, but can they make Jennifer 18? No. I mean, they make Nolan like barely 18. I think they'd probably make him like 22 or 23. They'll probably lower him by a couple years. I don't think they'd make him straight up 18. By the way, I don't have to do that. I just like doing it because it's funny. But I don't think the original needs a remaster. It's never got an official Western port. It's also aged pretty well. Oh, that's how you watch it, Pepsi Man. It's funny. I'm gonna make Jennifer a few years older. Okay, here's the problem. Port Plus already announced Jennifer's 14. They already announced it. Also, there's one easy change. There's one change they have to make for Nolan to make Nolan work. That's Clock Tower 1. Right, but the problem is this game happens right at one year afterward. It's one year later. They can't change the plot too much. They have to do one year later, ideally. That's the issue. Now it's four years later. Uh, here, chat, they only need one change. They need one change, and it's super simple. Ready? Oh, wait, hold on. Here's the change. Jennifer doesn't kiss Nolan at the end of the game. That's it. I went to the wrong room, by the way. I'm done. That's the only change you need. It's so simple. Just make Jennifer not kiss Nolan. You can keep a lot of the game's themes. That's fine. Just make sure Jennifer does not kiss Nolan. Or make Nolan rebuff Jennifer at the end of the game. He can still do his journalism all he wants. Just don't, you know, don't have them actually kiss. Harris being into Jennifer's kind of fine because his arc is that he's a creep. And also he dies. He, he gets his comeuppance. Hey's whole arc is very hidden. Kill everyone but Jennifer and Helen? See, that's also a bad take. Because you're forgetting Gots, the greatest character this game has. Gots is literally the best human being in the world. There is no greater guy out there than Gots. Also, Chad, here's me trying to get snacks from my fridge at 3 a.m. Oh no! I'm being attacked in my fridge! John Scoo. Every time, man. Can a remaster not kill a dog and bury a burden? That both of them must die. Also, the dog doesn't die. The dog is soaked. Which one of uh, soap? Yeah, you know, you'll see. The dog's also an idea of corruption, because again, animals are being corrupted with the presence of an ultimate evil and are going to commit heinous act. Soap? No, soaped. Here, I got some dirt in your eye. There's some dirt in your eye. Now, so chat, we were adding on the uh, list of Nolan's crimes. Not only is he a journalist, he's throwing soap in the eyes of dogs. What a monster. No, no, it's just soap. You're just blinding him for a second. There's some dirt in your eye. Exactly. You know, Drevis mentioned we can have the Bully Maguire emote. I might need to add it, chat. I might need to add it. Hold on, I think I got linked. I'll add it right now. Already soap a dog? Because the dog would maul him to death otherwise. But chat, I'm not going to lie to you. If my options are being mauled to death and throwing soap in a dog's eye, uh, I too... To throw soap in a dog's eye. I'd want. I would rather not die. All right, chat. There we go. Holy. Where? There you go. You know that now. Can't see the mauling. They need to leave. But yeah, going to the other characters, though, Harris's arc works fine for what the game has. I do want it to be mentioned, by the way. Chat. All right. In gaming, dark stories do have a place. It's not totally fair to say that a story shouldn't exist because it's dark. People have mentioned, oh, but how can, you know, it's a horror game. They're bad characters. This should happen. 
or you know it's okay for it to happen and you know what you're not entirely wrong harris existing is fine harris is portrayed as a piece of shit he's not meant to be a good guy he's meant to be someone who's obsessed with a 15 year old and he goes to ultimate acts of evil to try and get with a 15 year old and his just reward is that he gets stabbed in the back and dies which good at that point like if you're going to start killing people for that yeah that's that's really bad it's bad in general but hitting the point where you start murdering people too is even worse yeah it should be good for the anime And then also, K is kind of seen as a villain, but that one's kind of a really weird area, but it's not really in the game as much, so that's kind of an upside. It's more in the book. But Harris is very much in the game. I'll have to redraw the sprites. Um, so it looks like the game itself is mostly going to be the same. However, they'll be adding in cutscenes. And the cutscenes, if I had to guess, they're going to be two things. One, the cutscenes are likely going to be resembling the manga. I've talked about the manga before. I've shown stills of it. Um, we, that, that exists. It's a thing that flushes out the characters. It would make sense to probably include some of that. As well, I'm, ima I'm imagining the cutscenes will also probably be, um, just the stills. So, picking up the demon idol, seeing your dad. If there's anything that have a cutscene, we'll probably have a cutscene. I'm probably throwing a lot more on those, which, that should be a welcome change. Uh, it'll be nice to kind of, oh, well, you beat me. I was up 16. I'll be having fun. How's it going, hot papa? Hope you've been well. Yeah, I was in Black Arrow. Welcome, Raiders. I'm McDysis. I do horror games and horror game accessories. I hope you had a good time. Uh, I do literally all the horror games, and a new clock tower dropped, uh, dropping soon, and we're gonna play the shit out of it. You made us sit through all of the credits. Alright, do you remember the names? What was your favorite name in there, Black Arrow? Sometimes credits can be fun. You have to cherish the people who made your video game. Alright, what names do you remember? In Nightcry, my favorite credits is there's a guy who's called Anal Master 19 and he's a king. I love showing him off. Agree, agree? Yeah. So that's what we're just talking about. I don't think Clock Tower 2 would get remastered. I think it would get a full-blown remake. I think this game being PS1 is not aged as well as SNES. The SNES game has aged like fine wine. Uh, this game has not aged nearly as well. For real? Yeah. I did have reboot Gadante, and I think they specifically paid for that sprite. I like watching credits sometimes. Like, I don't mind it as much these days. I can, as long as it's not super fucking long. It depends. Like, I don't want to watch any Assassin's Creed credits anymore. That was in Let's Play, so I'm going to be doing good. Oh, come on in. Ah. Dude, I have that Bully McGuire song stuck in my head now. Octar 2 is like Code Veronica. They have to re add some iffy parts to make it. I think they. I think really the only major change that they would need is they need to remove the final cutscene where Jennifer kisses Nolan. Even if Jennifer's the one doing it, yeah, it doesn't. Like, we can do without it. Who chooses to go to England? Well, that's why it's a horror game, Love Tactic. They're all going to London. I can't believe it. Helen survived. Well, they didn't take the bus. Maybe that's why. Yeah, uh, admittedly, I also... Th All right, I think as well, though, with... Because chat, think about it. Think about it. With an IP like Clock Tower and with the current culture of gaming, it's very likely that the SNES, you know, Port Plus is going to be a way of testing the waters. If it does well, I think it might invigorate the company to go for a broader scope on the next one. But the amount of remasters happening, I can totally see it happening for the... Um, I can totally see him trying to remake Clock Tower PS1. Also, this game is not aged as well as the SNES game at all. Also, look, I can't believe it, Chet. It was Harris the whole time. Like I said, you find out he was murdering people because he wanted, uh, he, was, he was promised Jennifer. Also, I think you can hear him die before he's been moving. Like, this whole arc's actually pretty good. You know, Jennifer's cornered in a room. He's about to be preyed upon by, or she's about to be prey upon by, you know, Harris, and then fucking murdered, and then you cheer, because Harris is a piece of shit anyway. And then you're actually happy to see the scissor man. Death. Oh, there's the one you must medium suspect. 
It's always the one you always suspect. I can't believe it. It's scissored idiot. Exactly. Although, chat, you know what's funny? I was like, crapping my pants. What a name. Yeah, I like your name. That's a fun name. I, I think this game, this game has some charming deaths. This game is a nice game. I think the shadows are nice and the lighting's nice. Yeah, they're nice. This game mainly suffered because the, um, you know, you released the second game with no instance of the first game existing. How many times? I mean, in fairness, he's 10. Good for an early PS1 game. Came out in 96. Same year as Resident Evil. It's wild, isn't it? Although, I do really hope if they were to remaster this game, they wouldn't make a point and click. Or remake this game, they wouldn't make a point and click. I hope it'd just be like a full-fledged, like, Clock Tower 3. Thank you for that, I thought. I think that's fine. Alright, we have... Looks like... Uh, star. Looks like a star blade. Alright, chat. I'm gonna ask you a question later. Between star, stun, and moon. You get it wrong, you die. So, the answer is star, okay? It's star. We don't need to grab this, but I just wanna do it just to make sure. It's star. It's star. Like Clock Tower 3? I like Clock Tower 3 as well, but unfortunately it bombed pretty badly. It bombed so badly, Haunting Ground got made. Which, uh... Awesome. But, uh... It did bomb pretty badly. Does it change routine runs? It is RNG, yeah. It can be any of the three. No, Iris! It's Star, not Sun! Now let's see the rats. Oh, uh, if you want to see rats, chat. Any rats in chat? Any any, any rats? Let me 3D or hand-drawn special. Make this game? Make it 3D. You heard a rat? There are some rats in chat. A few, it might be a few rats in chat, in fact. We're not going to see the rats in game. No, I don't want to die by rats. Also, I was going to say, I could be doing good today. Couple of rats. Badass, though. Oh, yeah, chat for other news. Uh, the RE event officially got announced on the GDQ Twitter. I'm pumped. It's a happening. A lot of the runners started announcing on Twitter. I saw Ms. Scarlet posted something. I see. I saw a few of the uh, few of the announcements people have been making, so I'm happy with that. I have, it's been so fucking just... Oh, God. I've been doing so much in the background for this event. Like, I'm hoping it goes off without a hitch. Rats. Rats. We are the rats. Exactly. Excited? Yeah, I think it'll be fun. You may be considering doing your run of the RE4 Chainsaw. Wait. You have a team. Don't let your team down. Me and Cat co host Yeah, Cat's gonna be my co-host. So, um, whenever I do these events, I like having a co-host, because then I have someone to buffer off of, and they help me set up the event. So me and Kat, uh, you know, we, we drafted the lot was going on, we drafted, like, the schedule, and all, like, the, a lot of the details in there. Alright, chat, I was being facetious the other day. I actually did manage to source three people for Gaiden, by the way. It's funny, because I'm like, do you really think I got this many heal for Gaiden? I did. I actually did. <laughs> three? Oh no, three because I needed a commentator. You have a commentator. It's not like, it's not me. I'm not commentating Gaiden. As I kept saying, I need to find two people who legitimately own a copy of the game, which both of you do. Um, and then I would need to find people who also, uh, you know, someone who can also commentate Gaiden. So... Easier to get three heal for Gaiden than zero. One of the downsides for RE0 is that one of the people I'd want to get 
uh, works. Yeah, I will say right now. I did have a couple of runners who I did try inviting who were unable to go, who were unable to do it because of work or uh, other busy stuff. Like, I really wanted the Swordfish and Shishijima to join for various runs. However, uh, they were not free. So I had to, like, they, they appreciated the invite, but uh, they, weren't, they weren't able to join. But, I mean, uh, they said next time. Damn time zones. Punch Mom, it wasn't time zones, oddly enough, Wondrous. Um, it was work and, uh, like, uh, just scheduling issues. Like, they were busy the weekend it was happening. Which, yeah, I mean, if someone's gonna, you know, make their livings, that's more important than running video game online. Like, yeah, definitely, definitely. I was like, yeah, no, no worries. Also, sometimes extending an invite's quite nice. Scheduling conflicts are bound to happen. Oh, absolutely. It is? Yeah. What, Ray Zero? I see no works you're passing with right now. Miss Scarlet? I want to keep this in mind while I'm seeding the teams. Because I have to seed the teams. I have to make sure I seed everyone properly. That's right, I'm not going to... Alright, so if you're wondering how I seed teams, by the way... The way I see teams is I try to balance a good amount of people who are likely to win on each side. Oh, we have some fun games coming up. I did that with Silent Hill as well. It's like, all right, this person's probably going to be the winner versus this person's probably going to win. Although the funniest shit, the funniest fucking shit. Chat, for the Silent Hill event, I accidentally seeded it the opposite way because all the people I thought would win lost. I was like, oh shit, wait a minute, no! Wait, what? <laughs> Curse upon them. Wait, did I not grab the key? Oh, wait. In a way, I was right, apparently. Oh, I didn't talk to her twice, I'm dumb. I suppose you're not wrong, Azon. By the way, clock tower! New game, baby. Hope you're doing good, my friend. Chat. Azon's one of the buddies I talked about when I was in high school who I played Clock Tower with. It was me, him, and Shiroi. We played the PS1 one first, and then after we played the SNES one. He's part of the kind for sure. Oh, I'm buying it day one. I'm gonna buy them and buy any special copies. I'm gonna buy fuck them. Just the SNES one? It's Port Plus. Port Plus. It's a new game because it's a new game. It's coming out. It's new. We can call it a new game. That's what it is. Did you get as far as the second floor? Why do you want to go up there? There may be an escape route. There's no way to escape, but if you want to go, take this key with you. Yeah. I don't know, but it's worth it. You can probably visit somewhere there's no key. We soft locked is what we did in high school. Well, the funniest part is I think that we messed up for this game. Oh, yeah, we did soft lock. You mean for uh, PS1? Hey, I just attest I never killed Barton. I learned later what killed him. It was not me. It was whoever killed Gots. Actually, no, I didn't kill Barton. I actually did. I know I did. <laughs> but I didn't kill Gots. It sure believes me. He absolutely does not. There we go. But, yeah. Also, because, okay, let me, let me tell you, chat. So, the Silent Hill event. I, all right, so the way I expected it is I expected Aaron to win. Aaron did win. I fully expected that. Donald 2. I thought I would lose. I bet against myself. So I figured, oh, Aaron would win round one. Shishijima would win round two, right? Because Shishijima had my PV beat by like, I think like 30 seconds. You know what I didn't expect, chat? I didn't expect a PB on the GDQ stage. That's kind of the, uh, oh. Huh. Hold on. Like, right? Well, no, I didn't know how I was playing. I, I, I'm not watching the other runner while playing. Well, Fillmore, the weird thing is that speedrunning has a weird nature to it. Uh, where can you see my GDQ PB? Uh, on King of the Silent Hill in Neodarko. I think I've been in that PB since then, uh, luckily. But the King of the Sun Hill VOD, I PB during that. I got an event PB. So a lot of speedrunners and speedrunning in general is vacuum. 
it's a very vacuumed hobby. Meaning, if you ever look at the leaderboard, you're only ever watching a runner's best. The thing is, your best is not always going to be consistent. You're not hitting that best every time. A lot of runners won't ever, in fact, you know, play out a game entirely. I'm a runner that's very known for playing out the game always. I massively play games out. There we go. Like, if I have a run, I will finish that shit. I'm very dedicated to uh, the beating of a game. I don't care how good or bad I'm doing. So the thing is, I apparently, if I didn't take that into account, I'm really good at live racing because I just beat a game anyway. I'll just do it. Gollum? No. I don't want to do Gollum. That's the difference. I mean, games are actually run. I didn't run myself. I will not be running during the Resident Evil GDQ event. I don't believe in just giving myself a run during something that I don't feel like I'm entirely set for. Like, as much as I'm involved in some of the games, I don't think I should be running for any of those. Because, like, I was on backup. I'll say that right there. Like, I, I'm technically a backup option for one of the games. For one of the games, I'm a backup option. That's the most I hit. But also, I'm commentating one of the games. You can take a wild, chat, take a wild guess what game I'd be on backup for. Take a wild guess if it didn't work out. I'll give you a hint. It's exactly what you think it is. RE5? No. Picture 7? Well, 6, technically I could be, but no. Survivor? There we go. Thank you. It's Survivor. Yes. It would be Survivor. No, not Gaiden. I don't want Gaiden. Dead Rising. Yes, during the Resident Evil Marathon. I'm back up for Dead Rising. That's right. I'll be racing Dead Rising. Also, we're doing good for Steve. What games are in it? I don't want to spoil the whole surprise. We have 11 Resident Evil games. Also, chat, here's the greatest jump scare in almost any game ever made. Ready? Boom. That's how you do a fucking jump scare right there. Fuck. Survivor 2 on it? No. I'm not gonna say all the games, but... Oh, we'll find out on Saturday and Sunday, chat. We shall be seeing. You couldn't get anyone for RE3, so I can be playing Dead Rising on screen too. You know what's funny? What about the others? I don't know. We were tapped and separated. What happened to me? So chat, since it wasn't announced, I'll say right now. We couldn't get runners for RE3 Classic. We talked with a lot of people. Can we get them for RE3 Classic? No. Finding enough people for RE3 Classic was surprisingly difficult. We, we talked to a lot of people. A lot of people just didn't want to do it. That should be an easy one. You would think. A lot of people just either didn't want to do GDQ. They, didn't want, they weren't free that time. They didn't want to do that specific events. Everyone wants to do the remakes. It's not so much that everyone wants to do the remakes. It's just easier to find who wants to do the remake. Like, luckily, one of the runners that we had can do both classic and remake and are pretty good at both. Bach? Uh, we did try asking Bach to join, but he actually never responded. Like, he kind of did, but then he didn't. So you've had one one plan with him in mind, one plan without him in mind. But also, you know, it, it's it's one of those things. It's time out of your day. Isn't Bach on vacation? That could be it. He might be on vacation. That's nothing bad. People just have things to do. Like, chat, I want to mention, this isn't anything bad, by the way. Sometimes things just don't line up. Like, one of the runners I talked to, they just mentioned, oh, hey, I'm just at a time where I'm chilling now. Like, you know, I, I still like running games. I'm not really feeling the GDQ thing. Nah, it's not too big for GDQ. Like, if you're on vacation, it makes sense that you don't want to do a... You care to outsource? Outsource what? Well, we already have everything figured out. It's all figured out now at this point, chat. So, uh, that is the case. And also, it's kind of one of the things that you need a balance of runners, so you can't just take any mm. random runner in existence. You kind of need two runners who are relatively going to be equal to each other. Because, like, a good example is, like... Chat, imagine... <laughs> Alright, we have the world record holder of, like, <laughs> blank versus, like, 82nd place. And then they just get fucking dominated, like... It can happen depending on how it goes, and like, you know, obviously matchups may vary, but... You can't have it for every game, essentially. I've seen Oats. They run RA3 Classic? But even then, like, we, we, we haven't figured out. Anyway, shows the answer is Sun, Star, or Moon. I'll give you a hint of a star. Hydrogen Bomb versus 
hopping baby. Super Metroid? Oh, yeah. It was Moon? No, it was Star Chat. And, nah, uh, I mean, I get, I get the light BB. It's, not, it's nothing bad, like. That's also why I'd say I usually plan around it, but uh, he was definitely, like, Bach was invited, and he did, res like, he did respond to us, like, bits. I I'm pretty sure it was just, like, you know, just time. It's, I'll say right now, it's nothing bad. It's nothing bad at all. He's sitting this way a firm 10 minutes. He only had 90 minutes left in this two hour run. So. But yeah. And then as well, even though the um, matches that might seem more one sided, we're going to make sure that, you know, there's going to be equal sides per team. So the deciding game might be like, I don't know, fucking, I don't know, Gaiden or some shit. Because Gaiden's a pretty equal matchup, I'll tell you that much. No, I'm not running RE4, chat. Why would I be the RE4 runner? No. I'm not going to be the RE4 runner. Chat, if I ran RE4, I'll tell you right now, I would get dominated. I am not running RE4. I don't want to embarrass myself. You didn't say me. I have the four hour runner that got removed from the leaderboard. That's me. You want Faith at GDQ? Faith has been a GDQ. Uh, but not a ran it, like uh, chapter one and two. And uh, the demo of three, I think. Chat, I don't care if I get an event PB. I, I, think the, I think the RE4 people may have announced it. Either way, I'll say right now, RE4 is there. I am talking about classic. R4 Classic is involved, and I am not going to be running RE4 Classic. I would get fucking dominated. I'm not a fool. Where are you going to do, Tim? Yeah. I'll wrestle a while longer. Then look for an exit. I don't know whether I'll find one or not, though. And I'll gotcha. Either way, do the run twice. Either way, do the run twice to win me. Oh, of course. But yeah, chat. I I'm not gonna. What's the word? I'm not gonna run. Uh, I, I don't really. I, there's like maybe four games in total I could run during the event where I feel like I'd be okay. But even then, one of them I still wouldn't feel okay. Okay, I feel like kind of okay. So myself so for failure. Uh, I would really only feel. Actually, I don't feel okay doing any of them. Like I, I don't think I could race in any of the categories, and I don't think I would win any of them. Like Survivor, I think I'd put up a I'd put up a good show at best. I don't think I'd win. Uh and any of the other ones, I don't think I'd win at all. Iron Survivor? Well, if it wasn't obvious, Punchy is doing Survivor. Thing of the fall, by the way. I'm not beating Punchy in a speedrun race, especially one in Survivor. So, I'll say, what game was that, Andromeda? I mean, Punch ever gone toe to toe? Um, not particularly. I don't think we ever had anything we ever raced in. Ah, oh, gotcha. Okay, I gotcha. That's probably skill based real record. Oh, that's good at least. Oh, RE4 is a wild game with a rich history. I love RE4. Like RE4's community is they're 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 fun. Like outside of the one like thing, it's it's fun. Galarians, yeah. When's the great Hellboy Asylum Seeker race? Are there even more than one, like two runners of that game? That's a fair question. I know you run it. Who else runs it? There's one runner. Aren't you the one runner? Who else are you going to race? There's no race. Race Sonal 4? Well, I wouldn't race Sonal 4. Uh, Sonal 4? Typical. 
We had the, uh, last time we did King of the Silent Hill, we had the, uh, the Latin American, uh, matchup, which was pretty awesome. There's a lot of great Latin American talent in that game, and I really wanted to give a focus there last time we did King of the Silent Hill. And I'm really happy that we did. It's kind of a, an area of speedrunning you don't get to see very often. Chats, here's the thing. In terms of a race... The only game that I can race people in, I can't race people in, because then it's the other way around. Also, I really don't like doing a lot of races outside of maybe events. Like, I can probably, like, alright, here's the thing. I pr I can beat Punchy in Dead Rising. Why? I literally breathe Dead Rising. He's not going to run Dead Rising. Also, we're not going to race. He would beat me in most games. The only game I'm beating almost anyone is, is, uh, you know, Dead Rising. And even then, I can lose to some people still. Yeah, Haunting Ground? Well, I mean, there's not a lot of runners with Haunting Ground is the main thing. I mean, for a game that mutual mutual runners. I was asking about Punchy specifically. Haunting Ground, I could probably race Swordfish. I mean, no, I would not. I would not. Jin, Jin, Punchy quite literally, I think, set multiple world records in the past week for Survivor. I got top six, and I'm proud of top six out of ten runners. Yeah, my ass ain't beating him in Survivor Race. I'm commentating Survivor. I'll commentate. Uh, I'm cool with that. I am perfectly fine. So you remember. Let's play again, Jennifer. Challenge runs. What was the challenge? Did I know that? Yeah. Octar SNES race time to really dominate. To RNG. You know, for what it's worth, only being down by a little bit is not so bad here. Being at Spookies, that's not a mutual- Chat, keep in mind. Mutual games. Mutual. So there's obviously one-sided uh, games on one behalf. Like, oh, he, he, this runner doesn't run blank. Well, yes, they're not going to obviously win in blank because they don't run blank. Meanwhile, it's actually mutual. Two of the same game. So yes, I'm going to beat someone in Clock Tower who's never sped ran in Clock Tower. That is accurate. Also, I'm really bad at this one. You know them all? That's fine. Either way, I don't really do a lot of races as well. That is very uber specific. That was fun, but very specific. Anyway, chats, there we go. We beat Clock Tower, Jennifer's side. I gotta, I gotta start picking up my time save. Chat, where's all my time save at? Is it peeing? It might be. Might be peeing. Either way, I'm pumped for the RE event. I think it's, I think it's gonna be good. Me and Cat put a lot of work in getting that geared up, and uh, chat. We have a little artwork too, which uh, I wanted to try having it with the uh, similar to the um, the Silent Hill artwork, where you have like two sides, then you have a referee. So we had uh, Jill Nemesis, and then you have a, uh, then you have Tofu as the referee, because we needed to find a neutral party in Resident Evil, and Tofu was funny. Mirror reference? Yeah. Pretty tough, you know that. Well, you just saved me. Jennifer, no, get away from him. See, cut that part out, and you're good. Jennifer, Nolan. Helen. Oh, Helen. You know what the funny part is too. The Jenner, uh, the Helen route has a better ending cutscene. Ain't it gonna be a ref? Nah, she couldn't be a ref. She's too wait. She like as neutral as neutral she said she is. No. Anyway, chat. All right, that was the Jennifer side of Clock Tower. We're gonna be going over to the Helen side during this time. I'm gonna play an ad. Why? They'll remove pre rolls. You gotta play the ad for the ad deal. And uh, yeah. So, if you want to avoid the ad, ad block, Twitch Turbo, or sub to the channel. What are you missing? Credits. Just these. Uh, so yeah. If you want to avoid the, uh, the ad, that's how you'll do it. There's also Prime Gaming. Any, any primers? And you get scissors. And we get closer to Tomb Raider, Angel of Darkness. We might just jump to that one next. We'll see. Anyway. Well, I mean, ne next for the Tomb Raider games. Alright, doing it now. Yeah.
And when the farm station or ghost here, you just got lost in the hallways. I'm getting better at Ghost Ted. Hi, Tally. Hope you're doing good today. Tower Port Plus looking good. That I will absolutely buy the new Gex. I am going to day one buy that shit. You know I gotta. I gotta buy the I gotta buy it now. Come on. Translation patch to Ghost Head. Why would I have a translation patch? That's an official translation. What are you buying? I'm buying the new Gex immediately. I'll be taking chat out for a night of passionate Gex once again when that trilogy comes out. Damn. Chat, I think my time slot's not good for getting front page promotion. Oh well. We tried. Night of passionate gex. So why do I keep hearing about fan house on Twitter now? Something bad happened with it. I mean, I've been hearing a lot of negative opinions about it. I don't know what's going on there. No Gex in the in the champagne room. There could be. You know what Gex is? It's a gecko. Uh, Japanifornia of uh, localization. Maybe. But I have not avoided bread. Uh, patch helps this work a little better to match. Original. Also has an S magnet. Exactly, you get it. Jack gets it. Makes sense. Although, hold on, wait a minute. I'm not gonna lie to you. The English version's better with Bates. Because Bates is kind of a monster while Show is kind of just, eh. You don't care about Show as much as you care about Bates. It could be neat. Now you gotta check Twitter. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom. Wait, chat, when's RPG limit break? I think it's coming up soon, right? Next week? Ah, shit. Oh, dude, wait, Froob, you still here, by the way? I don't know if he is, he may have gone to bed. Shit, I forgot, I don't know, I don't know, uh, because I heard about it. Uh, GDU's having a Yakuza event next weekend. Actually, uh, I might be primed to watch that. I'm curious on all the details. I think G ever get out of the and ghost head. I need, well, not G, I need to add, I think L or something. Someone, I, I know recently uh, there's uh, there's been a category I need to add. Hey, we did it. Let's go. Hey, you're going to RPG Limit Break? Nice, hope you enjoyed Zero Blade Edge. Hope you have a good time. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about the event. Also, let's go immediately uh, so we can get in the game. I don't know a whole lot about the event. 
but I do hope you have fun with it. Um, I think RPG Limit Break is a lot more chill than GDQ. Like, I'm not, I, I, you know, I don't know a whole lot about it. I know people here might, but like, I don't know. Everyone's chill, but we have a lot of fun. Just doing commentary, so it'll be fun. Hey, very nice. It's a chill time. But chat, it all kind of goes back into demographics and speedrunning. Like, horror gamers are like 30 year olds right now, right? Like, young 30s, uh, old 20s. RPG gamers are like high 30s, young 40s. Obviously, outliers and all that, but I think that's a lot more chill. It's a lot it's more chill than I think the uh the GEQ experience is. But I don't know, I've never actually been to one. I kind of just imagine what I know from the various RPG runners I do know. Not to say people can't party or anything, but just demographic wise, I imagine it's gonna be a lot more relaxing. Yep. Well dude, you know what's fucking trippy? I love this, by the way. What event's happening next week? Uh, RPG Limit Break. It's kind of like the, uh, imagine GDQ, but only RPGs. Hey, on the follow, by the way. Chat, one of my favorite fun facts. I have no idea why the fuck this is. But, like, RPG speedrunners. Like, if you look at the event, it's like... Parents. It's like a bunch of dads and moms. Not like my dad and mom, but like, it's like 10 years older than like, imagine the horror community and put 10 years on that. There's outliers, yes, but like, all the who I know who run RPGs are like, I have a full time job, I'm married and have a family. It's like, how, how, how are you, how are you running all these? These are long games and I don't, I don't know how they find the time for it, but it's wild. What's wrong with that? Nothing. Nothing's wrong with that. It just when you run like 14 hour games, like how do how do you do it? Chat, I'm a degenerate gamer who's able to stream these games for like 10 hours. Because I you don't have a family. I have a very minor amount of responsibilities. This is my job. I'm able to do this just because I'm able to do this. Well, I'm see you to running long games, your kid is 12. That's fair. I mean, as kids, I've moved out enough. Ah, okay, I gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, by the way, I'm not saying this at all as an insult. I'm saying this is actually kind of admirable. <laughs> this is quite an admirable fact, by the way, chat. Uh, the, kids, the kids feed themselves. But, I mean, they, they seem pretty responsible. <laughs> Buy you a play of snacks? Ah, that's the move. You have to use your child to your advantage. <laughs> Here, take over for a second. And then that's when you get the bathroom break. <laughs> oh, I guess all of RPGs have the uh, cutscenes, right? So you can just sort of chill. I have a full time job and family and still got world record. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it's also just really neat. I, I always like looking at different demographics and how they act. Which, I love it, chat. Horror is exactly what you expect. Horror is exactly who you expect to. It's like all, like... I'm a fucking stereotype, dude. I realize this, chat. I don't know when it happened. The only difference is I'm more of the, uh, what's the word? I got more of the Alice in Chains vibes, but without the heroin. I don't want to do heroin, man. But I definitely, um, I'm not going to lie, chat. When I was at GDQ, do you know how many people found me because I was at the bar? Who was Alice in Chains? Alice in Chains, 90s band, grunge. Very grungy. If you're a horror fan since the 2010s, that's fine. 
Being into horror, you're into horror. I'm, I'm, I'm never a coomer about this shit. Like, Chad, you know what's funny? I know a lot of people like to shit on different eras of the genre. Dude, I never... I don't like doing that. I never do that. If you like horror, you're in a valid position. Obviously, there's different types of horror, and they're going to have the different subsets of um, stereotypes behind them. But, uh... I, like, a good example, I don't ever... I don't trash talk a lot of the uh, YouTuber bait games. I don't think they're a bad thing entirely. I think they're a neat area of game, but, you know, obviously they're going to have their own larger than the genre itself. I'll go to Hawaii. We'll hope you have fun, Secretion. Evil Dead Rise? I like Evil Dead Rise. I liked it. It was a fun movie. I had a good time. Hey, right, well, first light. Oh, hey. Like, only up? What about only up? That's not a horror game, is it? Yeah. I was a micro. It'll be any good. Who would have seen this person in Hot Topic 2000s vibes? I did go to Hot Topic in the 2000s. Ah, stream rate games. Oh, that's fine. Sniff the rooster? Well, maybe they did sniff him. Maybe they did. Maybe they did. Think about it. That was no rad. Okay, let's go. What was it saying? Oh, yeah, first light. Uh, what should you... Uh, well, uh, hold on. Roughly, where are you flying from? Like, don't obviously dox yourself, but like, depends how long the flight is. I guess at max, your flight would probably be five hours at the most. And then it's probably gonna be more like, uh, I don't know, like two hours, three hours. No, I'm not doing go go hamster chef. But in terms of things to do on the flight, you can listen to music, you can read a book, you can play games, you can drink. Having a window seat's nice for your first flight, because you look out the window. Uh, Kentucky to Texas to Utah. Oh, she probably had a layover. Well, make sure you're early. Normally what's recommended, I think, is like two hours early for international, one hour early for, uh... What's the word? Domestic. I guess bring my Switch, but honestly, I like reading. Four minute layover in Houston. That sounds right. Now let me bring your crochet needle and fly in the US. Nice. You put an aisle seat through a window. Well, I mean, now that I'm on planes all, like more often, I like aisle. Well, actually, I like windows still. That depends. I, I don't mind aisle, though. But uh, I think if you're your first time, you should totally be doing the uh, window for first time. Just because being able to look at the plane for your first ever flight is kind of nice. And then once you start doing it more, it loses its, like, appeal, and then you just aisle it. Dude, I go mid-seat all the time. I don't fucking mind. Oh, I was going to go. He'll be doing good. Yeah, I can't tell you how frequently I get the mid-seat. Let's see. Oh, come on. First of all, I almost gave you pants. I didn't do heights. Uh, I'm going to put by the window by the emergency exit. Dude, they're so anal about that shit too, Sage. Like, when I... I had my first ever emergency row seat. And, like, I was just chilling. Like, hey, will you be able to help in the, uh... You know, will you be able to help if you need... If we have an emergency, are you gonna be able to help? I was like, sure. No, no, we need you to say yes. Like, yeah, then, fine, I'll help. Like, they don't want you giving any, like, half answers or any, like, non enthusiastic It's fucking weird. So I can imagine the anxiety. When you say new clock time in the remaster, yes. Oh, it's also port plus. Also, it's new! We've had nothing since 2003 outside of the fucking clock tower mobile. This is new, chat. It counts as new. It absolutely counts as new. I'm counting it. We're also adding new content. So... Is the new release? It's also a different version of the game. So, two thousand three. Yep. Ah, oh, yes, dozen. 
Do the lowest rate for the next? That we do. Hey, maybe we will. Maybe we will. Oh, so that's a Morgan. But yeah, honestly, just chilling's nice, depending on how you uh, have it. Uh, personally, I get really drunk on flights. My first ever flight, I got told to shut up because I talked too much. And I just started to be more quiet after that. I was excited. I was talking to the guy next to me. I was excited. He's a cool dude. That's rude. I talk loud. The guy next to me wasn't a problem. I was like, like two rows up or something like that. Hmm. It's kind of crazy. You know, you know what's crazier? Same day, Gex was also announced. And it then she knew you were terrified. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm all good. Now, I think they told the flight attendant and then they asked me to be quiet. I'm gonna tell the I'm not gonna tell the flight attendant, fuck you. They're probably having a bad day. Well, that's how you know you're on a nicer flight, chat. That's how you know immediately. You know what happened? If you oh hold on, hold on. Zero blade edge. You're not flying spirit, are you? <laughs> are you? <laughs> okay, Southwest will be nice. They're, they're nice. Spirit worth the price. I enjoy Spirit, but also I don't. I mind. I also enjoy the mid seat. I slept on a like. I slept on a hallway for ten years. Chat. <laughs> the amount I actually care about like little comforts is kind of beyond me. The seats are small. There's no free uh, add-on to Spirit. There's a lot of shit you have to deal with the Spirit. That being said, I don't mind it. Alaska is nice, man. I like Alaska. That scared you. Spirit would put you on the wing of the plane if they could. Your poor Frontier is off in the airline. I've never been on Frontier, but uh, I know Spirit, I think, is the, the poorest flight you can take. That being said, I, fl I flew Spirit a lot. <laughs> uh, you're short. People tell you you're not going to underestimate your height. Well, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Like, some people in chat mentioned they want more leg room. It makes sense. Like, dude, if you're at all, like, six feet or higher, I feel bad for you on planes. I'm sorry. If you're at all over six foot. Oh, come on. Yeah, like, on my end, I, I'm pretty sure, like, airplanes are literally made for me. It's kind of nice. You're 6'1"? For anyone who's taller than six foot here, I apologize. I'm sorry for you. Am I wee? I am painfully average. Chat, you know what? You know what's sad? A lot of people out there, they feel bad about being in the painfully average area. It's nice. That's good. Some of us have panic attacks coming down because uh, our limbs going on. Oh, absolutely. Dude, planes can be wild for a lot of people. I, you know what else rocks people is on? Uh, I, uh, my buddy um, in college, one of them, uh, when I went on my first flight, he gifted me uh, earplugs. Because one of the things that you don't really expect immediately is that your ears might be popping. And that really messes with some people. Also, you know, being crammed on a plane, uh, having a variety of altitude-based things. Uh, you can have a variety of, like, even sicknesses. Like, there's a lot that altitude can fuck with someone. That's a good help? Oh, yeah. Dude, some people will have, like, ginger-based, like, like you know, gummies and, like, foods so they can, like, have their stomach not be queasy. There's a lot on planes that can make you uncomfortable if you're not, uh, dealt up, you know, a fair hand, so to speak. But, uh... Yeah, in terms of plans, I guess I can't really complain. I'm painfully average by most margins, so... Though I guess the plane's kind of designed with... 
My build and mine, as weird as that sounds. Oh, I built my head once funny enough on a plane, but that's because I'm stupid. Just bonk. Big fucking thunk. You can afford to take the train. I don't think you can take... In this case, you can take the train from, like, what? Kentucky to... Colorado or Utah or some shit? Utah. I like the train, but I don't think you can take that train. Yep. I try it. It's funny because... Alright, a lot of things I mention... Sound like complaints. Quite often they are not. I am I am perfectly fine being my painfully average self. I'm like a little under 5'9". I'm like about, uh, you know, right now I'm about 180. I am painfully average. There we go. Or even slightly under average, I don't know. Beetle. I'm probably at the Bobby jump scare. You're painfully above average. There you go. Well, they probably have to get like fancier seats and stuff. Hey, that was your cool alone. Oh, dude, if I could avoid driving, I totally avoid driving. I don't like driving. I had a feeling I'd get that. I was surprised that was the Clock Tower game announcement. I was pumped. Less surprised, more ecstatic. Alright, oh, that was locked. Get advantage basketball than that, you earn no reason to be. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, D man, I'm pretty pumped. Been happy talking about it all day long, it's been nice. It is hype news. Bot. Dude, hit him ahead with a shovel. I like how I'm losing time because I got a scare I'm not used to. Uh, the IP was dead? It's been very dead, yes. Well, actually, tell you it hasn't been dead. Chat, we are forgetting about the greatest Clock Tower release ever made. Yeah, we can't, we can't forget about it. We can't forget about Clock Tower ready for the next, can we? Dare I say cinema? Yeah, Clock Tower Mobile walks and we can run. Wait, the SLC airport, because we're going to be three minutes after you have August to plan. You might not need to be. Alright, so, Zero Blade Edge. If it's like any other GEQ thing, I was thinking of the fall. If it's like any other events, usually they'll try to organize a shuttle going over there. You might be able to get a shuttle, and then you can just wait at the hotel. Uh, you know, th they still have the events. Like, you'll be able to chill at the actual hotel. They're not going to kick you out for existing. Oh my god, this guy's existing in a hotel. Kill him. No, they're not going to do that to you. You can probably just kill. Take a take a shuttle. Unless you want to just chill there, you could, but like. Night oh yeah, night crap, of course. Ah, so Nug, doing damn well. Got new clock tower announcements. We're living good. We got, uh, we got, chat, I am I am reinvigorated on a lot of things. Makes sense. Okay, that's good then. That's good. And someone who worked at hotel, uh, no guest at hotel, Robin told to leave. Right, but you can just say you're waiting for your friend. <laughs> it's not like you're a drifter who wandered in and has no business being there. You're just saying you're waiting for your friend for full check in and you wait in the lobby. And usually, if they're expecting a lot of gamers, they're not going to just. He's a gamer, get him! Like, normally, you can tell who's loitering and who's probably, uh, actually looking for business, I suppose. You know? 
Octar got an answer Dino Crisis. Yeah, Dino Crisis ain't gonna get jack shit. Bad, a good Dino Crisis is already coming out. No! Obi Pie! Clock Tower remake! Damn right! I'm gonna drop your bags and walk to the bar. Yeah, that sounds about right. Hey, cheers, Volgun. That's good. That's good stuff right there. I well, I mean, I hope we'll be all right, but permanent damage is less less good. But cheers to the being able to get it out. Awesome, Exo Primal. It's gonna bomb. People are gonna forget about it. I'm just making a clock tower port like for Tomba. It's not quite fair to say just a port. It is. It's a port plus. They're adding new content to the game. So. Also, this is the quite literally the only major clock tower release in about 20 years. The amount of people who are like bitching are like. Chat, you ever hear the phrase, don't bite the hand that feeds you? Like, do these same people bitch that they're getting presents for Christmas? I wanted an Xbox! What, what, what is this? My mother's love? Dude. Be happy you got something. Are you not grateful? I'm totally fucking grateful right now. I'm happy. Things are looking good. Who's feeding you? Sunsoft. I see you play Gex. I always play Gex. That was a nice snail song. It is. And it's based off the, uh, the, uh, what is it, the idiom? The hand that feeds. The idea of biting the hand that feeds is very often, you know, if you're given certain things, it does not make sense to, you know, do negative to the thing giving you food. You bite the hand that feeds, you're no longer going to get fed. Makes sense on that one. Yep. Also, yes, if the Port Plus does well, they might even make a remake of this game. Sounds like you still have a good musician would happen. No idea. By the end of the fees, it's fanning you up for slaughter. You know, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't think Sunsoft is trying to slaughter gamers. I... I don't think they're trying to slaughter us, chat. They're releasing Clock Tower video game. They're releasing Clock Tower. Although I have seen, I have seen, you know, some people do the feeding, and then it's also just gouging. There are cases, don't be wrong. I'm not saying there aren't. As I'm just like, they're just releasing, chat, they're just releasing video game. How are they going to slaughter you? Go ahead, go go ahead and tell me, how, how would they slaughter you for releasing a port plus of Clock Tower? Slaughter your wallet? They can just release something else that's not Clock Tower. Also, I'm pretty sure it would cost more for them to make the game in the port. Oh, the scissors. Any scissors in chat? But yes. Out of the way, I'm excited. Dude, I've seen people bitching on Twitter, though. Like, all L takes. L takes. I saw one tweet that was trending that I'm just like bummed out it was trending. I was like, really? People are way too fucking picky. Oh no, the dog! It's biting the hand that feeds! I think it'll be good, man. What do the tweets say? They're complaining about the anime art style that uh, the... Uh, that they had dropped for the uh, the game. 
They were saying, I can't, uh, something like, I can't believe they're, they removed the original art so they can have the anime art style. Which, as much as I like the original art, one, I think it's gonna be paid homage somewhere. Two, like, I think it's actually perfectly fine for what we got right now. Also, I kind of mentioned right in the beginning, uh, the original box art had nothing to do with the clock tower. As eerie and beautiful as it is, it had nothing to do with the clock tower. And also, it can still be paid homage. It can still exist. Games often had, you know... You know Clock Tower had, like, I think four unique box arts? Oh, Revista, this is Dan. You can actually tell which Scissor Man's which right now. This is the Dan one. Chat. Do you know what happened on the Wonderswan port? And the PC port? Oh, god damn it. I got unlucky. It's fine. Uh, they changed the, the box art to this. The Wonder Swan port has this for the box art. This right here. Uh, the original uh, Super Famicom one had the, the girl with the pearl ring style. Um, that's how and Jerry? I think it's meant to be, yeah. Hey, the PS1 version literally just had, like, Jennifer on the cover praying. Or it had her, like, just there. Like, they've changed the box art at many different points in the franchise. It's not like they never did it. I think the new style is perfectly fine for what it wants to do. Also, we have the Clock Tower manga people don't talk about. We're not playing Wonder Swan tonight. There's support of this game, uh, the original game. There we go. Apparently I did avoid a bread. There are two killers? Yeah, the plot of this game is that... Uh, let's start talking about the idea of corruption. Um, one person is corrupted and it's supposed to be a whodunit. And you find out there's always one guaranteed killer, but the mystery killer always varies. Uh, well, not always, there's two scenarios. Uh, one of them is... Harris in Jennifer's route, because it makes more sense for Harris to be the villain. And in Helen's, it's Barton. Helen's route's way better for what it wants to do and it wants to. What is even Clock Tower 3? It's a far cry from the series that doesn't really relate to these games. I mean, it's fun, but like, it doesn't really matter what happens in that game. It's its own jam. Well, the thing is, Clock Tower only ever had Japanese box art, and they changed all, like, every port of the game has different box art. Also, I'll tell you right now, Japanese box art... Oh, he said normally. It's not all... Actually, I don't even know about that. Like, you know what's a series that the North American box art usually beats out the Japanese box art? Silent Hill. Dude. Silent Hill 1's box art? Better than Japanese box art. Silent Hill 2? Better than the Japanese box art. And then, dude, I didn't even see... The, I've not even seen the 1's 3 and 4. But you know what? North American copy is pretty fucking good for that. Like, N.A. Silent Hill tends to kick ass. As weird as that sounds. Don't believe me? Look at the Japanese box art for Silent Hill 1 and 2. Silent Hill was meant to be Western? Wasn't that, I think Resident Evil was meant to be Western. European for Silent Hill 1, I agree, is probably the best one. But yeah, then I really like the, the shadowy Harry. I think, or the, you know, like the, the, the foggy Harry. I think it's nice, but the European one's pretty good. Here's some dirt in your eye. Boom. That's on the game. Yeah. Like, the Kirby ones are funny because Kirby's, Kirby's always, like, pissed. Jammy Silent Hill Box Art Beast the American version. All right, hold on. Let me look it up. So I, don't, I don't know about three. I know about four. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Dude, I love Kirby being pissed. It's funny. Uh, silence. All three. Eh, uh, you know, I can agree with that. Are they staring at you? 
Dude, but look at the Japanese box art for uh, Silent Hill 1 and even 2. They're pretty bad. Silent Hill 4, I'd say, is a pretty even tie. Like, I can go either one on that one. But Silent Hill 1 is fucking awful. It's so bad. Oh, you want to see Terrell box art, by the way? Hold on, uh, here. Chat, look up Juan the Grudge European box art for the game. It's so fucking weird. Like, North American box art? Great. Fantastic. The European ones? Like, what the fuck is this? Like, you're not going to believe what it actually is. And then the Japanese one's okay. It's wild, right? Yeah, it's like a woman behind a chair. Yeah, so I'm looking at it. Yeah, like, so the Japanese one goes pretty hard, but I really like the North American one better because the eye. And then the European one's like, dude, what? What the fuck did you do? What did you? Why, why? Why did you make this? What? Yes, dude, it looks like an indie album cover for like a fucking like. Like what? What? Who's the chick who does uh Courtney Barnett? I think. Uh, she does the uh Advent Advent Gardener song. Like, imagine one of her albums and then make that the box art. Like, that type of music. That's that's what you fucking imagine that. Chat, by the way, if you don't know what you're talking about, I recommend you look it up. It's literally just like a chick behind a chair. The Wii box art, but like, again, the Japanese one's really cool. And like, the North American one kicks ass. And it's like, all right, Europe, what do you got? Uh, it looks like, except it looks like Zoe Deschanel just chilling. It looks like an, it, like, again, it looks like a coffee store indie album cover. Now you're going to hear some chick playing on a ukulele. She's going to sing some songs and that's her album cover. She decide which game we're talking about Ju on the grudge for the Nintendo Wii. Thank you by the Iris. Like it's fucking just, that's the album. That's oh, by the way, I have a, I have a good one here too. I, that's how this works. Let's see. Check that out. Check that out. So that's all three of them side by side. If you want to look at the, all the differences. And it's just wild that they decided, yeah, you know, that's it. Do it. We got it. Dude, yeah, like the Japanese one's good, but I am a little bit biased to the US one for Joe on the Grudge. And then the European one's like, what the fuck happened? What did you do? What's a fright simulator? Oh, that's what it was. It was like a haunted house simulator. That's actually not inaccurate, funny enough. It's a weird game. I really liked you on the grudge. It's a very just odd game for what it's worth. Best uh, laying on the couch, couch box art is perfect dark Japanese version. Oh, of course. I reckon the grudge is the best. Ah, oh, God, do you know? Maybe. Oh, that was a team vector. Like, Juon Japanese, like, I give a lot of credit to. It seems neat. I need to watch that one. I've really never seen... I'm not as well-versed in Juon. But, dude, you know what movie I really didn't like? I did not like the, um... The Juon remake with, uh... Kumar, or Harold. Harold and Kumar guy. If you're wondering why, they didn't have enough Harold. He was the best part of the movie, and he was not... He was barely in the movie. I have not seen Joan Origins, but I want to. American Ring, I definitely think is the, one of the best movies of that, like, of The Ring. I think it's fucking amazing. And I think a lot of people shit on it because, oh, Amer American movie bad. But no, uh, Ring 1's a master class of horror. Really fucking good. Hurry up, Everyone's waiting. Oh, yes, I'm coming. The weirdest part about it, though, is a lot of people just... Yeah, I'm not sure why they shit on it. Like, it's... Hell, I can't even, I can't name any flaws that movie really has. That movie is probably one of my favorite horror movies ever made.
I don't know. I like Ringu. It just that uh, Ringu did not stick with me nearly as well as the American North American Ring. Well, no. I mean, the thing is, the North American Ring has a like a lot that just goes into it. The North American Ring is also arguably responsible for the um, the wave of Japanese war in the U.S. Kind of different subgenres. I don't even quite say that because they definitely hit certain themes pretty well with each other. There's no way it's better than Sadako vs. Kayako. You got me there. Between Ringu and Ring. I would say there's some like subgenres even. It just the North American Ring is just really well made. It really does want to. It pays a lot of reverence to the original movie, and it perfectly it was the movie that wanted to bring things over to the uh to the States, I suppose. Yep, that's correct, Ramon. Uh, we don't know why that is, uh, but they decided to make the, uh, they decided that the best bets uh, for Ju on the Grudge on the Wii, on the Wii was a uh, woman behind couch for European gamers, which, dude, I gotta give that credit. It's one of the worst box arts I've ever seen. Like, as much as I'll complain about the Silent Hill 1 box art, it's not per se bad. Like, it's just uninspired. It's just kind of boring, if that makes sense. Like, it looks like it looks like someone just took a picture of their bathroom tiles. Ever watch Spiral? I think uh wait, which spiral? You mean like wait, Junji Ito? It's just like so weird because that, that character is not even in the game. We don't know who the fuck she is. You're just chilling there. Mr. Shasta. Welcome on in, gamers. Is that wait a minute, have you announced your thing yet? Can I can I talk about it? I think you have, right? Wait, I don't know. Hold on. I don't know what I'm about to talk about. You remember the new clock tower? Yep. Chat, if you do not know, Mr. Shasta is going to be a GDU Hotfix showrunner. I'm pretty sure you've talked about it. Love to see the dub. Her show is in less than 10 hour, 12 hours from now. Badass. Shasta's running a show. Dang. Wait, do you not know? Wait, you, you knew. You, you, you. Sh yes. I was on Tino. I hope you're doing good. I was on Teddy. But yeah. I think we got all the info we need. There we go. So it should be quite exciting. Did you, uh, the Hoppick shorting's fun. Oh, we had a good stream. We're talking about new clock tower. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're the thing. I was like, wait a minute, you actually know. Wait a minute. 150 stars of record roller stream bang opening show. Oh, we have fun with it. It's nice being on the design shows and stuff. You'll get a good feel for it. And it's it's a neat time. But yeah, new Clock Tower gamers. We got a Clock Tower game coming out in the next year, our current year, next year. Oh, careful posting links, by the way. That ball will break your legs. You can't post things without permission. You already getting the hang of it? Yeah. Clock Tower original remake. It's kind of just a touch up of the original port, but either way, new game will be fun. I'm excited. It's gonna be good shit. Bad times, you gotta accept early. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. I'll check it out later. Usually Discord's better because I can just look in Discord all over. Oh, yeah. I make yeah, you'll get into a nice groove. You'll figure out how to plan things out. It's always a blast. And then, dude, you know what's fun? Do you, uh, have you gotten your, uh... What's the word? Have you gotten your show's art yet? all the GDQ shows have art, and uh, I'm just saying, I fucking love LLK art. I chat. LLK, LLK or GDQ is a treasure. Show art? Uh, you can, if you have, wait, actually, post it, like, yeah. That's amazing. Oh, absolutely. LLK kills it. I actually got some LLK art for the uh, Resident Evil event. And it looks good. It's on the uh, Twitter. I'll probably see it as it uh, goes around. Four, 
Valerium, getting a gifted sub from Anonymous. Anonymous, thank you very much. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you very much. Five Nights at Freddy's security breach ruined DLC is going to be coming this month. See, chat, I'm currently mixed on Five Nights at Freddy's. On the one hand, I'm terrified about having to moderate children. On the other hand, I really want to witness the white woman jump scare. Oh, that's Resident Evil Rainbow one. You want to see it now? Like, white woman jump scare sounds hilarious. But also, I don't have to worry about moderation involving children. Bit of a mixed bag. Because, admittedly, you know, say what you want about the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise. Am I calling you a child if you like Five Nights at Freddy's? No. However, you cannot deny that the series undeniably has a large audience of children. Thanks. It should be a blast. I'm, I'm excited. Realize they're always fun. They still, uh, so are they all, like, grown up now? Um, I, I'm not too sure, but it happens close. People can mature. It's hard to say. But even then, I still think that certain games will always just have more children drawn to it. Like, undeniably, just something that happens. Is it bad? No. You know, also, again, you're allowed to like this. I know plenty of people who really love the Five Nights at Freddy's franchise who are, you know, grown adults. It just... There's some things that are very universal in... A lot. Yeah, that's fucking... Dude, that's trippy. I saw that trending on Twitter, but it was the... Apparently, the kids of today are also watching fucking Source Filmmaker Gmod clips. And it's like... How... How did you get into this? Who linked this to you? Like, chat, yeah, when I was in high school, I fucking remember, like, a bunch of the TF2, uh, fucking me- Yeah, nope.avi, or- Nope. Classic? Well, just trippy, though, just having the, uh... Like, how? Yeah, things like Minecraft, too. Like... How do you spell that? Uh, anonymous. Ah, yes. Is that a touch of the kids now? Oh, that's probably for the best. We're not children. or old. You know, I love watching YouTube poops. And it's happening again now, but... Yeah, you know what YouTube poops are now? It's the fucking AI voices. I'm gonna play the Gex trilogy when it comes out. Does the Pope shit in the woods? Goddamn right. AI voice in every video it is. Chat, all right, there's one AI voice meme, or like, you know, using an AI, like a robot voice that made me genuinely fucking laugh, and it was the greatest shit I've ever seen. But it's also because I'm a fucking dork and stupid. Yeah, I know what it is. Chat, do you know, like, the very stereotypical TikTok AI voice is like the very happy, like, like, it's like the very happy woman voice, if that makes sense? You hate that one? Well, hold on. There's something really fucking hilarious with it, though. The peppy woman? Yeah, I think it's the peppy woman or something like that. That one? Someone uploaded the TikTok AI voice. Doing the opening speech from I have no mouth and I must scream. And I was like... <laughs> I just fucking laughed. I was like, you know, that's actually pretty good, actually. And I fucking loved it. I was like, hey... Hate for you. Hate, and that's actually really good. Like I was surprised how much I enjoyed it. Oh, it's on the Instagram Pacer test. They might have. Do that speech with Plankton AI. You know, as funny as it sounds, I don't know if that would be good. You don't know this AI voice, I had to look it up based on that description. It's just like a very peppy woman's voice kind of deal. You post a YouTube video? Yeah, you have permission now to work. Uh, if you're a sub, you can just post links in general. You can. Yeah, it's the same door opening animations as Haunting Ground. 
I didn't see it. Unmount. Oh, if you're if someone sub, they can just do it in general. Like they just have the ability to. That was about the super rush. I'm doing good. Dude, I love the hate monologue so much. Like, I absolutely love it. Does not suck as about any memory, not good taste. For you. Hate. Hate. I don't steal them. I'm merely an efficient man. What could I say? Oh god, though, I'm so excited. It's not every day you get quite literally the game made for you coming out. Like, chat, I had someone tell me that they don't they don't mind what people have been saying online about the Clock Tower remake so far. They're just very happy to hear about my opinion of this game. Or the new game. Not moon, it's probably gonna be sun. I'm hype. I'm excited. I think it's gonna be good. I genuinely don't think it's gonna be bad. But also, I'm not a fucking doomer. I'm not someone who's gonna be looking for failure in every way possible. Wow, okay. Like, it's... You know what I see every time? A bunch of people who don't really... One, they don't know how games work. Two... They just want too much. Oh, it's fucking great, Gun Goku. Oh, absolutely, Race. Absolutely. Early 2024 release window for new Clock Tower game. Yep, we're getting a the first ever Western release for the original Clock Tower. Uh, we're getting new additions to the story that we've never seen before. We're probably gonna get the manga cutscenes in the fucking game. And there's so much shit that's finally coming to the US officially, too. That we'll be able to see. We're getting, dude, we're getting a song! Done by the chick who sings all the Silent Hill songs! Like, I find out that Akira Yamoka write this shit, writes that song, holy fuck, man. Like... I'm just excited. I think it's gonna be good. I, the good things are coming. And also, my favorite part, most of the series is trash. As someone who adores this franchise, most of it's bad. Our last thing was a mobile game. I'm perfectly content with what we're getting. I can't believe it. They, they, are, they aren't remaking the entire game for the ground up for its first release in the US. How dare they? No, this is perfectly fun. This is exactly the scope I pretty much thought we'd be getting, in fact. So we get stage four. I do hope we get more clock tower mobile levels. Remember Suikoden and MGS? Well, same for the Gex. Chat, who's ready for Gex Sweep, by the way? All the Gex games coming out. One, two, and three. You? Perfect. You're so ready for Premier Gex? Me too. We must be the ghosts of children who were killed here. Ghosts? <laughs> With a monster like the Scissorman on loose, I'm not surprised we're running into ghosts. Gex speedrun hype. I'm not gonna speedrun it, but I'll play Gex. I'll play some Gex. Oh, they're releasing that one too. They're doing a 1, 2, and 3 life PB. Also, chat, remember the big thing to remember in many cases. All right, we go. I really cannot stress this enough. For a lot of people, they don't realize. But what a company will do is they will release something new usually as a remaster or maybe a new port or something. This is a very common strategy. What's the end goal with this? If it does well, 
They're testing the waters. They're seeing if anyone would be excited. That installs baiting quite. It's more testing the waters. I know yet. So there were, what they'll do is they'll release one thing with the game. And this could be like a very simple remaster. It could be a, you know, just touching up. It could be a re-release for new systems, new ports. And they're testing the water to see if there's any actual interest in it. You know what I wouldn't be surprised about at all? I would not be surprised if we get a new Ghost Trick game in the next five years. Obviously, that's a big time frame, but from my, what I heard, Ghost Trick's been doing very, very well. I wouldn't be surprised if the Ghost Trick fans have earned themselves a new game in a way. A nervous, uh, anxious, and nervous excitement. Which part? Clock Tower? I mean, it's kind of hard to say how things are going to go. I'm really excited, Nato. Yeah, the Ghost Trick fans have really been coming up. And I don't know if the game ever set itself up for a sequel. People mentioned Ace Attorney is kind of what that is. But if there's cause to have a sequel, I wouldn't be surprised if they do it. Ghost Trick loves Zero Room. There we go. But ultimately, we'll have to see, chat. Yeah, that's the funny part, Gun of Goku. So apparently, Square Enix sold Tomb Raider. They sold Deus Ex. But they kept the king. And you know what, Square Enix? I don't blame you. I, I can't blame Square Enix. A lot of people have been shit-talking them. I don't. I think Square Enix fully understands what we've known the whole time, chat. Keep the king. I also kept Just Cause. Wasn't Just Cause really popular? I know where the money's at. Oh, I have all clock for the new timeline. Either way, we'll see what happens. I'm just saying right now that the Ghost Trick Remaster report, whatever the fuck it is, has been doing very well. Uh, at least in terms of, like, what I've seen on Steam reviews and all that. Ah, uh, Mr. Plushie. Is this game worth the play? Yes. I think all the Clock Tower games are worth playing for the most part, except Ghost Head. I think to do the trouble then. Well, uh, the original is very good, and we'll be getting a new game in January. Uh, this game is solid enough and a decent follow up. Clock Tower 2 The Struggle Then is trash, and then Clock Tower 3 is at least charming. We'll have to see. Well, I mean, Onimusha's in a really weird state. Because, like, on the one hand, when's the last time we ever got, uh... What's the word? When's the last time we got an Onimusha game? Dawn of Dreams? When was that? All on PS2. You know what the weird part is, though? Onimusha's getting an anime. Like, it's getting a Netflix show. So, I, I don't get... How? That's gonna be exciting, Nato. You want to be involved in the case from the start? Yeah, Come like, on. I'm gonna watch it. You two being dragged into the abyss? No, I'm not That's why I'm like, maybe it will. <laughs> Realistically, chat, if you are interested in IP, being able to support the IP is the best thing you can do. Don't know. We'll have to see what, I, I just know they announced it, but I haven't seen it yet. And that's kind of the big thing. Uh, this can go in many different areas. But uh, supporting... You know, games, um, shows, all that like. If you're a fan of something, that's the best way of supporting it. Just, you know, tuning in.
I hope I didn't mess this up. I don't think I did. I have the note. Now we get, we get. A Master of Warlord 2018. I think it's a browser game. Gotcha. I bought the Onimusha remaster. But again, Onimusha is getting a Netflix show. It's you can't quite say it's totally dead. Things come back from time to time. Boss, please stay with Jennifer. What about you? I'm going to look around the mansion again and find the DX exhibit. Well, okay. Just be careful. Hello? Don't worry. I'll be okay. There we go. Even some Goku Pissarra got an anime and a manga, but the game uh, didn't come to West after 3. Well, alright, so there's also, I think, I've never seen generally getting a show and getting a fucking Netflix show. Like, admittedly... I don't know, I think for shows, Netflix is mostly stuff with larger IPs. Or things that they're pretty interested in. Like, I think a lot of people had high price for the Dota 2 one. Uh, yeah, Netflix, like, animation is usually pretty on point. I know a lot of people like the, uh... Oh, wait, do I not have the key? No idea. I see a Legacy of Can Revival? I don't know. Castlevania? Yeah, Castlevania had one. Dude, you know what's trivia the Castlevania one? Back when I worked in my old IT job, my boss told me he watched Castlevania. And he was trying to tell me, like, oh, I know this is, like, an animated show, but, like, it's really good. Because, you know, there's, like, a stigma against animation. And, like, I was like, dude, no, I get you. you, you. I'm glad you like it. It's been going down, luckily. Like, people are much more open to watching animated things. And that's good. Oh, chat, I have a really, really weird thing to describe to you about the, the world of animation. And as weird as it sounds, this might sound like a shitpost, I assure you it's not. Western adult animation is not a lot for the world of animation in a way you don't think. Shows like Family Guy, Archer, Bojack Horseman, I've done a lot more than you assume in a really weird way. Now, obviously, if you try, you know, mentioning the influence and merit of Family Guy, you're going to get hit with a lot of, huh? Because, you know, not a lot of people are going to... It's kind of lost a lot of respect that it once had. But due to a lot of shows like that that are kind of more of just, you know, I guess silly comedy. Obviously, you know, Bojack exempt from that because it's pretty, uh... It's hard. It's more the thing that a lot of the... What's the word? Adult animated cartoons shows definitely help pave the way to make things more acceptable in the general sphere of culture. A lot of the, uh, you know, a lot of the older gens or just, uh, you know, people who follow a very just general mindset, there's kind of been a stigma. Like, oh, children's cartoons. I always like the heavy metal. Heavy metal's a deep fucking cut. Co adult comics. Yeah. Like, even, chat, even when we had Sausage Party, the amount of people who were complaining, I can't believe they released this for kids, and like, dude, this was never made for kids. <laughs> No, it was rated M for Mature, entirely. Yeah, nowadays, though, you, yeah, you can watch a lot of cool shit. And, dude, you know how you are getting, uh, you know, excited for a lot of the various shows that people have been realizing are bangers? A lot of classic anime. They were discovering it the first time, realizing, wait a minute, this is always slap, and they're getting a whole generation of fucking shows and shit. And that's pretty neat. Netflix Witcher is dog shit. They try their best, but we're also not talking about The Witcher. Here a new Clock Tower game? Yeah. I'm pretty pumped. Agreed? We're not talking about that. And also, things aren't always going to go the way you expect them to. 
And I say, you for the coolest ending in this franchise? Look at Gots, the steadiest man in existence. Look at him go! Look at him go! That door. Uh, I'm not enjoying that soap, but how about you, uh, stop talking about that, I'd say. Like, I already said we're not talking about it. I'm not only harping on it. Diversity is also not a problem with, yeah, that's not the problem with it. Yeah. The problem with it is really the director just, I, I don't even know. Wanting, the like, director of Netflix wanting to do different things with the character. I'm pretty sure the problem with the the Witcher show, if I'm no, I'm not bashing, I'm untying, I'm untying them out immediately. Wasn't the problem the fact that they weren't listening to Henry Cavill in the directions of the character? They didn't read the books. Well, again, the director having a vision for the way it's going and not directing that way. That's a problem. That, yeah, that's a problem. That's not because of the diversity. No, it's because the director's not going in line with the character. Yeah. Having certain characters be of different diversities, that, that that's fine. That's not a problem. It's more of the problem that they're just not keeping the book in terms of the, uh... I'm trying to the conversation. Uh, Zopra's trying to force conversation about The Witcher show on Netflix. I don't know why. Yeah. Like, they got Geralt, who was perfectly cast as The Witcher. And he was perfectly cast. Yeah, that's the main part. They wanted to have sex. He didn't want to have sex. That was literally the, the, the main problem there. A lot of differences and shit on that. There's a manga? Yeah, there is. Uh, there was. It came out, uh, the, the Japanese version of the game. Oh. Anyway, we're not gonna talk about The Witcher. Why? I really don't care about The Witcher. So, chat, what I'm gonna do instead, I'm gonna set up a clock tower Ghost Head, because it's time for Ghost Head. I'm gonna play an ad. You like to boy the ad. Ad block, which turbo sub the channel. The translated? I don't know. I don't know if you can even read it, but there's a lot of the images online from it. And I know we'll be getting a translation soon. So, anyway. Also, yeah, the ending's much better, right? I'm gonna play the ad now, it's credits. So if you wanna avoid the ad, app block, Twitch, Turbo, or sub to the channel. Those are the best ways of doing it. I'll support the stream. That's the Halo show? I can't relate to it because Master Chief has sex. And he's, I can't, being a gamer, I can't relate. Anyway, there's all that. Ad time. Prime Gaming! Hold on. There we go. All right, where's Ghost Head? It's in the Ghost Head box. Ash with Becca. That was in Colorado. Wait, what's Colorado? Oh god, the jump scare, I see what it is. Oh no! I missed what the comment was. I'm gonna stand up. Oh god, hold on. Did I get it? Get what? Oh my back. Stage. It does suck. Alright, that's better. I gotta stand up more. Keep bringing it not to. Sucks? What sucks, Dave? Oh, the mummy. Oh, I see now. It does suck. I need a good taste. Area. All right, let's do this. Boom. Boom. 
Not bad. Hola Mola, thank you for the Prime Gaming for 10 months. Enjoy the emotion of the season. Thank you. Hope you're doing good. Hopefully, you got some things out. Sorry, you see. I think it's yours. Thanks for the great 10 months. Thank you very much, Hola I hope you're doing good. Hope all is well for you. And cheers. Enjoy the scissors. Now they are second place, and it's gonna be good. We damn good, in fact. Watch wrestling? Not really. That was not sprogan and gun. Welcome back from the ad. You wondering what happened? Um this. Um Nothing wrong with that OJ. We're gonna stream the hell of it when it comes out, I'll tell you that much. I'll be good. Sin claimed in AEW. I, I don't keep up with a lot of wrestling new. Missed the credits? Can't believe it. they missed the credits. How could they? There we go. Yeah, for a lot of new shows though, chat, I think it all matters on just direction and what they want to do with it. If, you know, if something makes sense or just works a certain way, I don't think it's bad. Usually, I'll say right now, people complain about forced diversity. It tends to go in ways that are like... That's usually not the problem behind certain media. You know what's been doing really well lately that, uh, yeah, is brand new that came out? I haven't heard a lot of good things about the uh, the Superman anime shit, I think that came out, right? I haven't heard good things about that. I changed the characters up. You gotta explain a bit more on that one. Oh, Zingotasis. Pretty much forever now. That's good to hear. I hope you've been well in general. Alright, we gotta watch this now, Chad. We gotta watch the opening cutscene. It's the most important thing to watch. It has a banger in it. You can't change the original because you feel like it when the Star Wars is an ancient classic? You absolutely can. What do you mean? You know how many times, like, if you can never change the original, we'd only be going back to the original stories in many cases. Unless it's, oh, so it's only if I like it. We're re we're you can reinvent so many things. You can absolutely change things up. You know how many canons exist in, like, everything? Oh, so chat, all right. You know what? RE1 make sure never happened. I agree with you. RE1 make sure never happened. Clearly, we should have stayed on the PlayStation 1 era and had only Jill should only look like a PS1 character. She should never have looked anything different. Dude, one of the like most beautiful pieces of animation out there is a yeah, retelling of a biblical concept. How dare you make a movie about the Prince of Egypt? No, that shouldn't exist. I don't care if it's a beautiful DreamWorks movie. You should no, it's not a book. It shouldn't exist. Yeah, there's many different depictions, there's many different interpretations. That's what makes a lot of media fun. And you really think so, Batasis? I reinvented toast to burn a piece of bread and ate it. Oh, of course. Korean graphics is just not the same. Yes, it is. I mean, at that point, what's arbitrary then? Also, I just gave you the other one. You're going from book to movie? You shouldn't do that in that case. I think you're just too big. I don't know. Like. It sounds like you have other issues in mind that really aren't a big deal. Exactly. Yeah, cra Craft, and you're uh, egging on a bit too much there. Uh, I'm time out immediately, by the way. I can't know I can't do the one second anymore. But yeah, also, don't, like, chat, there's such thing as fanning the flames as well. Don't do that either. People can grow over time. It's not an immediate removal. I'm playing the Japanese version because I don't want to pay, like, hundreds of dollars for the North American version. Also, it's faster. Yeah, you're, you can reply. Yeah, you're, you're good right now. I get it. What's going on? I have no idea. Good question, Cloud. 
Uh, the people who made them are the fan base of recent of it's all spoke. It's fair game. Oh, wait, hold on. I don't know, man. I'm gonna say, it really sounds like the issues that you're having aren't really the issues that you're making it seem out to be. Like, it seems like if something's good or if something's, like, fitting a profile you want to fit, it's fine. But if it's, you know, if it's not, then that's the case. Also, in that case, between The Witcher game and book, yeah, if it's, if it's fair game for The Witcher, then the game shouldn't exist. From what I heard, the games aren't exactly entirely reflective of the book. The author and the author still alive, so the game shouldn't exist then, right? That's what you're telling me right now. The game should not exist. The book came out in 1992. I have no mouth and I must scream shouldn't exist because they wrote in a good ending. Even though they worked with the author entirely. Yeah, the author doesn't like the games, you know that, right? I actually do know that one. Thank you, Tassus. Right, so you're, so you're saying that even though if the author doesn't like it, the, the games are bad then, right? By that logic, they made changes. Right, so by that logic, the Witcher games aren't good then. If you're going by the same logic. It doesn't matter if they're universally acclaimed, by that logic, they're not good. They have a ton of money. Oh yeah, well, obviously we have reasons why. And also, I'll say right now, from what I've heard and why I understand, the Witcher games are quite good. It's much. Tri I don't think it is. If it, it just you can just. It sounds like you're leading to a different point, and I'm not gonna lie. To, I'm not gonna lie to you. It only seems like you care about things that are remade or different if they include a diversity in them, which. That seems to be the only things, like, everything else you're defending. I've named multiple examples that don't feature, uh, diverse characters. When I mention diverse characters, you really seem to think that's the, the rule. You understand why this is not the case, right? You're all good, Crafton. Hi, Drev. Oh, yeah, Drev, we added one of the Bully uh, Maguire emotes. Right, I'm saying you're not being consistent with your logic, though. On God? Yeah. You're not being consistent here, is what I'm saying. Also, I've been hearing amazing things. Like, again, with the new Superman thing, I kind of want to watch it. I've been seeing clips of it online. I've been hearing about it. It actually doesn't look bad. Also, chat, weirdly enough, I, I'm actually one of the few people who like Superman stories. <laughs> Why? I think Superman's cool. As weird as that sounds, chat. Yeah, Harlan Ellison helped write the game. I love to have them out the scream. However, I know Harlan Ellison originally did have uh, some uh, reservations against the game's ending, but even then, they worked with him to get that ending. Man in general, yeah. I'm actually kind of happy with the. Uh, I want to watch the new one as well. But yeah, Superman's not about the big things; it's about the little things. Most people just kind of focus on the big as the problem. But Superman's absolutely supposed to be slice of life. He was never meant to be larger than life. The whole thing is you have someone who can deal with the world's greatest problems, having to deal with small, intimate issues, and struggling with being man. There we go. Yes. Bot. Alright. No. It's open. Hold on. You, you get why we're making these points, though, right? Like, I just want to make sure you understand that. Like, I, I don't want to hear complaints about you complaining about diversity ruining things. That's not the case. We did. We have. Oh, I was a child, Battle of Cats. Uh, this game's wild. I forgot to get the ammo back. Hold on. I forgot the outer arc. But the thing is, you can still have the greater evil, but then you have to focus on. You know, what happens to the greater evil makes larger things. What do you wake up to? We're talking about the new clock tower for right now, Wonder League. We're swapping over. We just had some weird takes in chat. 
I guess what is uh, can be considered a warning. Who bleeds yellow blood? Uh, yellow snowmen do. I think that's accurate. You do? Are you a yellow snowman? And also tend to do pretty good as well? Yeah. Want to be water? Oh, that's his blood. Oh, I forgot to spell bubble. Could be, that's right. Might be Piss Man. He might be a Piss Man. Ever a ghost. They're not going to remake Ghost Head yet, chat. If they were to remake Ghost Head, it would happen after Clock Tower 2. This is Clock Tower 2.5, technically. This is, uh, no, this is the third game in the series. So I'll tell you right now, this ghost head would not come afterward. It'd be Clock Tower PS1 or Clock Tower 2. What is Ghost Head? This game. The official name is Clock Tower Ghost Head. They had a weird thing with the naming conventions in North America. I am not the mustard man, I'll tell you that right now. There we go. No, this is just, it's always been known as Clock Tower Ghost Head. That's what this is. It's Clock Tower Ghost Head, chat. Let's open it. Hold on. I want you to confirm this, by the way. You, you understand, like, I, one, I don't want that here. Two, like, that's not the case, right? Like, this is an actual thing that plagues a lot of media kind of undeservedly. I'm not gonna... I don't want that here. At all. So. I'm gonna talk about it here? Well, in general, you should question yourself. I'll say right now, the thing, you know, possibly ruining some of your favorite franchises isn't forced diversity. It's probably more directors who don't understand things. And does it happen on, due to casting choices? Sometimes. However, you know, just because diversity exists doesn't mean that that's the problem. A great example I want to give once again was with the Resident Evil Netflix series, uh, Lance Reddick was apparently the best reason by far. Like, he was the best thing about that show entirely. And that's a very good thing for that show. No, it's not any reason. It, it could be a reason. It might not be a reason. It's all about general image, but it's not going to... In fact, it probably won't be even a major factor. Right. <laughs> and you won't just like and refuse to watch? You might be missing out some really cool stuff because you're prejudiced. That is actually what I'm saying right now. Like if you're willfully going to ignore some awesome media because it has diverse characters, that's kind of a sad way to live. There's some awesome media out there you might just miss out on because you're being closed-minded in that case. Yeah. Uh, no trying to learn sir, 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 I answer. Wait, what? Yeah. Ah, poor Stephanie. What's the topic? Oh, we're going to to do without. I can just ban you if you want. It's not, I don't want you doing it here. It's, I want you to think about this. This is a sincere thing. It's not a good way to live. Like, quite sincerely, it's a pretty bad way entirely. Clock Tower. Is this Clock Tower 2 the struggle then? Also known as Clock Tower Ghost. Oh my god, I forgot to change the Twitch directory. They reminded me. I apologize for that. Thank you. That's my bad. Uh, yeah, it is the RER. Hope you're doing good, by the way. I don't know you did a cosplay of the Scissor Man, by the way. I like that cosplay. It's a nice cosplay.
Good one. So. That's right, Andre show. It sounds like fun. So, nah, apparently they say Stephanie's fine in the hospital. Stephanie gets to live. Hey, chat. You know what's a fun thing? I'm really, again, I already mentioned it. I'm really excited for the new Twisted Metal show. Wait, no, no, I'm going to I'm going to I'm really excited for it. I think it's going to be fun. I think cast-wise, they did really good. I think they're really fun. I think it's a really fun cast. I can't be a Vigilante 8? Wait, what do you mean Vigilante 8? You mean, is that the other card game? It's because Twisted Metal's the fucking cream of the crop. And chat, well, all right. You know, you know what the problem with the Twisted Metal trailer was originally? You know what people were complaining about? Surprisingly enough, when you have a uh, pretty ballin' actor like Anthony Mackie who kicks ass, yeah, people aren't complaining about Roadkill being, you know, a black guy. You know what they're complaining about? They're complaining about how silly it looks that Sweet Tooth's giving him back shots. Why? Because it's fucking hilarious looking at Samoa Joe give uh, the back shots to uh, Roadkill. That's funny. I mean, it looks funny, but also it's cheeky. Like Crush Hour? I actually played Crush Hour when I was a kid, funny enough. Yeah, Samoa Joe looks great. Uh, Will Arnett's gonna kick ass on the voice of Sweet Tooth. I think it's looked- That was not the thumbnail- It was the thumbnail! That's the wild part! He does look like Roadhog, but in a really good way. Wait, why aren't I getting- Hold on. There we go. But also, like, with Twisted Metal, it's kind of meant to be that way, and the second trailer has me much more inspired with confidence. No, I have not actually driven. Uh, I, I know Samoa Joe's a wrestler, but I don't know a whole lot about him. But I know very often in the past they would use wrestlers to, uh, what's the word? The Axel? We don't know about, I don't know yet about Axel. We haven't seen anything just yet. Silver Battle Cat, we have Roadkill, Sweet Tooth. Um, we have some, I think someone named Quiet who we don't know about. Oh, I know he's a wrestler, but I don't know, like, I've never, I haven't seen his work. Uh, we have probably Calypso. Uh, we have Shadow, we have Darkseid, uh, we have Outlaw. Outlaw was shown. Uh, he's right on the mic and the mat. I think Willow Knight's gonna be a good fit for it, and I don't know, maybe Samoa Joe can get more work after this, uh, at least in the world of, uh, TV shows and acting. But... That way, the way I'll leave it though, chat. Uh, so we don't go back to the bathroom a lot? Yes, it does. In terms of the conversation we're having, I'd prefer not to outright ban the person in question. I don't even know if they're still here anymore. They might not be. I'd prefer someone be able to grow and analyze themselves. Not, I don't want everything always just to be a ban and move on. Then you're just moving a problem. That's a big thing there. So, that being said, if something does happen again, at that point, there's only so much extending of a hand one can really give, I suppose. But, yeah, I'm not a big fan of that, uh, they aren't. I bet they're not. I think they're gone? I'm not surprised they're gone. Yes, they're, they said they're not going to do it here anymore, which, in that case, yeah, I don't want... I, I don't blame, uh... Yeah, not try, uh, trying to... Yeah, mods, mods notice. And growth is a strong trait. I'm a big fan of growth. Yeah, exactly. Like, a lot of the things are obviously dog whistles, chat. That's what it is. That being said, you know what else I'll say? There's some case... Oh, there you are. Turn on your phone to see the game. I definitely hope you can, you know, enjoy media and grow. That being said, you know, if anything seems off, you know, it will be ban-worthy as a heads up. Oh, wait. Am I going the right way? No. No, no, okay, hold on. I got all the zombies dead. This part always makes me think. Hold on, I gotta think. Right in this room. And you can sincerely grow, that's a good thing. Can shows be ruined because of bad choices? Absolutely. However, very often, that's not the choices of actors. Very often, it's the choices of directors. A director might always have the best vision for what's in mind of a story. Other times, they do. 
I chat recently. I know uh, there's a show uh, that had some new additions, uh, Clone High. Uh, if I'm been hearing, I've been hearing mixed things about Clone High. Uh, Clone High is also a really weird one because they included a bunch of new characters. And a lot of the new characters look kind of weirder. Uh, the characters they included were uh, Frida Kahlo, uh, Harriet Tubman, uh, I think Buddha, and I think Columbus. And I have some complaints on it, but it's not because they chose those characters. It's because the characters are also really just, like, flashy. Like, I don't know. Like I, I don't see Buddha wearing bright blue and pink. But also, I don't know a whole lot about Buddha. But also, a lot of the choices they've made were, yeah, that's actually the pretty good choices. It just, aesthetically wise, like, the design of the clothing, it's very jarring to me. But also, that could be what kids are into in the modern age. And I just don't know children. You play FF16? No. As well, going into Velma, weirdly enough, the problem with Velma isn't that Velma is uh, Indian, it's that it doesn't really hold a lot of, uh, what's the word? It doesn't really enjoy the source material. Final Fantasy games, I've only ever played the Dirge of Cerberus in a very small amount of FF14. You know what one of the funnier parts is, by the way? <laughs> like, a lot of people complain about, I, I, I watched Velma, chat. I, I watched a few of the episodes, not all of them, I watched a few of them. You know what the problem was? It was the writing of Velma. The actual character designs weren't bad. Like, Daphne felt like Daphne well enough. Uh, Fred, for the moments he got to be Fred, are actually pretty fucking good. Velma is hardly unfunny. It had problems, but there was one genuine laugh that I fucking loved. Uh, there was a scene uh, in the court trial uh, where I think they say, Fred is guilty, and I was like, oh no, and then Fred's dad's like, yeah, and he's like cheering, yelling at his lungs. I'm like, that's fucking funny. Okay, I like that. And, like, the way they handled a lot of the characters in the Velma show... Hold on. That's what that is. Yeah. Yeah, I have a good old nug. Hope you have a good rest of the day. Is that Nelly Q? I hope you're doing good today. Yeah. And that's kind of the case. Well, a lot of people were blaming Velma because, oh my god, I can't believe it. Velma is, uh, you know, she's, she's Indian now. That wasn't the problem. The problem was that they, you know, clearly they hated the source material. They did not like the original Scooby-Doo for one reason or another. And that is quite unfortunate. Yeah, but, you know, Norville was fine for what he was. Like, I actually kind of liked Norville. I thought he was one of the better parts of the, the show. Any PR is good PR, that is also the case. Also, blindly hating something is going to just lead to, uh, them to possibly getting success off it, in fact. Almost like the NWO. I explain. <laughs> explain that one. That one confused me a bit. Yeah. That, that was well wondrous. Your tea is done? Hopefully it's good tea. Okay, hold on. Amazing news on your end. Happy to hear. It's always good to see the dub. Streams are good. Uh, I got uh, some Teen Titans Go. You know what the weird part about Teen Titans Go is? I keep getting recommended Teen Titans Go stuff on my uh, TikTok, and unironically, chat, it's gonna sound like a shit post. It's gonna sound like I'm fucking with you. It's kind of funny. Like, when it's not being horrifically cursed, it's surprisingly not terrible. And I don't really know how to... how to feel about that. Right, they have a whole episode where they're, where they're committing tax fraud. And it was actually kind of cheeky. There's a whole episode where, like, they meet the old Teen Titans and they shit on themselves the whole time because they're not the old Teen Titans. Like, I don't know. I felt like it actually had some, uh, like, fun-in-cheek work there. Yeah, but see, the fetish shit, though, is where it gets kind of weird is the problem. Like, it's really weird having the duality of things. Like, it's... 
Why, why are you doing this when you can also be doing this? Like, I don't really get that. Also, I guess I don't make a TV show, so... After to Dude, Totally Spies and that gets remade is gonna have an awakening for a lot of people. Also, I firmly believe in giving things a chance before anything else. There you go. Yeah, some things also aren't made for me. I'm not the demographic. Yeah, I think they're remaking Totally Spies. Yeah, watch Velma. Honestly, you don't have to. I don't think Velma is all that good. Uh, I watched some episodes of it, but like... The only part that made me laugh was the one scene where Fred's dad is cheering that Fred is, like, you know, guilty. Or he admits to a crime. And then Fred's dad's really happy about it, and that made me laugh genuinely. Which, to his credit, it was pretty fucking funny. <laughs> did I miss one? I did. I know what I missed. Alright, we're good, we're good, we're good. This is fixable. I almost fucked up. I almost fucked up. There I am. I know what I missed. It's 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 okay. That's alright, chat. We get we get. Kolioko is great. The only thing I remember about Kolioko is there's like one soccer move that they did in there that was pretty fucking funny. Remember the hot stock woman to show up? You never really see her since we skipped most of the cutscenes. Alright, there we go. I actually watched Totally Spies as a kid. It was okay. This game has a lot of issues for it for. And this game's kind of overall bad. I mean, if you can have fun with it, but I am not going to defend this game in many cases. If you're having fun with it, it's because you found fun in it. Overall, this game has a lot of issues. It is it is the Nelly Q. I hear she's been running Sanhul too. There we go. All right. Oh, let's see. It's a show. We're doing good. But hell, chat. You know what? Going into this as well, if you're wondering why, why do I care so much about this case? Because, like, you know, um, realistically, why would why would I care if someone enjoys something or not enjoys something? There's a beautiful world of things out there that you can either see or enjoy. Entirely dependent on how you might feel about something. Uh, hold on, I need to say no to the guy. There's so many people who refuse to try foods because it looks gross or something. I refuse to watch a movie because it's in a different language. There's a world of beautiful media out there. You might just be entirely, it might become your new favorite thing. You give it a shot. Yeah, being having an open mind is very good. Now, obviously not everything is going to be amazing. A challenging perspective is quite good. Cow tongues. Oh, absolutely. Dude, Lengua is, like, it's delicious. Dude, one of my favorite stories about Lengua, because, I, I, you know, I used to go to Korean barbecue a lot. I actually went recently. I didn't I didn't have a lot of meat, though, because I wasn't feeling the best. But uh, once I went to Korean barbecue, we had a, we had a hilarious time. As me and my buddies went, right? We went. Got some KBBQ, and a lot of us never tried cow tongue. Um, you know, they had cow tongue as an option. And like, you know, we'll order that once, and uh, we'll uh, well, we'll give it a try. Cause you know, we asked people who weren't as adventurous in eating, and uh, well, I was curious. Like, we we're all curious, so we tried it. And while we're at this place, we were like, dude, they keep giving us brisket. What the fuck? And we kept cooking the orders they gave us. And we got like, hey, can can we get cow tongue? We kept asking, can we get cow tongue? Eventually they come by, I was like, hey, is there a reason why we haven't gotten any cow tongue yet? And then they just said, uh, gentlemen, you've had five orders of cow tongue. I was like, oh, sorry, thanks. I mean, we really apologize, like, we're just curious, like, we, we didn't know. How, how do you know? It just looked like regular ass brisket, and it tasted like regular ass brisket. It was good. Japanese is faster, I own the Japanese copy of the game. It does probably matter if you're playing on fastest speed and you skip everything, so. But in many cases, you might just find yourself surprised. You might really enjoy something. Right? 
I can't believe it. it's my favorite Resident Evil game. Is Soju Bombs there? You know, I've never had a Soju Bomb. I like drinking Soju. Nothing wrong with that Paradox Dreams. I do want to mention as well, Chad, that obviously what I'm saying isn't going to apply to people who have genuine, uh, you know, reasons why they can't do something. I can't believe you're not eating peanuts. How dare you not eat peanut butter? I'm allergic to Dysis. I will die if I don't eat peanut butter. Yes, I'm not referring to you. If you if you die, if you eat food, that is not what I'm... That's not what I'm referring to. I'm referring to... Yeah, I don't want to try eel, because e eel, you, you know, like, e people think eel is weird. Dude, eel is delicious. It's a delicious food. I love eel. I don't order it all the time these days, but it's a nice food. Yeah, it's a fun one. Like, for me these days, it's not my absolute favorite because I'm a, I'm a basic bitch for tuna, but like, usually I'll have a platter that has an eel on it. Oh, I was in a board hammer. I'd be doing good. And then also, I'm also not going to, if someone has beliefs like you're a vegetarian, you're a pescatarian or anything like that, I'm not going to tell you to challenge those beliefs. Like, you have them for a reason. You already made that. You have a, a reason you're not going to do that. Oh, this burger's really tasty, though. I can't believe you're a vegetarian. No, that's not the, what I'm, the point I'm making. You know what's a good point? Chat, you ever try Indian food? You ever had it? Fucking delicious. Oh, I have so many dippings, the spices. Oh, I right, Jeff. It's a little curry. Curry naan? Delicious. Dude, garlic naan? Holy shit, man. There's a lot of cool shit up there that you can experience. Butter chicken? It could be good cookies. Oh, that's included, yum. Yeah. Get two over the top? You know what the thing is? Delirium. You tried it. Oh, no, not, not the way, no. Not, yeah, yeah, no, delirium was right. Yeah, delirium. The thing is, you tried it. You've made that decision for yourself. It has too many spices for you, and it's not something you indulge in. But the thing is, you gave it a shot. You you would, you tried it. That's fine. That's all. That's all I'm saying. Just, you know, give things a shot. A lot of people don't. I don't try many things once. I'm usually not one to say immediate no. As in Mars. And chat, that's why I watch shit like Velma every now and again. I'm not only ever watching, you know, trashy media. I mean, I watch a lot of trash, but I don't only watch trash. Come uh, on. Uh, and the smell is totally different. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of food might smell weird too, but then you try it. Delicious. A uh, Japanese curry. They'd be quite good. Curries are nice. And food's a great way of being able to branch out. Is that trying food? Well, it's just the general idea that it's not only food. I, I use food as a common example, but it's not only going to apply to food. But, uh, hold on. All right, home base. In many cases, you might find you really enjoy something, but a lot of people don't want to try something. Uh, shot three times and see if it's actually enjoy it or not. Sometimes it tastes uh, new, it takes what used to. Absolutely. I tried. I, I hate the food natto. I, I think the natto is uh, cursed. I've tried it. Uh, however, I would try it again. I would try it again. Like hot cereal? I did. Chat, you know what happened at one point? Mars came into the stream and we were talking about cereals. And Mars mentioned that she uh, apparently eats cereal hot. She will, mi like, microwave a cup of milk and pour it into her cereal. And? Well, that sounds different. Cursed, right? You do that too? Do you? It's very different. It's not something you immediately expect. Like, porridge? No, no, I mean, like, 
Uh, Cocoa Puffs. A weird? It's definitely not the norm. Like, hot or warm? Uh, Mars, was it hot or warm? Yes, I didn't make anything in your family. Yeah. But you know what the thing is? I didn't judge it. I mean, I, I, I questioned it. But I didn't judge it. You know what I did? Mars can tell you what I did. You know what I did, chat? I walked my ass downstairs to my fucking fridge. And, uh, I tried it. Oh, hold on. I were killing her. I know we're going. Okay, I know we're going. I tried it. I went downstairs. I prepared myself a bowl of cereal. And I tried it. What's the verdict? I don't like it. But for a weird reason, you probably wouldn't expect. My cereal became too soft. I don't eat fast. The actual taste when it was warm was fine. But I can't eat it because I'm a slow eater. And my cereal got too mushy because I don't eat fast. Which, that's a fair problem. Trying it was fine. My problem is I don't eat quick. Oh, no, no, I, I, I did microwave milk first, and I poured it into my bowl. I just don't eat fast. I'm a slow eater. Cold cereal, if it's working, keeps it solid for me. I'm just not a fast eater. I eat slow. And that's a me, I, that's a me thing. I understand that problem very well. I like cold cereal more. Yeah. But also, the thing is... I can accurately tell you why I didn't like it, because I tried it. I didn't just go like, ew, it's different. No, I tried it. I was curious. And I always do that. I'll find, uh, and obviously, you know, chat, if something's immediately going to be dumb, you don't have to try it then. I'm bashing you. Well, I made fun of <laughs> Oh, yeah, a little bit. But it's a fun bashing. Hold on. Okay, I think I know what I'm doing right now. Give me a moment. I do need to try Oreos and Salsa. That is actually accurate. Ew, I have heard ew. However, I heard it's actually good. I don't know why. Why isn't salsa a thing? Uh, apparently, I have heard about it. That is funny, Logan. Or is there a mid-tier cookie? Uh, fucking do the Hydrox or that shit's called done. Or is salsa? Yes, apparently it is a combination. Uh, it was recommended to the... To, I know to me by Exploded Soda. And then now, like you said, she's gonna bully me into trying it. There's a pan movie that killed an ancestor while I watched that episode last. Yeah. Well, obviously, if you know something's going to be poison, don't do that, Penny's. You didn't say bully? I'm saying bully. Uh, suckers with chili sauce? Oh, I know those. Yeah. Yeah. I actually know those, believe me. I had a lot of those when I was a kid, funny enough. Uh, whenever you, like, uh, if you ever went to, like, a Mexican birthday party, they always have them in the pinata. Yeah, they're like a lollipop, and they have like a little bit of chili powder on top, and it's kind of a little mixture of uh, sweet and sour. It's or sweet and spicy. They're nice. I get them not for everyone though. They're a very like, it's very tangy. It is super tangy if that makes sense. If I actually had those as a kid, uh, Hey, thanks, Ducky. It looks like we're doing good today. And try them's not a fan. And that's the thing. Okay. What I'm saying is that, no, you don't need to be a fan of every food you try. You can try something that goes, that's about as terrible as I expected it to be. And my example, you know what? I didn't like hot cereal. I can tell you why I didn't like it. How many left to go? Uh, three, Haunting Ground, Night Cry, and then uh, Mobile and all three other games. I tried putting my penis in a cream-filled donut. No. 
Uh, mainly because I'm not really into the idea of putting uh, food near my junk. What the fuck? I mean, it's cursed, but I can't give a sincere answer. What? Some people are into that, man. Have you never watched? There's a whole chat. There's a whole movie based on this thing about the dude who fucked a pie, American Pie. The junk food is so good. I hate that sentence, Tally. I want you to know that. I hate everything about that sentence. That's a terrible sentence, and you should feel bad that you typed it. I want that. I'm gonna say that right there, Tally. I hate that sentence. You made me read out my own eyes. Ooh, boo. I slammed my penis in the car door. From hot cereal to cream. Mars, you're being idiot. Mars, why are you cursed? Hold on. Alright, good. You slammed your penis in the car door. I love that one, it's funny. I'm chat right now. Check it out a little bit of fun. You're never cursed? Oh, of course, of course. Lighter. There we go. Okay. Oh, of course. But yes, I do not want to be... Oh, hi, on, Naliki. Like Wait, question, by the way. What kind of salsa do you want to have for that? Explain what kind of salsa in Oreo. Explain. Um, well, it depends. Use medium salsa and double stuffed Oreos. Does it have to be a particular type or flavor of Oreo? That's what I'm curious about. Heat plus sugar. Well, heat plus sugar is a classic combination. It makes sense why it would work. Pro package player. Giving five subs to the community. Going to a pay no! use. Uh, sleep easy. Uh, board, of, uh, board of seal. Uh, lucky and OG had. Enjoy the emotion of the on. Thank you for package player. I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream. And cheers. Don't try on cheat day. Again, some combos sound weird, but I usually don't mind unless it's, uh, like, I have a few exemptions. Like, you might be able to hype me up for, like, also chat, I'm not gonna lie to you. I have my, I have my inhibitors down moments. I can absolutely have my inhibitors down moment. Which, if you're wondering, what's my inhibitors down moment? Let me I'll tell you right now, chat. You ready? Friends. Any anyone, people. Like, I absolutely do not want to try Ludafisk. Ludafisk sounds rough, and I don't know if I can stomach it. However, I told Tally if she ate it before me, I would try it. Uh, durian? I've tried durian wafers, and it tasted like a gas leak. I would eat it again. I don't know if actual durian tastes that way. I would eat it again. But thank you, Pro Package Player, very much. There we go. Uh, hold on. Um. Alright, chat, ready? Here's a banger. No, no, I mean, like, actual friendship. Here's the texture. Oh, well, your friend jumped off a cliff? Well, how big is the cliff? Also, one more fan. All right, hold on. I am terrified of heights. I am actually scared of heights. I always have been. Uh, when I was in college, uh, a friend of mine wanted to go skydiving. And originally when he asked, I said no. The last minute, he told me that uh, the person they were going with couldn't make it, so they have a ticket that will go to waste, and he'll be going alone. Because of that, I went skydiving. 
I do know that one. I know the exact same one. Exactly. Um, I've been skydiving. It scared the shit out of me. You know what? I can say I did now. It's a neat enough game, the Mole King. First time flying, jump out of an airplane. What was my first time flying? How long ago? I think this is like 2016 or so. I probably just graduated college when I went. Was it worse than a roller coaster? Uh, no, actually. Uh, chat. Famously, I tell all my friends. I will jump out of a plane. You can convince me to jump out of the plane again. I refuse to go on the ride Goliath at Six Flags, Six Flags Magic Mountain. I refuse. Peter Griffin is a powerful form of cursed. I was gonna spaz. Pretty good. Not this one. Not this one. In a different boat. I hear that. He's doing the drop. Oh, dude, some roller coasters scare the shit out of me. I like skydiving. Honestly, I had fun with it. I had a good time. I would probably go again, like, not next week or anything, but, like, if somebody's planned something out, I would consider going again. Yeah. Well, my schedule is graveyard because I used to work my old job, and then I decided to go more into streaming and not, like, forward, not backward, I guess. Oh, I love uh, old school wooden roller coasters I can go on. Those are fun. But, like, I really don't want to go on Goliath. If you're wondering why, it hangs there too long. It just hangs. I don't like the hanging. Like, I I can't do it, man. That I I'm actually like it, it gets me. I don't want to be up there that long. I'm like, I like the drop. It might be like the drop. Mad panic coaster. That's how I feel. Oh, that's terrifying, Nana. There we go. Alright, good. Wait, what? There we go. I was like, wait a minute, I'm missing something. Oh, it's bl oh, red and blue. Okay. All right, cool. There we go. Sorry, I like the gears in my head are turning. Oh, Viper and Superman, which are fine. Oh, dude, absolutely. I love Viper. I love Superman. Oh, actually, no, I don't like Superman. I like Viper. Dude, they're on X2, though. Like, I love X2. I love the Riddler's Revenge. But, chat, do you know what the Riddler's Revenge is at Six Flags? I love the Riddler's Revenge. Because you want to know what the Riddler's Revenge really is. Do you want to know what his devious plan was? He had a cunning revenge plan, and damn right he succeeded. I know he got me with it. Ever been to Six Flags? Well, Mars, at Six Flags Magic Mountain, there's a ride called the Riddler's Revenge. And you're, you keep wondering, what's he getting revenge for? And what's his plot? I can tell you his plot. Chat, would you like to know what his terrifying plot is? His revenge is cock and ball torture. I'm not kidding. His revenge is a direct attack on your cock and balls. I would go on that ride, and the thing is, it's a standing roller coaster, and they have this tiny chair underneath you, kind of like a bar stool. Uh, the way it works, and I enjoyed it. I mean, I liked the ride, but I remember the pain my dick felt. If you at all, like, you know, don't get situated right, what will happen is it can just ride up into you, and it's rough. And the the Riddler is directly attacking. Is the hardest clock tower? Um, probably casually, yeah. By the way, I'm, like, behind on my splits. That one was fun. 
Personally, also, I like X2. I like, I can ride everything at six flags. I just can't ride Goliath and Superman. Superman, I just don't like looking up that way. I don't like just right up. And then, um, Goliath, I don't like being up for that long. Extreme wedgie? No, it's like driving right into like the front of your crotch. I, I, I would like, yeah. Same, it's gonna be good, DR. It's gonna be good, Diario. It's gonna be good. It hurts, by the way. Like, walking afterward is painful. Yeah, Goliath, like, again, I, I would rather jump out of a plane again than go on Goliath. I know it's irrational, but like, I'd rather jump, I would literally jump out of a plane again before I do that. And I have. I go upside down loops. That's fine. Or about remake? I did, Sujiro. I did. I've been tweeting out the storm. Chat, check out my Twitter. Talked about it the other day. Noted. Avoiding that ride? Yeah. What would convince me to go on Goliath? Uh, I, at this point, I don't think there is anything to on. Like, I've been on Tatsu. I've been on everything else. I just don't want to go on Goliath. Like, it's kind of irrational. You know, that's fair, Wondrous. That's fair. Right, again, I don't think you could actually make me go on Goliath, Chad. Like, rationally, I don't think there's ever been anything. It's a small world? I like it's a small world. thousand dollars i again i don't know i ha well if you have ten thousand dollars to hand me we can talk about it but i don't think i'll tell you for ten thousand dollars i feel like it'd be more of an in the moment thing for that i'm not gonna say i can't be bought because admittedly i don't know if i can be bought or not i don't really know i've never really tried hey what is anything in here As I wish this along this coil life improvements. Let me run on the stairs. Make the stairs faster. That's it. Just make the stairs faster. Everything else I'm cool with. Add what you want. I don't care. Like I'm excited to see what new additions they have. Make the stairs faster. I think that's a very fair opinion, Macro Blue. Oh, look how the guy just gone. You never milked a cow. That's your goal this year. Are you making moves to uh, obtain your goal, Juan More Fan? Making the moves to milk a cow? If it sounds like I'm shitposting, I'm not. I'm quite sincere about this, actually. Yeah, I'm doing good, Raichu. New clock tower got announced. Things are nice today. It's been a nice stream. Doing good. Making the moves. Well, I mean, Chad, it's about having realistic and reasonable goals. If your goal is to milk a cow, your aunt has invited you to Mexico. Now, I'm assuming your aunt probably has a cow or knows someone with a farm, right? How many times have been in Disneyland? I do not know. Because in that case, that's a very reasonable goal. Yeah. You have moves you're making. You're getting there. That's very good. And I'm happy to hear that. Hopefully, you'll, you will be able to uh, milk the cow. It's a weird experience? Why that? It's probably something very unique. Could be enjoyable, in fact. I don't know. I don't have no desire to milk a cow myself, but although it's a trip that gets you worried, I think it'll be fine. Naranchi will show you around Mexico, hopefully, and it'll be nice. Take it easy, Gutasis. I think you'll be in good hands. You've milked yourself. See, that's a slightly different area of uh, being right there. I've been since a baby. Oh, they'll be you're going to like I'm assuming with family, right? I'll be good on Gutasis. I'm assuming you're going with family and your family's probably been before.
That was what my mom hated a long time ago. Well, if you're going with family, hopefully you should be good. I know some places could be also... Yeah, I have a good one. Some places would be kind of sketchy, but, you know. In many cases, if you have people going with you, it should be a nice time. And always make sure you trust your gut and follow standard safety protocols. You gotta milk a goat in your uncle's place. How'd that go? So, God damn it, I milked my... <laughs> milked myself, huh? Uh, yeah. It's different? I can imagine. Milking? Apparently chat's all about milking themselves, so... God damn it, chat. No, no milking stream. I think that would get uh, a lot of you banned on Twitch for good reason. I haven't tried milk on cereal yet? What, hot milk on cereal, warm milk on cereal? It's okay. Oh. Of course. Man milk on cereal. Well, that's a very different type of uh, thing there, chat. Oh, I need to get the amulet. Hold on. Oh, so I keep bringing a split. Someone's done it? Probably, yeah. People have done quite a lot of things. Uh, human, human, the human mind has a lot of creation behind it, Chad. Many people have different visions, and these visions are all kind of ways for us to uh, put our own spin on a variety of things. Some people are uh, create beautiful presentations and works of art. Others uh, come in their cereal and eat it. There's a difference between these two very much. And it's unlaid. Running out of milk for my cereal and running late to work. Just don't have milk. That's my answer. Quite a special there. It is, but you know, there's many uh, things that happen with that. Yeah. I've been dead inside when I said that. I mean, that's just apparently what chat's doing, huh? But also, this goes to a lot of things, Chad. We've kind of, we live in a beautiful era where there's so much you can, you see out there. You're innocent? I didn't blame you for that, Mars. I'm playing Wondrous. I don't know, Mole King. I've never asked myself that question. Nor do I really care all that much about it. More power to him. Oh, God. Here he is. Hollywood's collapsed. I'm not too sure if Hollywood would collapse quite yet. I mean, it could, but about the same. Yeah. So you beat this. Alright, here we go. Compare Japanese. Well, this one is because I'm playing the Japanese version. He does, Reese. That he does. Ah, it's a Latino Taku. Good to see you. And it is. It should be exciting. I should got that. Any question? What's the question? And there's straws out of the way. Ooh. Okay, let's see. I am quite excited, though. You know, Taku. Clock Tower's gonna be good. Okay, I've gone Green Bay Content Ground. Happy Wayport to Clock Tower. Yeah. 
I get tricked by the attached assessment by falling against the video like consecutively. Probably how the game is dead, but wait, do I get to sleep? No? Hey! UG, we won. Single prick? Probably the prick being easier, but I mean, I, I think I, I don't know if I ever play. Yeah, pretty much one of those options is literally I might die of sleep deprivation, depending on how long they take. Meanwhile, a cactus, you could that happen to you on accident. It's pretty short. You just. Poop. You see, now you're adding things on. Now you have to make the cactus worse in that case. In that point, the cactus is probably going to be faster. Add things on into the DVD thing. Well, no, that's just, a, that's just elaborating. You already won? Yeah, you just. I've been hit by a cactus before. It's not very nice, but it happened. Like, one of those is much shorter in many cases, and I don't know how long the average game of the- Hold on, let's see. The average game of Dead by Daylight... Oh, wait, hold on. Six to eight minutes, let's say that much. But let's say, let's go with uh, six minimum. That'd be 600 minutes. Let me sleep. Which, that's about 10 hours, right? Yeah, 10 hours. Mm -hmm. right, so I don't play, actually, I think I have played Dead by Dead for 10 hours before. It's probably, I mean, also depends. I do has an average game time of 10 to 15 minutes, so. Let's do 15 to make it worse. Yeah. That'd be about a hold the Han. That's about one fourth of an hour times one hundred, so. Oh yeah, wait a minute, break time check, I gotta listen to these credits. I'll think about, pretty much cactus is faster, in most cases. Alright, chat. So, break time, I'm gonna get Clock Tower 3 all set up, and we'll be right back very quick. So, I need to play the credits to see that nice ending. We're gonna enjoy the music. While I'm gone, I'm gonna play an ad. This is officially kind of the break of the stream, I haven't moved in five hours. So, I'm gonna go pee. You can spam like Dicey Boogie while I'm gone, it'll be nice. You see, chat, you gotta have the... that man. There we go. Alright, anyway, I'll be right back. If you want to avoid the ad, add block to Turbo sub to the channel and Prime Gaming. Otherwise, just walk away from it. Get a snack, get a drink. Anyway, here's your ad. Doing it now. Masterful timing. Guys, yeah, just start phone. Nick, you're in charge. Alright? Yeah, buddy.
Perfectly timed. Thank. I don't know how long it's been on ending rank A. Usually I thought it paused at this point, but uh. Actually, I don't know if that's perfectly timed. It could be. No, I see the ghost said message on there. Probably was timed pretty well. All right, basically just showed up. Perfect. All righty, chat. Here the private came true. Well, chat, it does go to show that, like, I don't know, I feel like every now and again when I say something, a lot of people think, like, you know, they... Like, I had a lot of, like, question various takes I've had. And it feels kind of nice to have one of my takes get vindicated so far. Actually, two of them, totally. Well, like, uh, 7 o'clock tower, what game I look forward to? Gex, baby! The Gex sweep is coming back! I'm gonna buy Gex when it comes out. Is Talk to three cannon? Yes, but it doesn't matter. Let's say Sunsoft made a game and decided to say, oh yeah, there's uh, some guy in the mountains who's a monk who uh, takes a pair of blunt scissors and scissors his dick. And what happens is he's building strength. Uh, you know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, eating less spicy food to build his strength. So yeah, he's trying to like, you know, endure ultimate pain and he's strengthening his dick, right? It's canon. Does it affect the story? Uh, no. But it's canon. It's wild. That was a wild box. Can I get something different? Possibly Akira. That being said, it's inconsequential. That's what I'm saying. It's very inconsequential that it matters. It, it pretty much doesn't. Boom. Oh. Alright, let's go. Uh, games got announced. Gex, baby! And then probably plumbers don't wear ties if I had to guess with Iris. The Gex sweep. Clock and ball tower. But yeah, the clock tower cannon pretty much doesn't matter after clock tower PS1. Uh, the only games that are relevant are the original clock tower and the PlayStation 1 game. Uh, I would actually like it if clock tower 2 the struggle then had more relevance, which if you're wondering how would it make more folks in the demon idol. Gex, they're making, remaking, Gex, or the remaster of Gex 1, 2, and 3. And that's going to be pretty, pretty exciting there, chat. All you Gex fans are eating well tonight. You know what, chat? We're living quite well, in fact. I'm just excited for Clock Tower. Also, Chad, you know what? All three of them? Hey, if, if there's only three fans, I'm one of them. Uh, Tamba? That's who. Hey, CBT's actually really good, Baby Straubs. I just feel bad, because, uh, I can't ever- Like, I have a buddy of mine who, like, you know, he talks about some of the stuff he learned in college, and he mentions that oh, CBT is quite helpful, and I laugh. I know he's talking about cognitive behavioral therapy, but... I- I- it's hard not to think about cock and ball torture when you hear CBT these days. You enjoy Gex so much. You bought a copy of the classic Gex and tried playing it. So. That you do. No, it's not cock behavior. It's trippy second place. I'm sure he might. Oh yeah, that reminds me, Chad. I gotta, I gotta think up of my my jam. I have a really fun game jam I want to do. Like I have some fun ideas for uh, some possible new games to play on the channel. Space Jam? No, I have a unique idea. I have two ideas that are going to be a larger scope, and they're going to they're going to be very interesting. One of them will hopefully take place during the month of September, because uh, it's going to be exciting to have like a bunch of sub goals again. 
No, I'm not doing a game jam like the the coding stuff because I don't know how to code. Um, but I have an idea with a bunch of games I want to do. Let's just say right now in September, it might get a little bit chaotic in a good way. And then I have my ultimate speedrunning plan in not this coming weekend, the following weekend. It shall be. Wait, what? You're kidding me. I was actually one little bit too off. That's stupid. There you go. And yeah, I think it'll be fun. Also, chat, it's past 2 a.m. and I hope your vibes are good. My vibes are uh, solid, I suppose. I'm doing good. I can't complain. I think things are nice. But, chat, the thing is, in the world of streaming as well, I always want to feel like I'm doing more. I, I know a lot of people who just sort of do the same things all the time. And they just stick with that forever and they never move up. I don't want to ever feel like I'm not moving up. I like feeling like we're doing bigger and better things. Vibes are good. Well, there you go. It's a fun one, Volgan, though. It's a good game. Any any scissors in chat? Any scissors? Yo, if I guys ever gave me ever sped rant. Wait, did he just do that, really? God damn it. I didn't know we had... All right, then, hold on. I can just tell you that. I'll just tell you the idea then, because now I'm... All right. God damn I didn't know Dis was doing that. Oh. Chat, that was the idea I wanted to do, actually. I mean, it doesn't stop me from doing it, but... Now I feel like it's less original. I actually did not know Dis was doing that. Oh. I, I still do the idea. I don't want to feel like rip it off. I didn't know it to Yeah, chat. The idea I had was... Oh, Alright, I'll just tell you now because it's in the wild, I suppose. Doing what? Uh, for Dis, it was really just going to be a Sunday birthday marathon. Gotcha. Kept getting new games added each day. Gotcha. Yeah, my plan was, uh, after the Wheel of Games, I kind of wanted to do every single game I've ever ran. Uh, well, that's on the Wheel of Games, quote-unquote. No, nah, I don't do every category. That's uh, Categories don't really matter. Game matters, not category. In one stream? No, no. It, it would take, like, I think a good week minimum. But like, if... I don't want to feel like the idea is the ripoff now. I think it's my idea, but I don't want to. Oh shit! I don't want to feel like I ripped off an idea though. You know, even Code Veronica. I never sped on Code Veronica. At least not yet. Number two, I'm in prime gaming for twelve months. Enjoy the emo tennis and thank you. No, public domain phone. So the thing was, uh, it was parallel thinking. Right, but I don't want to. I, I, I wanted to do it after the Wheel of Games, which is going to be not this weekend, but next weekend. And then... I call it for I knew, but I do have a lot of me literally saying that I wanted to have, like, I, 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 you know, I DM'd Nelly Q saying I had this idea, like, I think like a week ago or something. And I've had this idea brewing for a good bit, too. All right, the remake is boring to speedrun, in your opinion? I don't think it's boring to speedrun. It's actually a pretty tight run. Especially with no intro, dude, that run's not bad. It's actually like one of the better Resident Evil runs, in fact. They ever speed No, I did not speedrun Visage. Maybe Rad. I mean, I'm still down to do the idea, but like. I, I don't want to feel like I stole the idea. Especially since I, I have a pretty big respect for this. I'm like, oh. Shit. 
Well, chat, me doing it after it makes it seem like I just, like, you know, took the idea. Yeah. I mean, I still, like, my, my point of time was gonna be, because I already announced I had something special brewing, like, this whole fucking, like... I've talked about it for a while now, actually. <laughs> oh, that's all right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you would see us me taking the idea. I suppose that's fair. But yeah, chat, that was one of the things I was hinting at. Cat's out of the bag there, because I was like, wait, wait. Oh. That one can be original. That was an E-man. You gotta, you have, uh, you gotta have some, uh, can we have a round of a dicey hypers, chat? The clock tower announcement, you hear about that, E-man? And the twist only like dice can pull off. Well, the twist I can pull off is the fact that I have, uh, hundreds of games. Yeah, it was, Panties. It was. Absolutely. It absolutely was. It's one of the two. No, I'm not gonna- I don't, I don't need to sp go upside down, chat. Why not review every game of every, uh, why not review? Well, I, mean, I guess reviewing would make sense afterward. I don't want to be upside down. I'm not going to be upside down. Yeah. I'm even still, though. By the way, chat, I'm saying right now, it's specifically every game on the Wheel of Games. Don't think you're getting a free Waltzing Ramen out of that. Don't think you're getting a free, like... It's games I genuinely think I can do. Do it. I'm doing every other game. Nightmare on Elm Street's on there, Waltz and Grauman is not. It probably is your mail, but more importantly than my day being good, I hope that you're doing all right, or doing as good as you can. Whatever ails you, I hope that you'll be all right. Do I like Waltz and I just like it? I don't actually mind the show or the, uh, you know, the series. I just want to play a, a shitty licensed game. But I hope you are doing good, Zermail, or good as you can. It does sound like things might be rough on your end. Lifeline is there. Uh, you have a sick cat probably won't make it through the week. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, how's it going, Dan? Yeah, big news on the Gex and Clock Tower fronts, but hope you are doing good today. Zermail, it's absolutely not an easy thing. And, uh, on my end, as, you know, I, I know the feeling quite well, especially in recent times. And there's nothing I can say that will truly be able to make you feel better. And that is going to be one of the harsh natures of life. However, this week, make sure you spend as much time as you can with your cat. You're going to be able to remember those last moments that you had. Or, you know, I mean, I, I don't know if there is any cure to it. And yeah. Unfortunately, it is one of the uh, things we sign up for as pet owners. Along the directly on it? No. But I do hope that you will be able to enjoy that a bit in terms of uh, the last moments you do have. And I mean enjoy as, I don't know. I'm not sure what your cat's enjoyed. There's probably a lot of things. Uh, people always talk about, you know, being able to cook up something nicer for your pets. They'll have a nicer food, time spent together. When I lost Shadow, I spent the last day with him, funny enough. I don't know, some of that body told me. Spend time, some time downstairs with him. And he quite literally passed away in front of me. Uh, we were watching Always Sunny together. Um, originally, he was lying down in bed with me. Uh, but then afterward, he kept trying to go outside and I kept bringing him inside back and forth. And at one point, he was in his little bed and he, um, he passed. I guess the idea that uh, my dad told me was that he was likely uh, trying to wander off so he can, uh, you know, not be a burden when he passed. But ultimately, I'm very lucky I did get to spend that moment with him. I mean, yeah, Yoshichi, but the thing is, it's a very natural part of the cycle of life in a way. rough it is 
And, you know, as much as as much as you love your pet and your pet loves you, I'm sure they'll appreciate you being by their side in the final moments. I'm assuming that, you know, you, you've done everything you can. It might be terminal. But I do hope that in your case, you will be able to spend the... Yeah, the, lots of treats and what food is good. And even if, if, if for Chad, who has, you know, maybe didn't get to have that moment with your pet. Maybe they passed when you're gone. I, I had that side as well. And it's not easy. And in many cases, you did all you could for them. And you were a good owner. So I want to just reaffirm that, that end for you. And I hope that you'll be all right. You are allowed to grieve. One is still really healthy. I had two dogs make it to the ripe old age of 17. One of them died at the age of like 11, I think. Or like 12 or something. He was the younger one, in fact, is the sad part. He had doggy diabetes. Sometimes different people, pets, they get dealt a raw hand, and it is quite unfortunate. The dream of Sludgehammer ending you. Well, Please hopefully you don't die. You. Now. Also, chat, virus is like 30 minutes. Walls and ground at 6 hours. So. And I will say as well as your mail, it's okay to feel sad about it. He's one of your best friends. Or, gee, I, I actually don't know what your cat is. Your cat's one of your best friends. I do the Elm Street run? I will, and Chow would realize that's pretty boring. Again, it's not much of a thing. Alisa. But that's my goal. I want to do a run of every single game. couple days next were keep doing it enjoy the moments while you got them and you know what chat as as sad as i make it sound with the um with shadow passing away i'm very grateful and lucky that i was able to be there it's something that i would feel much worse about if i didn't have that opportunity as you know, well, I had a lot of, you know, my family's had four dogs. Uh, we have, like, more now. We have two more uh, since then. Uh, now, we're, now we're at three, but, like, you know. At one point we had five. Um, all the dogs, you know, they're family dogs, but... Shadow was definitely the one that was my best friend. He was, he was my dog, for what it's worth. And that's the difference. And yeah, but also there's a dignity in it, Wonder Greek. Um, you know. We also have to keep in mind on our own... You can be selfish. There's a dignity in the passing of a pet. Like, for any of the pets that we have, or in general, I would hate for, uh, for someone just to be on life support, like, as a pet. And just buffering so they can just stay around. So, but as well, we have a bunch of different perspectives on it. As well, you know, you know what me and my family did uh, when we uh, when Shadow passed as well. We drank. We had a shot, shots in his honor. Why? It's the way family works. Mourn but celebrate. So, the mail to you. I hope that's. I hope that you and your family will be able to grieve as needed. I hope you'll be okay. Let's celebrate some of the good memories you had with your cat. Exactly. Dude, me like, time and memories mess me up a lot. Like in a friend of? Yeah, you can do that. Especially during, uh, we'll probably have uh, something like that during the uh, Day of the Dead.
Uh, so we're playing Bugs and Sooner at the time, so, uh, on his age. A little about same, but you've done good. Ow, I fucked up. Camp, this is a, quite a campy game. And also, I'm quite excited. Also, I was good on Frozen Blades. I'll be doing good. On July 3rd. I hope that you're doing okay. I'm sure they're not easy. I know a lot of chats are going to have uh, the various pet stories as well. Oh. I remember when Chico passed. I like Chico. Chico's one of my best friends as well. It's Chico. That dog was an old, angry, pissed off dog. He was spiteful. He wasn't like, he wasn't like bite or bark angry. He was a spiteful dog. You know what? It was my spiteful dog. He's a good lad as well. I have a lot of fun stories with him. One of my favorite fun stories is that we had a family friend who was staying over, and Chico didn't like him. Why? Family friend was kind of a dick to Chico. And nothing like, you know, heinous, heinous, but like, you know, it, it was just not very nice to Chico sometimes. So, his family friend uh, spent time crafting, like, the perfect burrito. Like, he spent, like, a good 15 minutes on this shit. Just, like, getting all the massive, like, all the extra ingredients, like, uh, you know, all the perfect ratios, and he just perfected this burrito. He ended up leaving it on the coffee table, which is pretty low down, and he went to the bathroom. Chico immediately ate it. And then he crapped in his shoes. He knew. It is Mulking in a weird way. Oh no? We laughed. And then he tried to go like, I can't believe your dog ate that. I was like, why? You deserve that. Yes. Why would you do any of this? Base? It was base. We laughed. We defended the Chico. I was like, no, no. This is absolutely on you. No, it's not on him. Why would you leave it there? This dog? It was funny. And like I said, it was spiteful. Put food up high? Exactly. If you spend that much time on a burrito, maybe don't leave it in reach. So. It's nice to have various memories. Which was too angry to die? That was Chico right there. I know the feeling of Volgan. It's kind of sweet. The same dog, by the way, uh, got lost for two weeks. Well, we lost him one day. We're not sure how it happened, but we found him, funny enough. After two weeks, he was wandering around, like, our, our neighbor had, like, coyotes and shit. People just found him running around. We have no idea how the fuck he survived two weeks. As, you know, tiny chihuahua, but he, he did. He's resilient. I remember one Christmas, he ate a box of chocolates. Like, my dad got this nice box of C's candies. He just fucking ate it. How did your cat get AIDS? Feline AIDS. I don't know that's a thing. No way I'll assume you're being genuine and say sorry. I hope I feel bad, but uh, I didn't know cats could get that. That's a thing? That's trippy. He was powerful. He's no longer with us, true? I'm not saying it's not true. I'm just saying I'm just saying I hope you hope you are. I imagine it's a thing. As do keep in mind, there's gonna always be some uh, skepticism with the sentence, but I—that's why I say I believe in good faith, and that's why I said I, I feel bad. I hope you the memory of that cat is okay. Understand? Yep. Anyway, chat. Oh, I was about to think of the fall. I'm excited for things. Things will be good. We'll hop over to something happier, but that's some of the thoughts I wanted to give about that. Let's celebrate the new release of Clock Tower. Oh, that's not what we're doing it today. What did I talk about before that, too? I had a thought going on. I don't know what it was. Jack can still type as they like, by the way, but I'm going to start shifting my end. That's a sweet one. Oh. 
One of the nice things about streaming as well is the amount of people who tell me they get to relive some of their favorite game memories uh, for watching some of the games. Uh, there was something to be stated about the various weird shit that we play. Where a lot of people are able to just kind of relive classic games. They couldn't be classic games in general. It's nice. Game is awesome. Yeah, honestly, I enjoyed this game. My memory of this game was I always saw this game in used game shops. And it went for 15 bucks. Now it's expensive. And I'm kind of glad this game has picked up in Steam and respect. I used to hate this game, funny enough. I hated running it. That's because I didn't understand what I was doing. And in all fairness, if you don't get time to truly ruminate in a game, it's going to make sense why you might not like it as much. But also, I guess it goes back to, you know, try something three times, maybe, before you uh, write it off entirely. Or multiple times. Yeah, have a good one, Sir Dan. Take it easy. Uh, some of the neat game facts you got. About which game? That is the question. I'm done with this for RE3 OG for one. Nice. Oh, yeah, chat. I what I was talking about. So, yeah, uh, ultimately, the plan I wanted to do, though, um... I... I didn't want to feel like I was taking any ideas, but I, it is... Yeah, essentially, it's... I wanted to run every single game I have ever ran in a row. And I don't know what breakdown I would have, but I would just keep running games until we hit the end. And then I don't know how long streams would be. I don't know what we'd have planned. I'd probably go from oldest to most recent as well in order. Oh, that's a fan. Uh, that's sweet, delicious mist. I'm glad. Very glad for that. A nice small gun. It's always nice what memories we have. That's also why I kind of mentioned my favorite Reddit story. Because uh, I do have one. It's a story about someone who mentioned that Assassin's Creed saved their life. And it's a very sweet story because they had good memories with Assassin's Creed. That's damage plus. You'll be doing good. And you're not always going to be able to decide what games are going to have an impact on you. Never heard of that before? We do, we've done the graveyard a couple of times in recent. Uh, it is a cursed game. It's very short. Also, funny enough, I have a nice game collection, and I don't think I'd ever want to part with any of this stuff. I really like my game collection. It's a lot of things that have kind of amassed because I want them. I don't ever just want a game because, oh, this game is a super rare. I must have it. No, I generally want something that I think is going to be neat. Any words, too? Yeah. And especially with the years of been streaming, I've kind of amassed something really neat on games I play quite a lot. Even fall, by the way. Like 10 bucks? Nice. Hey, nothing wrong with that. You, like you say, you don't really uh, care much about them anymore. Uh, that once a day. Well, that's alright, Dizzy Splits. But I hope you've been well, by the way. Frozen Blaze, thank you for the gifted sub and gifts of debut. Going to Sir Mail. Sir Mail, I hope that does help, and I want to say, well, cheers to you once again, and I hope that you'll have as nice of a week as you can. You have all the games, all the games, not for pennies. I mostly just kept my share of let it vanish. Also, it's in Border Speedruns, so it'll be doing good. Yeah, it's a fun game. It's a very simple game to run. Let's help you out of it. I'm glad. There you go. Yeah, Chad. I'm saying, though, you know what? On the upside, I know for a fact the idea I have for the, uh... The, the sub-idea I have. I know a sub-idea that's gonna be quite fun. I gotta, I gotta start preparing for it now, but I know that one is definitely going to be, uh... More unique. I don't think anyone's doing that one. I know one person who's done something... Uh, who's done the idea. 
Uh, but I want to up the scale a little bit, and I want to I want to talk to them about it. I want to see if there's something I can do to make mine different enough. It's very creative, and I think it'd be a lot of fun. Hey, man! Thank you for the gift of going to cryptic reality. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you very much. Let's say sub idea. Yeah. I'm going to friend this because it's cyberpunk. Yeah. Now. You put it up for uh, Day of the Dead. And nothing to do with the Titanic. Uh, no. No, it has nothing to do with that kind of sub. I just might need help coming up with the full scope of what I got going on. But like, I don't know, I, I guess I gotta find out the exact, like, I gotta find out the math behind it, because there's gonna be some math involved. And I'll DM, I don't know, some mod or something, and like, I don't know, work it out that way. I only really know one person I'm gonna do already. Any imploders? No, chat's currently alive, they're not writing the... $250,000, uh, some shape, sub, sub machine, uh, yeah, sub. This is machine. Using math? Well, yeah, I need to use the math. Cause I gotta find out what, all right, I, I'll say right now, chat, it's gonna have a lot of games. A lot of games, right? Doing math? Cause I have a neat sub incentive idea I want to do for September, and I think it's gonna be a blast. I'll say right now, the do every game in my speedrun catalog is just me doing every game. I just want to do it. It's something I've kind of wanted to do for quite a while. In fact, I even said earlier, it's like, I, other streamers would probably make this be a sub thing. It's not going to be a sub thing for that one. That just, I'm doing it because I want to. That's the idea behind it. And I'm playing Math Blaster? No. I should do every game? I kind of already mentioned. At the same time? No, no. I already, I already have the idea, chat. It'll just be, you know, a bunch of them. We got the scope. And that's why community voting might be going away for a bit, because, uh, you know, then it's otherwise like, oh, what do I be doing there, huh? I, kinda, I can't really vote if we're doing all the games in a row. <laughs> but I'm personally there's some way we could probably incorporate that. There's a lot of that. No dicky eyes. Now nah, let's give the cutscene topaz. We have a we have the makeup time. Usually, if like we're behind, I try not to play as many cutscenes if I can avoid it. We might play the last one because I really like that one. We'll see. Ooh, dodge. I'm getting that a lot more lately. Guys, based on a real killer, he was. Jessica always gets to participate. Well, me, Jessica has some pretty good ideas. She suggested some good stuff. Does it scare you? Well, this is a horror game, Mars, so it'd be fitting. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Spooky. Yep. Can I play that going knife? Nope. Apparently it is quite the expensive game, and it is pretty trippy. I scared you most in the game of Chopper. Well, he is also quite terrifying, Akari. If I was going fair, Chris, I'm going good. That's pretty stuff. <laughs> we might, D-Man. We just might. Also, you know what, Chop? I'm going to say uh, thanks to anyone who uh, just has been tuning in today. Uh, it's quite nice to see a lot of people, uh, you know, tuning in for the Seven of the Clock Tower series. Now I say I'm not the end all be all on like Clock Tower Authority. I don't really think uh, I have a lot of opinions in the franchise, but I'm very glad that uh, I'm very glad that people are excited for it. You are glad to hear that. Good to hear. Ah, oh, shit, I was the game, I didn't need to do that. I mean, I probably could have played that safer. 
Yeah, it's probably fine. Alright, let's see. Who's Smash player or Corroder? Because you throw water on it and he ignites on fire. Just like a regular Smash player. Can't believe it, Chad. Should we be cooking? We might just be. All right, boss fight time. Let's do this shit. Mm. You know those guys don't bathe? There's definitely a, uh, what's the word? A general consensus uh, of a lot of gamer, well, also, you know, gamers in general, uh, a lot of nerdier hobbies can be a general uh, aroma, general opinion that uh, a lot of them do not take proper care of themselves when they're going out. But you know, we'll probably too if you're you know, in your own house after work. Oh, I'm doing an e man. I hope your day works and be nice. Right, it is a, a gamer stereotype, period. However, Smash players apparently are such a league above all other gamers that they're like. Considered to be some of the worst offenders of the uh, the gamer smell opinion. You're still stuck at work. Oh, girl who works too much. How are you doing, good Rambo Rachel? Isn't it conventions, conventions, tournaments, a bunch of stuff like that? A lot of them start putting rules up that you know if you smell bad, they're going to take you outside and. Free at the hose. And they're probably going to tell you to go back to your room and shower, but like, a lot of gaming events have the, uh, the gamer funk rule. There she is. Oh, there she is. Oh, prepare to die. Oh, there she is. Go. Oh. Yeah, here's to where? Prison. Can you enter the entrance? Some people do. Nice. Some people do, Delirium. Some people absolutely do. Such an awkward weapon. What, the arrows? I mean, that's just the nature of the game. It's for GDQ as well. GDQ does have a smell policy, yes. If you reek at GDQ, they will ask you to shower. And you could get in trouble if you have continued issues with this. Oh, I'm so I'll be doing good. Yeah. To Odom. Well, the funniest part as well is apparently the smell thing is also a fighting game tactic. You attack your opponent in all senses. It weakens them in their game. Ask some pride and wash your ass. Correct. I mean, the hotel showers are nice. I don't like hotel showers. They're nicer than regular shower. I'm not sure why. Maybe it's because they're fancy. Five more hours to move your new PS5? You gonna, what game are you gonna play? Final Fantasy? Say yourself the. Yeah. It's easier to have a shower beer and a hotel shower. Honestly, the shower beer is nice. Water pressure is good. There's a lot of nice stuff about it. I like the shower beer, chat. And I know because the PS5 has like five games you can play in total on it that are exclusive and wouldn't need anything else. Want to shower beer? To Mars, do you know when you shower? You take a shower, and while you're showering, you drink. It doesn't have to be beer exclusive. You can do White Claw. You can do a variety of alcohol. But the general idea is that you're having a drink in the shower. They're actually really nice. I actually really en enjoy the shower beer. It is on my nice vacations. Drink, it is a way for me to start my day. Clearly vacation. I don't do it like stream wise. Well, that's the thing too. You can do whatever you want in your shower. It's your shower. I have chat. Uh, pretty much for any of you, I'm not going to judge what you do in your shower. It's your shower. That's yours. 
like, it's your house. Beer is much better. Why not just get German beer? You're safe in the shower. You have, yeah, you you can have a lot of things, dude. I I know I I I'm mean, hearing about a Twitter account where uh, some guy has been uh eating a bunch of foods in the shower and ranking them, and it kind of gets more and more absurd. I wish that you live in a motel. Why a motel? Well, a showering TikToks, it could be that case. Honestly, I mean, it is, a lot of things are gimmicky, but like, I'm not gonna lie. People have told me about eating food in the shower and kind of sold. The idea, behind, the idea with it is that you, um, you know, anything that would spill would just go into the drain. It would just wash off you. So you can eat messier foods and not have to worry. The problem is obviously water, but like. Dude, I love gripping food in the forest. It was a fun account, Mickey Guy. Bobby Joe's in the shower? I think they may have done that already, yeah. Sometimes it's nice to know what could happen, Jazz. It's nice to know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure all these things can be tested. You can try them. I don't eat in the shower, but like you can try them if you really want to, yes. I've actually heard about the shower orange too. in the shower after watching Psycho? Well, you're not in a weird hotel with a guy who uh, is really obsessed with his mother, are you? I think that's kind of more where you're staying. That's my problem with Mako Shark, but I feel like people can make it work. Wow, that's actually really lucky. Oh, shit. Huh, okay. Let's be safe. Oh, nice trick. <laughs> Crab, uh, pretty much, I guess what I'm saying right now, I don't need to tell Twitch chat how to take a shower. I think chat knows how to shower. How many subs for an Elvis sandwich eaten in the shower? Which one, the Elvis sandwich or the Fool's Gold Loaf? Either way, you wouldn't know because I wouldn't stream myself in the shower. And then the Fool's Gold Loaf, I'd probably make a large sub goal. Five guys burger in the shower. Okay, it doesn't matter if I do anything in the shower, you wouldn't see it. You'd only just be hearing me talk about it. Oh yeah, that reminds me by the way, chat. Speaking of talking about things, I don't know why this jogged my memory. But you do have something I do want to share with you. I finally tried one. I tried the filet of fish finally. It was alright. I don't think I'd order it again, but like one was handed me, I'd probably eat it. I'm not I don't want to stream next to water, chat. I'm not doing it. Nice. That was alright. That being said, I mentioned we can do the the fool's go low, but the problem is that'd be a lot of subs because I'd have to cook the thing on the stream and it's it's big. No, I'm not gonna drink a smoothie of filet of fish. That sounds vile. The worst thing in the world. That's pretty much the opinion I uh, understand of it. Like, I'd be willing to make the fools go loaf, but obviously that'd be a larger goal because that is a big fucking sandwich. Also, I couldn't even eat it all. It's a pound of bacon, a jar of peanut butter, a jar of jam, all in a hollowed out loaf. I don't have that kind of power. Nor do I even want to dare to have that kind of power. Sounds wildly cursed. I mean, Ellis did die on the toilet, chat. I want to let you know right now. He died on the toilet. Oh, you might, Iris. You just might. Don't worry. Fox Tower Mobile will be here. Have a good night. Well, the center sandwich is actually good, and I haven't had it in a bit, but I want to have one again. 
Oh, that was a map snaps. Uh, do, you con do you consider Clock Tower a Haunting Ground game? Yeah, I do. Well, you know what I said, but yeah. Haunting Ground's on this, Night Cry's on this, as is the Remothered franchise. Let's sleep well, Iris. I think a lot of people might be knocking out about now. No worries there. Ooh, chat. You know, this weekend is exciting in general. I'm excited for the, uh... What's the word? I say a pimp? Good. I'm excited for the RE event. I'm so pumped for it, man. I'm so pumped. You can't get away. How does pants work? Well, they work like pants in some regard. All right, I'm having an okay fight. You can't get away. Nice. What a good fight. I'll take that. Yeah, the RE lay, the Resident Evil relay. I think it'll be fun, D man. He just walks towards you. Uh, he could run to you, and that's bad RNG. I got good RNG. Yeah, I'll be doing haunting around the maps. Don't worry. I'll be doing remother. God, though, I am pumped. Yeah, me and Cat have put in quite a lot of work, Chad. We put in a... Uh, put in a lot of work for that. Also, it, it's pretty nice being able to, like, uh, what's the word? Because, like, I know tomorrow at some point I need to have a chat with Kat about how the show is going to go. Because, uh, with the shows, obviously there's always going to be a little bit of a difference in how they run. And for a lot of people at GDQ, it's kind of like this little experience with being able to be a bit of a, like, you know, running a show. No, no, I think the schedule might stay a surprise, because I think it'll be more fun that way. Also, more, I just don't have a good layout for it, but I think they'll be, like, on the GDQ command list. Like, they'll probably have the schedule there. I just don't have a pretty website or anything for it to be posted on, so uh, that's a problem. I have the schedule, it's just... Yeah. I don't have a good way to outline it. Yeah, that's fine. I like that hit. Couldn't play that better, but it's alright. Let's see, will be there. Hey. That's good. Also, let's do this. Up. Oh. oh my gosh, I fair part of the run. It's a mosquito. Dying. I can't believe it. Yeah, same thing happened with the uh, King of the Sun Hill, where I gotta like, um, you know, run with, uh, run through with Punchy, on how a lot of the hosting side works. It's hosting, the hosting side for being a showrunner is definitely a bit weird, uh, especially trying to get your footing. Like, I definitely want to say, oh my god, I can't believe it, I bonked. That's fine, that's fine. Like, being a showrunning host is such a unique experience in that case. Like, being a showrunner. But, you know, everyone has different styles of what they want to do. And then while doing it, I've, uh, I think I've had, like, this is gonna, uh, Kat's going to be my third, like, um, new co-host, quote-unquote. Because I've worked with Tippy before, but Tippy's already a showrunner, so it's like, she, she already knew what to do. But, like, uh, I brought on Rebecca R.E. for the Latin American events. I brought on Punchy for the Silent Hill events, and then Kat's being on for the Resident Evil events. So, I've just been playing these things out. Exactly. Like, I feel, like, I, I, I don't want to say, like, I feel bad, because, like, you know, obviously, it's, like, you know, it's part of the part of the work and all that, but, like, yeah, I've been having, like, a lot of, like, DMs, like, hey, here's what we're doing, here's what we're doing, here's what we're doing, so it's a lot of me, like, I'm hurting cats. 
Been a lot of herding cats and us herding cats around. Obviously not actual cats. It's more just, you know, a lot of juggling at once about various things. But that's how they just tend to go. Anyway, chat, we are almost out of the section. Welcome to project management. Yeah, I never thought I would be managing any projects. And then, ah, <laughs> I'm a gamer, dude. I signed up to be a gamer and then I'm planning events. No, not hurting, hurting. Like, you know, you heard them like a herd. Not hurt. Hurting is sad. Hurting, like you, you corral them. You bring them in for, I don't know, what a cat's like. Cat food? That's trippy, by the way, yeah. Yeah, I never thought I'd have resume, uh, you know, resume building on my gamer side. I had to learn social media, I had to learn project management, I've had to learn a bunch of shit. And apparently, I'm actually not that at it. That's the weird part, man. Is it team based points like the Sun Hill event? Yes. And I'll tell you right now, the two teams are going to be super obvious. Super obvious. You can take a while just right now what you think the two teams are going to be. This is exactly what you'd expect. Umbrella and stars? You know, Mars. It might just be Umbrella and stars. It might just be. You may have hit the nail on the head. I don't know how you managed it, but, uh. It might just be. Oh, I split this wrong. I just noticed that. How much are you on the brain? Well, I mean, it's the first thing you think of, right? I don't experience how much cat I uh, like any given food. Highly variable depending on the cat and the food. Those uh, being at friends are picky. Ah, oh, yes. Wrong split? Nah, it's not a wrong split. Apparently, last time I was doing this, I accidentally split early. So I, um. It's gonna be off by like three minutes. So my, so my best possible time is actually inaccurate. Shit. I will be good here. Maybe? Maybe. So on? Well, yeah, we'll only go for like six hours once, fella. I do uh, the long hauls. Today we are doing the Clock Tower Full Series Marathon. This is a marathon idea I invented. It includes every Clock Tower game, every Clock Tower spinoff, or, you know, quote unquote spinoff. Oh, shit, this is bad. And, um, yeah. I also try to include multiple ca uh, categories per game where uh, applicable. I'm going to do some long hauls, Wonka Feller. I hope you're doing it today. Nice trick. <laughs> you got a punch, are you ready, by the way? You ready for some Survivor gaming? I was in there told you, but I'm commentating Survivor. Like, weirdly enough, uh, I like I can apply myself, I, I get to commentate two Resident Evil games because I'm actually, like, fitting for them, as weird as that sounds. But also, you got multiple world records in Survivor, so I think you're all nice and ready. You're pretty de-rusted. I, I definitely hope that your competition is also de-rusted. I wasn't expecting you to break multiple world records in Survivor. I mean, I guess GDU Hoppix Blessing, right? Yeah, I was actually just talking about you as well, Punchy. I was talking about how, um... Because for this show, uh, the co-host is gonna be, uh, Cat. And you you remember what co-hosting was like. It's a fun experience. You gotta learn some of the, uh... The behind-the-scenes ropes. You gotta have the fun of the, uh... I don't know, doing the segues and all that jazz and planning shit. It's a fun, neat little thing to do. Is that me, Jessica? It is. But why? Why? 
why would you hunt him down? No, do not. He does not deserve to be hunted down like that. And let that rat be free. Oh no, I agree. Snake? That is a snake. Ah! It's widening up. Man, there should be a good time though. Well, there you go. You ruined it. Happens to the best of us. Exactly, Bragapa. And then, uh, yeah, they're only hyped for Clock Tower shit, man. I am pumped. Although the new Clock Tower is, I, I, I'll tell you right now, I already know for a fact that unless they really fuck around with it or really deliberately go out of their way, the new Clock Tower will not be a good speedrun. I'll tell you that right now. Like, my prediction, good game, not a good speedrun. Right, good. I agree, Order Dusk. That being said, I, I am a firm believer that a game should never strive to be a good speedrun. It should just happen naturally. Like, you can make speedrunning friendly things. I mean, wrong. Like, obviously, allowing skippable cutscenes is pretty fun. Uh, you want to put in an internal timer, it's nice. But, like, you don't deliberately need to make, like... Oh, my God. I mean, I've uh, included, like, this speedrun skip. No, you don't need to include shit. You'll find stuff. Hi, Super. Uh, Kanban Noir, Genki Deska. Hope you are well. Thank you for good luck. Arigato. Every game should skill dial on cutscenes. Yeah, it'd be nice. I hope, uh, by the way, I hope, uh, Bathake is excited for Clock Tower. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Hey! Good, good, good. Let's go. Chopper? It is Chopper. Good. Oh, Terra 3 is a fun time. How are you doing, BJ Smith? Always good to see you. Oh, you're here earlier as well. Welcome back. Damn, I greeted. I mean, the sentence animation, uh, their health bar, that's it. They're known as, like, I don't remember they are, but, like, they're being judged. It's their years in the sentence like an entity. It's weird. Wow, you're not dead. Hey, bad fight. Let us see here, chat. It should be a good stuff coming on up. And then I already mentioned where the Clock Tower remix is gonna go. It's gonna go on that uh, probably after the uh, Clock Tower mobile. That's all I did here, Jupiter. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I might actually try doing some work tomorrow, by the way. Because I'm taking Friday off. Like, I don't mind going longer today, especially with Clock Tower Marathon, because uh, I'm taking tomorrow off. I need to fix my sleep schedule. Chat, you know what time I gotta be awake tomorrow? Or Saturday and Sunday? 1 p.m. But I actually have to be up by noon, so I'm early for, like, you know, making sure I'm good. Yeah, remake should be good. New Moon Remake Remaster. Yep, I think it'll be different enough. And even then, I'm going to add it anyway. It would, it would make sense to add it. Sushi? I already got sushi. So, uh, uh, includes both games. It includes Broken Porcelain and Tormented Fathers. 
Both games. They're making a new Clock Tower game? Yep, it's Clock Tower... It's the original game, but a new port. It's called Port Plus. They're adding a bunch of new stuff into the original game. I'm excited. It'll be good. I might get some. I kind of want sushi now. I do like sushi, Chad. Sushi is pretty good. I do enjoy uh, sushi. Like a remaster? Kind of. It's a weird area. Either way, new clock tower gameplay. Like a new clock tower. That's it. Good. Which the worst character control, worst camera control? The final worst character. Like, what, what do you mean? Like, the worst controls? Also, depends what you mean by classic. Probably Alone in the Dark. Pretty rough. You should get Sushi Mars. Can I? Probably Alone in the Dark. People don't really remember Alone in the Dark that well. Fox Tower Port Plus won't be good for speedrunning. I'll tell you that right now. Looking at the Clock Tower Port Plus right now, it's looking like it's going to be based on the PlayStation 1 version. That is one of the worst versions to speedrun. Extra content you have to do, uh, removal of all the speedrun skips. The new Clock Tower will not be a good speedrun. Am I going to do it? Absolutely, but the OG is going to be the best one still. When is the release? It says early 24, uh, 2024. Oh, of course, bro. But yeah, honestly, though, chat, the worst of the classic games, Alone in the Dark. It's a rough game. It's a mean game, too. Like, enjoy it all you want, but, uh... Out of all the games out there, it's arguably one of the more rough ones. That doesn't CSB. Why are you clown Mars? Is it because I made fun of Alone in the Dark? It deserves it. Or is it because you have no sushi? That doesn't mean more full on game of modern graphics engine. I'm happy we're getting anything, yeah. Love watching it? It's a rough game. Oh god, chat, wait a- oh god. Oh no. Wait a minute. Chat. You know what I just realized? I'm gonna have to re- I'm gonna have to rerun Alone in the Dark. It's been one of the games I've been really happy to not have to run. What the hell is Haunting Ground? Uh, it's a game. A horror game. Come what else would it be? That's a pretty good horror game. Yeah. I know it's pretty janky, you like it? That's fair. Any scare me anymore? My thoughts. Come on, well, no, you need scissors, Neoletta. That's not accurate. You need scissors. It's the Scissor Man. I think he's also really red. He's the red scissor man. Like, yeah. Come on, Alyssa. That's kind of dark. A little bit. See, Rambo Rachel gets it. Not to ask about it? It says not to ask about a specific ending. Also, I already deliberately asked about uh, something you shouldn't be doing anyway. Which game do I want to run the least out of all the runs I've done? I have to look at the whole list again. There are some doozies on that. There, it's uh like scissor swords. They're fun. Yeah, you need scissors. Any scissors in chat? I saw Rambo Rachel has some, and Mars has some. Here we go. Yeah, that's that's yeah, more accurate. If you can do the Alyssa, you gotta have the proper Alyssa chasers. Which require scissors. Or acid. Or a hammer. But scissors is the icon. Not running with scissors? Chad can. Now they are Newman. Hope you're doing good. Alright, let's do this. It's part of the game time. How's oh, Mirage the Fox? Are you sad cat? You have a couple of sad cats in chat. Oh. Hopefully you'll be glad cat soon. Rad cat. I don't think I have rad cat. Hopefully you could be chat. 
I too dream of being a rad cat sometimes. Oh, so you're gonna have a sad cat mug today. That was an six. Exactly. Oh shit. Uh, if he attacks again, this is gonna be bad, but I think we should be fine. I do like the Parky emote. Parky has good emotes. Parky's nice. Good fucking hit, goddamn. And the PC gave you prime. That is much appreciated. Is there emotes? Yeah. I have been enjoying uh, the. Uh, what's the word? I've been enjoying uh, both. Uh, what's. Uh, Parky and Aggie thriving on their respective. Uh, Lines. I always like seeing friends succeed, Chad. It's nice. Yeah, hope you have fun, BJ Smith. Yeah, I had Bully McGuire. But we're talking about putting some dirt in your eye, and if we say enough, we can have Bully McGuire. You can match? Well, just in general as well. Like, even both are like individual like content together. Like, I, I am all for the various dubs. Good. And like I said, I always enjoy watching any friends that get to test. Like, I was watching, I, you know, I've been watching a lot of Punchy's videos lately. I want to watch Eurothug's new video. You need a refresh? Yeah, it's not going to be down here, but it'll be on the, the chat. I know Tango had uh, some new videos lately, uh, the Rule of Rose one. I try to keep up with the various dubs people are getting around, and I always like supporting people in that degree. Oh, that's exactly what it is, Mudkip. That is ex yeah, that's exactly what it's uh, referencing. Uh, we added it when we added Yu-Gi-Oh, because that would be fun. Yeah! Because we put a lot of thought in remotes, chat. I mean, I like putting the thought and work into emotes. Like, I I've been working with uh, Ms. Moonshine for, uh, for years. Uh, you don't mind some Yu-Gi-Oh right now? Well, we have the Yu-Gi-Oh emote. And I'd, I announced it as well, but we'll probably end up revisiting Yu-Gi-Oh uh, as a big part of the uh, the plans I have. As I have mentioned that uh, I have a big speedrun marathon idea I wanted to do, and it's going to be just an idea I want to do in general. I've been talking about it for a bit, too. Like, I feel I announced it today because originally I was planning on waiting. But I heard that apparently Dist is already doing the same idea, and I don't want to make it seem like I just didn't do anything that idea. A bit of memories? Yeah, I've done that speedrun before, actually. But, um, the idea I had brewing for, like, a good while now. Like, this has been brewing. Uh, I wanted to speedrun every single game I've ever done in a row. Now, obviously, you know, it would be per stream. I'd be taking, like, usual stream lengths and stuff. But it would be just, you know, just keep running the games until we hit the end. And I had that idea brewing for a bit, but apparently Dis has been doing that lately. I'm like, ah, shit. I didn't want it to sound like I yoinked that idea out of nowhere, but we'll be doing that after the Wheel of Games. He was doing a lot of them, but even still, I just want to, like, I always like to pay uh, reverence if, like, I don't want to ever seem like I'm stealing any ideas, you know? Oh, so doesn't shit. I'll be doing good. Shit, that's bad. I mean, I got tired. That is a way of doing it. A 15 card mod? That's a neat way of doing it, but I like classic vanilla OG rough stuff. So. That is the case. But that was the idea I had, chat. So I'm announcing it here, but after the Wheel of Games is done, just because I want to try amping shit up, I want to prove to myself how many streams? Don't know. We're going until it's done. Well, yeah, we're probably doing a lot of, like, 10, 12-hour days, maybe, or something like that. Uh, I'm actually not too sure. We'll see. Oh, so you got to find, like, the exact timeline. I could have it leading up to my birthday. I just know at some point, I'm going to start it, and then I want to do longer streams. So. Like, definitely mi eight-hour minimum. I'll tell you that much. There you are, oh, good night, Delirium. That is true, actually. One of those days will be entirely Book of Memory. Oh, god damn. Wait a minute, yeah, I just grabbed up. Ah, shit. Huh, I think I got throw. Huh. Have a good night, Delirium. That's right. Yeah. Morning, small time ants. 
The plan, the plan is not crumble. It is I'm quite literally spending an entire day doing book of memories. Can I just do a lasso to interrupt the flow? We could. And also, one whole day is gonna be Yu-Gi-Oh. You're the cable your house to place today, and the one that goes from your house to your street. That's good. I can't believe you're gonna start doing 16-hour streams again. Case West? Chat, I really don't like the way you're making this sound. Chat, you need to stop typing. You're ruining the ideas for me. <laughs> you're ruining my enjoyment of the franchises. <laughs> Oh, God. Is there a shorter category for Book of Memories? No. No. Too late? I'm still doing the idea. And chat, the most brutal part about this. I'm doing the idea because I think it's going to be fun. This isn't a sub-goal. This isn't a incentive-based thing. It's a, I want to prove my Wheaties. Or, or my Wheaties. There, they've been trying gaming for 30 months. Enjoy the emotes and now the blue and the bloody scissors, one of my favorites, and thank you very much. Hope you're doing good today. Also, cheers. I do like that, uh, scissors right there. Suffer? I might, Big Boss Isaac. I just might. I didn't think it, I didn't think it through. You know what? We're gonna do it anyway. Why? I want to. Am I going to the gym today? Uh, I'm probably doing a long stream tonight. Drafterward, I'm probably gonna chill and start getting ready for tomorrow. Probably not. And most of my walk around, try to get some movement going. We need to do that more. Um, but also, I need to fix my sleep schedule. But I'll probably walk around, get some sunlight. It'll be nice. Squats. My legs were killing me last time I did it. Two? That's good. But now I have a long weekend chat. I can't be totally dead. I want to make sure I'm just feeling good. I want to get sunlight. So that'll be the jam. Also, it's been getting hotter and hotter around here. Chat, I realize apparently I am going through a heat wave. It's been fucking rough. So, uh, I just been like a lizard. I'm just staying inside when it's really hot. I come out when it cools off. Oh, yeah, we have a long stream today as well, Jordan. Adrian. You're out five days a week? That's good. It's nice to have a healthy routine. My room's starting to boil, by the way. And AC on max? Uh, what if the AC is not going on right now? My room has started to boil, and I don't know why. Nightman. Ah. Uh -huh. Damn it, fighter of the night, man. It just says polluted air on my computer, chat. Apparently the air outside is polluted. Well, that's not good. I'm hungry, chat. In LA, shocked, I tell you, shocked. Oh, I bet strawberry. It's fucking hot outside. It would fall, by the way. And then place where it hits on the screen, yeah. And big smog. Yep. Nice. I'll take that. Yeah, look, a genuine gold split. You know what they say, chat. My splits are like my pee. Red and gold. Every time. Oh. All right, good. But well, stay safe out there, chat, and stay cool. Yeah, chat. Also, uh, Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. I will be taking off though. 
I am I'm pumped. Resident Evil event, baby. I am I'm excited. I think it'll be good. Fun. Oh my god, dude, I hate this fucker so much. Run myself in it. No. Uh I will be commentating on two runs. I'll not be I'll not be a run. I do not think I am uh the most valid fit for a run. Like, it'll be fun to do Smith, but I just I didn't think I was the, uh, the, the proper ca- Also, I'm talking about I don't think I'm the proper candidate for, uh... What do get? That being said, I can probably commentate, uh, about at least half the game, though, I argue. Uh. I just don't think I'm the, uh... The one to do the, the the run. Which is also an important part about things like GDU hotfix. You can walk cats, I can herd cats. Why not? Oh, so I was gonna run. So, uh, Master Orc, there's something to be said about the world of responsibility and opportunity. GDU Hoppix has a very big area of responsibility that I think every showrunner needs to take with some severity. And it pretty much goes into what are you putting on, like what are you, you know, what are you doing, and to what degree are you? Like, sometimes I do runs of the show, but like I had one month where I did like, I think, two different runs in a row, and like, I can't be doing that again. Not, not immediately, by the way. I don't mind doing it every now and again, but admittedly, I don't always want to be the runner of my own show. A lot of games out there that I think have a lot of opportunities for people to showcase games that I don't normally get to. The next show is actually be really interesting. I'm actually really excited for my next normal show. And... I just the idea of personal responsibility. Well, I have a lot of weird games I can put on and run myself. I don't always want to do that because other people might want to show up games they might want to. As well, while I don't take every game from every wheelhouse, I tend to take games I think have interesting runs. One of my favorite things, by the way, chat, is very often, I will say, I do not like this game, I'm not a fan of it. However, even if I'm not a fan of a game, that doesn't mean it's never going to be on the show. There's actually a couple of games, well, one game is Parasite Eve 2, I've had it on twice now. I know the run itself is kind of per pretty cool, I've seen some neat things with it. There's also some runners who are really dedicated to it. Just because I don't like the game doesn't mean I don't like watching runs of it, doesn't mean I don't like seeing runs of it. That being said, not all runs do I, you know, like in general. But some games I don't ever really want to have on because I don't think it's interesting. I don't want it. Or I think it's too long for what it's worth. Do I think they're bad? I mean, probably. That's actually kind of mean there, but... I try to balance things pretty well. Okay, why stakes? I try, but also that's just kind of how it goes. There's a lot of personal responsibility to have. That being said, like next time I'll probably be on the show. We'll probably be uh, a middle each chat. Next time I'm gonna be on the show, it might be a little bit self-serving. However, the theme of that show might be a little bit self-serving. You probably take a wild guess which one it will be. Oh, of course, Wondrous. I lost ground trip? No. Yeah, sometimes I, uh, you know, make changes or, like, it varies. Like, here's a good example. For the Resident Evil events, while I do run some Resident Evil games, I am not the cream of the crop in any of them, and there's a lot of valid runners who can have a nice spot. Yeah. So, we're doing commentary? That makes sense for the games we're doing commentary for. In fact, like, Chad, once you see what games I'm commentating on, you're gonna go, duh, of course he's doing those. But you can probably guess it off the top of your head if you really wanted to. Which I'll say right now, both of the games I'm commentating have been announced. One of them just got announced on Twitter. 
Survivor and RE6? Wow, I wonder how you could tell which games they were. Wow. They didn't fall, by the way. Too good? Right? I can't believe it. Alright. Get him! And to kill him. Akuma was fine. I want to do it again. Are there anything that cool? Yeah, no worries there. Well, the thing is, going with Survivor, I'm ranked 6 right now. There are better runners that can run Survivor. With RE6, I think I'm like 4th place in that category. There are a couple of other runners who are really good at RE6. I know they're good at RE6 too. Why? I know that community a little bit. Dude, I love how I'm being blocked on the light source. God damn. Ah. Kill him. Every time. Oh, a good example. I'm not commentating Gaiden. Why? I don't know the Gaiden run. Which, by the way, chat, me saying Gaiden might not be a part of it was totally a bait. But now that Gaiden's been announced, obviously, yes, I'm telling you Gaiden's involved. I own 100% got Gaiden in the fucking event. I can't tell you how happy I am again. The rest of the games aren't shit posts. There's only a couple of shit post games, chat. Only a couple. Anyway, ready for the best cutscene? Well, well, at least well, you're more than welcome to. I get me Jessica's favorite game. That was announced, yes, actually. You don't have a sub, CSB. Wait, what? You always were a spirited child. But that's oh, enough. God. Now be a good girl. And oh, part of the uh, Resident Evil relay. What's the I'll say it right now, chat. A lot of the game has been announced on Twitter already by the runners. With me for all eternity? I love that man. Just he looks so happy. He's relatable, chat. I too am a happy man. He heard there's news of the new Clock Tower game, and he's ready to buy them immediately. Right, am I sure you're not a runner? Positive. Positive. All right, chat. Did you? I won't allow the ritual to happen. Uh, never! Never! Oh, of course. Damn. Yeah, I think... I think it'll be a fun event, though, Chad. I'm quite excited. Alyssa! Oh, God, Chad. Wait a minute. We're going toward the next... Oh, boy. Not the next one. I know, what... I know what's fucking next. Oh, Chad. You ready for the latest Clock Tower release? Mars, are you sad? We have a... Uh... We have an interesting game for our next one. Let's say that much. It's a cutscene. Chad, are you ready for the next game? Uh, <laughs> wait a minute, get it? <laughs> oh, I like that one. Are you ready for the next game? I get it. 
Your favorite games after the next one. Now, chat, what if I told you that but after Clock Tower 3 and before the next Clock Tower 4 Plus, there actually was an official Clock Tower release in 2021. What if I told you that? Dennis. Alyssa. Dennis. <laughs> an official Clock Tower release. Mom. Blasphemy? No, it's true. It. I'm not lying. Mom. Did it. Yep, an official clock tower from uh Sunsoft game. Artificial Marine Mother? Yes, actually. That's why it happens after Clock Tower 3. Chat, by the way, the way I do this is I do all the official clock tower games, then we do the spin-offs. I like how it remains. <laughs> Chat, don't you love this opening, opening theme? <laughs> truly, a, truly an amazing designed game, chat. Big Green Clock Tower fans? You are. How's it your thug? I'll be in love later then. All right, chat, you ready? Okay, all right. Here, here's our, here's our run. All right, uh, game on. Let me, uh, let me, let me, let me go. Chat, this is the most beautiful Clock Tower game that ever, that's ever released, in fact. All right. Three, two, one, go! Alright. Chat, this is an official Clock Tower game, by the way. This actually came out in 2021. Alright, there's the first level. Good luck. Thank you. Arigato. Beautiful game, chat. Beautiful game. Beautiful stuff here. GG, there it is, we did it. We can't believe it. And what, chat, next stage? Look forward to the next one. And the next one's the Clock Tower Port Plus. Clock Tower 2024. They See, they knew the whole, they, they predicted it. I can't believe it, beautiful. In all fairness though, chat, I actually don't mind the, the sprite. I actually think it's, you know, cute in a fun way. I think it's fun. They were ready for the next the whole time. I can't believe it. What's that? You want an encore chat? Well, you know what? How can I say no to Twitch chat? Okay. Let's uh let's do that again, shall we? Okay, and go. I can't believe it. He's going again. Stop the madman. God, he did it all for the price of zero dollars and zero cents. What an absolute mad lad. I can't believe it. He's going for two. Right? No way! On this wonderful game, who would have ever guessed? Back to back Clock Tower mobile runs. Right? You know I had to give two. I had to give two right there. Beautiful. Alright, chat, we did it. There it is. That's it, that's the game? Well, yeah, if you hit the next stage, just look forward to the next one. I don't want to gatekeep, but people bitching online clearly don't know enough about the Clock Tower franchise. Like I will, I will, I will gatekeep to prevent gatekeeping. A uh, girl bossing, I could. Right, I can't believe it. They're making us a new game, and they're not just fully making from the ground up. I can't believe it. What? They're releasing the original Clock Tower for the first time in the Western audience? Wow, I can't believe that's all they're doing. Wow, they're adding new cutscenes in the game? So I, exactly, like, dude, it looks great. I can't believe there's an anime in my Japanese game. What is wrong, what is wrong with you? Nerds weaves. I've seen some terrible things. How is the clock tower spinoff? 
So, Clock Tower 3 was worked on by Capcom, and they were given the uh, the ability to work... No, no, no hitting this place. They are given the ability to work on it from Sunsoft. The thing is, Clock Tower 3 bombed hard. And Clock Tower 3 was such a focal point for the creation of Haunting Ground that they essentially used a combination of what they had going with Clock Tower 3 and a lot of the stuff they had made for RE4 to make Haunting Ground. This game also page pay, uh, pays homage to Clock Tower. The thing is, you know, when you release a dud and it bombs hard, it makes sense that maybe you want to, you know, not pay a license fee again to use something you know is going to bomb. So this is kind of a game of a lot of borrowed assets and it's a Capcom original entirely, but that's also why it happens after Clock Tower Mobile. So, that's why it's allowed. All right, let's go. Ready? And game time. Using the frog? No. Because they don't have the frog outfit unlocked. And also, no. Yeah, the spinoffs all have their reasons for being relevant. Like, let's say that much. That being said, when the Clock Tower, um, you know, uh, Port Plus comes out, I'll be adding it after Clock Tower Mobile. It'll come before Haunted Ground after Clock Tower Mobile. Uh, approach is supposed to be factor when it comes to these games. Yep. Haunted Ground is actually a Clock Tower. Uh, it's in the same realm. But also, you know, I do an eight-hour stream and chat gets more content. Uh, quite frankly, that's my answer. It's you get additional content. Don't question it. <laughs> Which one of my favorite things is I can't believe it. The streamer is giving me free content. Kill him. <laughs> no, no, you you get you get more runs. Otherwise, it would end like the six-hour mark. That was the case. But yeah, Monster Ground's a neat game. And it literally is one of the best Clock Tower esque experiences. If that isn't the original. Right? How dare you continue to stream? There we go. You know what the weirdest part about Clock Tower Mobile is now, though, chat? Clock Tower Mobile is now exclusive. Mento? Yeah. Like. That's fucking wild that we live in a world where Clock Tower Mobile is now a rare game to have. In fairness, I mean, it's like every other fucking Clock Tower game, huh? I can't believe it. Also, to save some time, I'm not going to do the Golem today, I think. There's a dog. He comes later. For him to have Clock Tower Mobile, yep. He has been taken off the store. Nice. That's actually a really good place. For what it's worth. Oh. All right, cool. Streamers and streaming Clock Tower game. This counts well enough. Can you trade a game slot and get more like Flavy Bird? Yeah, you can. Pop. Alright. PC demo energy. Alright, I can't believe it. What's canon mean? Canon means that it is relevant to the story. So it must happen. Usually in the context of game stories and all that. So the thing is. In the context to Clock Tower, in order for Clock Tower 2 to happen, in the original Clock Tower, what must happen is that Jet. No, no, not. The side quest can be fine. It's more the idea that sometimes games might have multiple endings. And the thing is, one of those endings has to be the ending that happened. Because obviously, in Clock Tower, the ending where Jennifer dies isn't the canon ending, because in the sequel, Jennifer is alive. Sort of establishes the setting of the story, essentially. Right, Barry dying in Resident Evil 1 can't be canon because he appears later on. Which is why some things won't be canon. Well, it's one, well, it's not because Huey. Like, you're being nice to Huey. Oh, it's gonna be weird maps. 
Okay. Earn a necromancy? No. I see anime ending in this or some shit. There's nothing. Just it's a regular game chat. So Primal cost seventy dollars. Such is the way of the land. It is how they get you. Wait, is Exo Primal actually out now? Time to go home. Have a safe trip home. That's neat. Try for a bit. I don't think I will try it. I don't really want to. I mean, if I get offered, I might do it. I might, you know, they give the game to me for free. They pay me. I'd be down. But, uh, I feel like I don't really want to right now. I don't really care enough. But that's a fair opinion. Which is kind of funny because earlier I was like, oh, you should be, you know, you should be open to trying things. Which, I mean, I could. I also don't try a lot of things out there, at least game wise. And that's more of a me issue than a surprise issue. Which is fair. Yep. Heard about the friends? You see, though. You go. There's a special uh, contingency on that. I uh, don't have a lot of friends. I have a few friends. You will be my friend. I suppose. Tracks that. But even then, that was since high school. That was the best of solid snake. Very see. I can make friends. I'm a likable chap. I try to be. Oh, I actually had a what's the word? In the streaming world, I had a, I had some conversations that definitely helped with feeling uh, invigorated in a lot of things. We can be friends. That sounds fair. No. Morning, Candy Cords. Hope you're doing good today. Mark. Oh, Huey, you dog, you. Come on. All right, come on. Uh, how long would a hundo run this game be? Ah. At least Go five Huey. minutes. Go, Huey. Maybe even six. <laughs> Admittedly, I don't really want to do. I don't even care about cat like a bunch of categories. I just sort of do what I think is fun. I think community and the community is a reflection of the streamer soul and all. Yeah, well, I tried tonight, Jen. All right, it's also really weird. I keep hearing people mention that like, what's the word? To a large extent, streamers can't control communities. Like, oh, I can't control what a community does. That sentiment's usually not the greatest, because surprisingly enough, as a streamer, you have a lot more power, uh, you know, over the way your community acts than you think. That's good, Solid Snake. Hey, if you're a huge streamer, even then, you still have a good degree of control over how people act around you. Hi, tired mine. Hope you're doing good today. Absolutely. Well, absolutely. You ever send a track you will like them as well? Absolutely. Which I suppose that's probably a I don't know, I like I like that I like that idea of Bowie the Nifty. team. I'll have always liked that idea. The reason why is well when I was a boy, a grandma would always tell me, uh, show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. You are a reflection of the people around you, and they are also a reflection of you. You know what my grandma says about me and my friends? She likes them quite a lot. 
Uh, anyone who I, you know, ever bring home, my, my grandma's usually a pretty big fan. Suppose she trusts my judgment. The Natterday Enjoyers. Oh, no, I tend, to be a friend, I tend to be friends with a lot of people who are, uh, you know, dorky. They talk a lot. They have passions, and they're quite kind. I like kind people. I like hanging out with people who I, you know, can agree with. Not everyone's gonna be that way, by the way. And also, sometimes, you know, you might, you might hang out with someone at one point. You might not hang out with them anymore. And that's fine as well. Ah, I can know that better. I can never be your friend. These things happen in the best ones. Grandma doesn't like anyone. Well, maybe, maybe your grandma is a reflection of someone. I don't know. You're not, in fact, the best of us. Oh. Well. There's some humbleness in that, at the very least. My darling. Uh, someone you say, no, agree that's okay. Okay, I'm, all right, I'm not saying that, you know, the people around you are going to be exact duplicates of yourself. It's more the idea that in many cases, the people around you are going to be, you know, quite similar to a lot of things you might hold. Even if you are, like, vastly different. Nice. That's a neat thing. Think community, if someone from you that is overwhelmingly neo Nazis, is probably inside none of that person's character. Wait, do you mean an indic uh, indictment? Or indicator? It is Dave. They're only dicks, and they kill around you, dicks. They could. The yeah, kind of a monster with their feet, by the way, chat, yes. Uh, it says early 2024. We don't know quite yet, job game. We shall see. Yeah, chat, in many cases as well, it's also, you know, what you allow in Twitch chat. That's also why I want to make a very particular point on, you know, calling Huey. out certain sentences said earlier. Huey. I don't want that being here. Huey. Huey. You know, people, people also changing for the better of something I believe in. However, yeah. Huey. Huey. I hear Huey. There he is. Okay, we're good. Then you find out one the best attention to you, and that's an eye opener. Absolutely. You have some very neat examples of uh, the ebb and flow of friendships, especially on Twitch. Twitch is also kind of a weird area because you have a lot of people who are. Um, what's the word? They have different ideas or intentions as to why they want to be around you. Oh, a Manicor. Welcome back. Yeah, you're all good. We have the, the back half of the spin-off game. This should be fun. Yeah, uh, can't all being corrected, but at least they give us these gems. That is true. We do have a lot of fun commands. Is a spider? Oh, no. I think, I think it's Nightbot just taking its time. I might be Go spiders here. as well. Go, Huey. Huey, come on, buddy. Get in there. Dude, Huey, what the Go, hell are you Huey. doing? Go, Huey. Yeah, this dog needs to be put down. My god. That community works in VTubers chats. Well, I mean, I would say this community Go, is also uh, a bit degen. And being degen is not inherently bad. People being, you know, just a little bit. Chat, I know a VTuber. And it's been on my Twitter. I ended up following this VTuber because I kept running into them at, like, in events. I was like, oh, you seem nice. I'll follow you on Twitter. And I like peering into uh, a bunch of different, like, networks and cultures that are not my own. Huey. He was, like, a nice person. And the person was advertising. Uh, apparently, they went to AX. And they are either selling or giving out uh, their own branded cum rags. Which, um... Go, yes, that is a whole sentence. Um... Wait, what? Yes. Excuse me? Yes. Based? <laughs> yeah. It's a rag that you come in, Chad. And that's your audience. You know, 
it's probably kind people who jerk off into rags. Which, more power to them, they know their community. No, just, you know, does being a degenerate make you bad? Not at all. Oh, there's your audience. If I had a guess for the VTuber audience, probably anywhere from... Honestly, chat, most VTubing audiences, if I really had a guess, it's probably 20 to 50. Or 20 to 40. Like, that's my genuine guess. And also, a lot of VTubers are pretty general these days. Um, you know, you know, you'd be a degenerate, there's not really an age restriction to that. And also, being a degen doesn't make you bad at all. I know some very fun people who like to party, and, you know, they're, they're nice people. Now, are they crusty as fuck with some of the, uh, things they get into? Absolutely, that ain't bad, though. They're the fr no, it's not where rags to riches comes from. It is Huey. You're watching Twitch because of VTubers? Yeah, nothing wrong with that at all. Mm. I am uh, friends with a few VTubers clip off. Uh, a couple I can recommend are... Uh, I, I, I absolutely adore Hobbs's chaotic energy. Uh, he's nice people. I got to meet her at TwitchCon. And there's fun stories all around. Plus as well, I mean, I've been inspired to drink Four Loco again and I wholeheartedly blame her. And then as well, um, I'm friends with a uh, couple of VTubers um, who weren't, uh, they weren't VTubers originally, but I think they moved on, uh, moved into it, which was uh, Buff Pup and Shia Bun, which they're really nice people. I like being able to hang out with them on TwitchCon. And uh, I have a big respect to both of them. I think they're pretty cool people. I feel like VTubers get mocked on TikTok. Well, a lot of people will mock things they don't quite understand. And also, sometimes there's, uh, you know, fun fun little jabs that are nice. Like, fun meme. I saw a TikTok meme about VTubers that I thought was funny. Because, you know, it makes sense. I don't think it's made fun of VTubers inherently. But I saw VTuber concerts. And it was like, people just like, you know, jutting around like uh, like stone. It's like, yeah, you know what? That's actually, that, that, that sounds like a VTuber concert. Because, you know, some of the models aren't exactly made to move around all that much. <laughs> And it's a fun little charm to just how it works, because it's a very... Is it Lefty? Lefty's fun, because I know Lefty, but I knew Lefty before the VTubing thing. So I didn't even think he... Yeah, he is a VTuber, but, like, I never thought of Lefty as a VTuber. He's always had that real cult of, you know, personality. So. I really like Lefty. Lefty's a good dude. That's funny, because he was VTubing before it was even a thing. Never would have figured out uh, Buff all VTubers, don't know why. We'll find an update with that, man. I ended up meeting Buff Pop, uh, because I was hanging out with Silent Hill friend at the time, uh, uh, UFO Techie. And UFO Techie introduced me to a lot of streaming friends that he had, and a couple of them were Buff Pop and Shia Bun. As well, they wanted to meet me at the time, because I just did my GDQX run of Silent Hill 2. Which, um... They liked the run. And apparently they liked the cozy horror vibes, and it was nice talking with them. And it's been nice seeing uh, both of them grow as streamers over time. So yeah, it's also chat very much the case of very often while I might not be exactly involved in something I love learning and I'm very friendly of seeing being around ideas that are not quite my forte Like I mentioned before also hasn't broken up any good like on my end chat. I'm you know, I'm not I'm not a furry However, I like hanging out with furries and at the same time as well. I'll ask questions about anything. I don't know uh, I learned a lot about uh, uh, What's the Judaism? Judaism. Uh, I learned a lot about the Jewish people when I worked my old job because my old boss was Jewish and I would ask questions. Why? I'm curious. Curiosity makes us, makes us go. Explain that? That's a rat. Because I kept getting called a rat when I'm partying in the sewer. He's a regular rat. Yeah. Am I Jewish? No, I'm not Jewish. I like learning about things. I asked my buddy about what he learns because he works for, um, you know, Jewish people who are, like, practicing. And he has to abide by a lot of practice he didn't know before. Yeah. And you can ask a lot of questions even if you don't directly get involved in something. That's fun stuff, Dave, that, man. And you know what? And probably made money for him, Solid Snake. No takers? You can always try posting a Discord now. You might be able to find someone, um... Someone there, you might be able to find a, you know, post the, the code in there. So I might be able to grab it up. I do know there's a few EU uh, users there. But it is appreciated. Uh, why the sign on my door? Because that was after a uh, Punchy did sound hold 2 and they handed us that sign. Uh, I asked if anyone wanted to um, take it home and nobody said yes, so I took it home. And it's been there ever since. And you know what? It was a fun time with the sign. I like that they made it. 
So it's nice to cool now. But yeah, I always show like various interests. It could be anything. Be games, movies, cultures, um, subcultures. Yeah. I was doing Topo be doing good. When am I gonna do another Silent Hill run? Probably soonish. I don't know. Usually do a good amount of Silent Hill games. Today's all Clock Tower, though, because a new Clock Tower game just dropped. Probably sometime next week for Silent Hill, because, um... Well, tomorrow I'm taking off so I can fix my sleep schedule. And then this weekend, I'll not be streaming here, because I'll be over at the GDQ channel running the Resident Evil Relay, which is a series of races uh, in the Resident Evil franchise. Runners going head-to-head. -head. 11 games, 22 speedrunners. That's a lot of speedrunners. Well, from what I learned, uh, I guess talking and meeting some furries, a lot of them tend to work um, white collar tech jobs and also are in the military and they tend to have pretty consistent pay and nice, cons you know, safe jobs. They have a lot of job security as well. That being said, chat, you know what I would genuinely like to go to at one point? A perfectly normal furry party. I would like to party with the uh, furries. Why? I heard they go fucking wild. I hear they have some uh, some indulgences in drinking and uh, what's the word? Other other stuff. That sounds fun. All right. No. What the fuck's rainforest? Let's say some other party favors. Debauchery. That one also works. Oh, I see there's some really weird stuff, but like, I don't know. It's always nice to talk to people. It's nice to embrace different things. Like, chat, if you tell me there's a party set, I'm usually kind of down just for like, as long as it doesn't seem super fucking obtuse or weird. Like, don't get me wrong, I don't want to get involved in any of that shit where people are coming on a pizza or anything like that. But like, you know, I, I've been to raves. Raves are a fucking blast. You know? Like, obviously, I think people can draw lines pretty easily. No, I'm not trying to go to an orgy. That's the thing I'm saying. I don't want to go to an orgy. The only thing orgy-based I would want to uh, peer into is I would like to go to a buffet that is in an orgy. That's because of Ollie's Sunny having the meme of the uh, buffet orgies. And dude, I'm curious. What if they have good buffalo wings or good, uh... Yeah, buffalo wings, right? I saw you last week in Berlin, Germany. I went to a fun rave in Berlin, Germany. It was at some venue that was like called Under the Tr uh, Under the Tracks, and uh, me and me and my buddy corralled a bunch of British dudes uh, to go to a to go to a rave. It was a blast. It was a fun time. I also learned that the European smoking meme is not a meme. Like holy shit, man. Uh, they really like to smoke in the EU. Uh, like, just cigarettes everywhere. I thought they had, like, a wicked fog machine. I was like, dude, this is an awesome fog machine. I woke up and, like, <laughs> I was dying. I was like, oh, that's, that's cigarette smoke. Shit. I tried breathing the next morning because I just coated in it. What's the password? Orgy. <laughs> exactly. That's, I don't know. That sounds, like, fun. Dude, Jennifer Connelly is an amazing actress. Is it bad in other countries? Dude, it's wild. Which, more, you know, more probably two people don't want to smoke. I'm not going to tell you how to live. Oh, so yeah, nothing wrong with that at all, Zircon. Like I said, many foreign and different things. I also just like checking out different groups. Check, one of my favorite parts about GEQ was as well. I got to like check out different room parties. Because I got invited to a few things. Just get to see the different vibe in different rooms. It's like, this is fun. These are fun people. And it's like ending up places. Like, oh, that's just, you know, that's just, that's just Johnny. Like, hi there. What do you do? Oh, I'm just some guy. Well, thank you, Rompy. Don't do anything to you a rave across Berlin. That sounds like a fucking blast. I think Sunny is fun, but it's also one of the shows that, you know, everyone's terrible and that's the appeal of it. And obviously, chat, you're always able to have your own boundaries of what you will and won't do. That's what I'm saying, like, yeah, I don't really want to do an orgy, but, like, I'm kind of down with the idea of a buffet. Is he homunculus? Uh, maybe. 
I'm sure you're having your babies. That's kind of weird, Chief. Uh, that's weird. Also, wait a minute. I'm a dude. You, do you think I'm a chick? I'm a dude, man. Oh, thank you for delaying that. A buffet? Yeah, food. I've never been to a buffet. I heard the Vegas ones are quite good. Maybe I'll go to one. That's a joke. You put no cup, but that's also a weird joke. Wait, right, hold on. Yeah, that's a joke. It's not really a good one, man. So, uh... Yeah, jokes are kind of funny. Sorry? Thank you. Hi, Texan. I'm doing good. Have a cap of pride? Even with the cap of pride, it's still, like, uh... A little bit odd. They've been good, Texan. Hope you're doing good today. Remake destroy this game? No, I think it'd be neat. Well, let's see what else they do. Also, I was doing Pyocom. I'll be dubbing that state of that. Alright, let's go. Yeah, I would like a remake or a remaster of this game. Actually, you know what? I don't want a remaster of this game. Like, I want a remaster, I don't want one. Chat, if the game gets remastered, my value goes down on my existing copy of Haunting Ground. Well, I don't want to go to a furry convention, chat. I would like to be someplace. And then I get invited to a party. Good boy. I just want to go to a party, that's Come it. On. Convention's too much commitment. I have to go to like a whole boy. convention, I have to take days off. Come on. I like going to Evo. Evo was fun, man. Good I liked boy. Evo a lot. Why? Come on. I don't know. I had a fun time. Gotta learn about a lot of fighting game stuff. Good boy. Gotta see how that uh, vibe happens. Gotta go to like a Good boy. go to the room party that was there. Come on. It was nice. Good boy. Come on. Come on. This year I'm not going to Evo because most of my friends can't go anyway. Good and also boy. I just I don't really want to have to worry too much. Do we have party floor? Well, there you go. Come on. And also, there's the general building of courage and uh, various things like that. Kano's buffet? That is... Why, this, why does the convention have a buffet? Wait a minute. Wait, why? Well, alright, chat. So what I wanted to do was I wanted to dress up like uh, the, the guy from Katana Zero or like some kind of weeb. And I wanted to bring the katana controller from Onimusha. And I wanted to play like Yoshimitsu or some shit. I thought it'd be fun to whip out a sword. I might do that next year. But this year, I just wasn't feeling Evo. Honestly, I didn't want to take too many days off screaming. Like, as fun as it is to go to Evo, I really want to hit a point where I'm like, um... I want to... I want to hit the next level of things, Chad. I feel like streaming-wise, I've been in this weird, like, area, like, just limbo. I don't want to be in limbo anymore. I want to go up. I want us to ascend. Come on. Come on. There's... Oh, Huey, you dog, you. Which? What's the next step? That's the thing. You never really know. Only up? Nah, I don't think I could play only up. Maybe I could, but I don't know. I wish the chat doesn't seem too into it here. And I have a couple of neat ideas where I, I want to try doing big things. I have some big ideas, chat. So. We're gonna, we're gonna be doing a couple. And I mean, one of the ideas already I talked about, chat. My plan is, I'm going to run every single game I have ever done that is on the Wheel of Games. Obviously, that means games I don't do anymore, I'm not going to do. You're not getting a free Waltz and Gromit off that. But for a lot of games that I do, we'll see a lot of things we haven't seen in a while. I think it'll be formatted in a way that'll be a lot of fun. 
Book of Memes? Yeah, Book of Memes will have to have probably its own day or something, or paired with something else that's really short. Are you get a free Romney and Wallace? No, because it's not on the Wheel of Games anymore. Men in Black? I never ran Men in Black formally. Virus Ever is on there. But that sticks. You guys have a new clock tower? You gotta get yourself some scissors. Any scissors in chat? Come on. That was a deadly coast, we're doing good. Go. Exactly, Phantom you. Box. One more fan. John Scoop. Exactly, chat. Huey, get your ass over here, dude. Go, Huey. There are some scissors. Huey. There we go. What's the uh, exclamation mark stand for? Uh, I can mean found things in general. Um. Oh, not bad. But yeah, um, most of the games are on uh, speedrun.com. Uh, exclamation mark speedrun. However, I have some I need to update. Like Lowrider's not on there. Yu-Gi-Oh's not on there. A few more. Yep, Forbidden Memories will happen. Uh, I'll double check as well what I've done in recent times, and I'll be adding all that. By the way, Gun Survivor 2 is on there. I need to add it. That, it will be the Grand Kahuna. It'll be the run I did. I won't even honest effort for what I can do. It's a test to me. That's all I want to do it. Other streamers chat, they would they would charge you. Ah yes. What's that? You wanna watch me play another game in the marathon I set up? Money. This is an idea I wanna do to prove my Wheaties. Uh how many games are on the wheel of games? I think over 150 now. It might be higher. So Wheel of Games will have its usual rules. But then after that, we begin. Uh, Wheel of Games that tend to go about, um, six, like, about anywhere from, like, 12 to 16 hours. Usually, like, 14, 12 to 14, I think. And then, uh, we'll see how that goes. We'll see, uh, how we do it. Uh, every game afterward is gonna be just me the moment where, like, we're done with Wheel of Games, next stream following, we begin the big marathon. So that is the case. Ooh. Yes. And then, yeah, Wheel of Games would be next weekend. I, I would have made it this weekend, but I mean, Resident Evil Relay, baby. We're doing the RE Relay. RE Lay. We'll be diving right on into that. Oh, no, I just said we're doing the whole thing. I just said what we're doing. We're doing what we normally do. The only run I have done. Yeah, yeah, you're all good. Run the Fox! The Prime Gaming. Six months. Enjoy the green scissors hey, and the emotes. And thank hybrid, you very much. You're doing good. Yeah. Also, chat, in case you're wondering, Dices, what if you really have to de rust the game and you can't complete it? We go again. We do it until it's done for every game on that list. Meaning, if I die in something like Corpse Party again, we go back to intro, and we go until we beat a run of it. And also, you know, I liked the idea of also reviewing every game. But that was the idea I've had for a while now. In case you're wondering, if Dice, didn't you want to announce this idea later? I did. However, uh, chat was talking about how lately Disc was apparently running every game he's ever ran. I was like, wait, what? And I was surprised, I was like, wait a minute. And apparently just doing a lot of his games. He's just doing a long marathon. But I, I didn't want to make it seem like I'm just ripping that idea off because I'm really happy he did that and I have a respect for many creators. Like chat, if I ever have an idea that even like relates to someone else, I like to pay any sort of reverence I can. Was Bloodborne run? No, I never ran Bloodborne. I would like to. Don't know how many. I know it's about 150 something. About the double check. 150-ish. 
So, like, my idea I've been talking about for, like, a while. I've had this idea of brewing for, like, maybe a couple months now. It's just, you know, I haven't done it yet because I've been wanting to build up a good time for it. And I think now is a good time. But, uh, I also wanted to mention that just because... I, I don't ever want to seem like I'm taking, like, as much as I talk about various ideas, chat. You, you know the way I feel about multiple ideas. I always try to like, mention where I get the idea if I get it. Even if I didn't get it from there, it's like... I always try to mention even anything I can. I think mean, it's nice. I think a lot of people are appreciative of it. Can I do a chat? Even if people won't do the same thing. Hey! Hold on, hold on, hold on. Face! So is in there. In the two over two months? I start running either DR1 or DR2 because of watching your runs. Which would you choose? If you're gonna run DR1, I think DR1 is the more fun game, but DR2, if you're gonna run it, I recommend doing off the record at first. Uh, off the record can give you a lot of the basics of things like movements and gameplay, and you'll be in a safer environment. Meaning you can actually have things like the, uh, what's the word? You can actually have things like continues and stuff, like checkpoints. If you do DR2 without it, you'll have no checkpoints, and it's a hard game. Uh, so in total, I'd recommend Dead Rising 1. If you want to do Dead Rising 2, try doing off the record and then going to 2. And I think you'll enjoy that a lot more. Also, thank you again for the two months. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. And also, yeah, Dead Rising's fun. I'm glad you're doing Dip Your Toes into it. There's a nice community of people. I, I don't. I think you're already in the Discord, so. All are fine choices, but personally, in order one, I think is like the tippy top. Two off the record is a nice way of getting into two if you want to just base two. And then, you know, it's kind of its nice own thing. Anyway, chat, really quick, it is now time for the flicking of the Ricardos. It is a BTTV emote. There is no emote only mode during this time. You can spam it. It brings good luck. Yeah, Yui is really good there, actually, pal. It's funny. It brings... There we go. I'll bring good luck to the run. As well, if you have the Me Jessica flick from a Me Jessica sub, you can do that as well. No, no, that comes later, Dave, that, man. And also, I only do it if I'm, like, behind on a run. Or, depends on how much time we're doing. We might do it, we'll see. Maybe, but that's not yet. There you go, chat. Which, by the way, chat, in terms of, like, the whole reverence thing, in theory, no streamers need to do anything. In fact, a lot of streamers, you know what they do instead? They just kind of rip ideas and never give any credit. You know how many uh, people try to mimic the Ludwig subathon? And it's like people see one thing that works and then everyone flocks to it. Is that bad? No, that's the general innovation of things. People want to do something that works. All right, good. Oh, baby. But I chat. No one's gonna be the little except I don't think. I don't think so. I have a fun idea for the upcoming thing though for September. But also, I wanna make sure I pay proper, uh, you know, reverence, because I do know one other streamer that has the idea. And, you know, even though I didn't exactly get in, you know, entirely from them, I still wanna to talk to them about it, see if there's anything I can do to not be like a total rip. Because I know they do it. And I wanna do it to, I think, a larger scale. Go, Huey. All right, chat, we've done it. We have had a good Ricardo. I can't believe you ripped off the idea of streaming yourself playing video games, right? I can't believe it. What a what a guy. Nah, but it happens a lot, man. And most people always see one person do something, and then they'll kind of latch on to the idea once it starts working. Is that bad? No, it's quite natural. That being said, it, you know, really varies to what degree that works. And there's a reason why things work. Come on. I guess two people did it. Oh, you mean in terms of the amount. You mean amount. I think meant in terms of, like, the fun of the idea. Firm Girth, thank you for playing gaming for 15 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. 
And thank you very much. Hope you're doing good today. Also, cheers. Although, I gotta, you know what I gotta look into though, chat? I wanna experiment with something. I might wanna try getting an editor for the idea I have. I might need to look around a bit. But I have talked about editors before and had a few reach out to me, but I wanna see if I can do something here. I have a certain style I wanna do. Which idea I wanna, I, someone mentioned in chat, I wanna double check. Uh, does anyone remember who mentioned it? But someone in chat typed earlier. I, I, I apologize for not remembering the exact name. Uh, you know, it was like hours ago and I, I wasn't thinking that idea until afterward. Oh, hold on, Come we're on. But someone mentioned... Oh, oh shit. Come on. Huey. Come on. Come on. Huey, you're a terrible dog. <laughs> Huey, you're an awful dog. He's on me. <laughs> Oh, baby. He messed. Huey. Wait, you want to at least like attack? Ah. <laughs> Let's see. Hold on. Ah, oh, there's a Lorenzo. You're doing good. I don't die immediately. Good job, Huey. Yeah, yeah that's about as much time as I thought as probably running will do. Right, maybe. Hold on. Now I gotta play super safe. One moment. It might be good. If he leaves, it might be good. Alright, we're good. I still wait for the music to drop. Yeah. Right. No worries. Hope you've been having good sleeves from Dirk. Thank you for Prime Gaming as well. I hope you've been good. Now, chat, while I go here, uh, I mean, at least, uh, hold on. I mean, I think a lot of ideas uh, are derivative. I mean, at least for me, a lot of my ideas are so inspired by directly live from this and what you like. And that's one thing, but I know Twitch streamers always kind of just do what, like, what works. It's a particular thing with Twitch streamers, I think. You know what the worst part is, by the way, chat? All this is because Huey was a bad dog. Wait, is he really doing Come it again? On. No, chat, you're making him too powerful. No! Come on. Go, Huey. Alright, Huey. Once you're done with this game, you're going directly to Bob Barker. Oh, Com has messed up a good run because of the dog in this game? Extremely. We tried. Anyway, what I was going to say, though, was someone in chat mentioned the idea. They mentioned after every run I do, I should try making a tier list or ranking of every run and how I feel about it. So kind of just give my general thoughts about the run and say if it's what I think it's good and bad about. Review the run, so to speak. We might just do it over a dusk. And I feel like they could be like a fun episodic format on YouTube. Yeah. But I probably need to like have an editor for each stream. Or I can just do long fucking VOD dumps. So I might try doing that as well. Like take a look at the game and see how much I remember about it. Time? What do you mean time? Uh, 
It's 5.30 a.m. And you are listening to Los Angeles. Boom, boom. Although, I don't think that's what he meant. That being said, Chad, I'm so surprised that nobody's ever tried running this category. I think Bontake is getting close. I think he could probably do it. Oh, God. If it's not time to command? Well, I've been live for about seven and a half hours. So there's that. So. Yeah. Oh yeah, chat, you can watch the older man sucking off a younger man now. This game's fucking bombed. It happens to the best of us. That is what will happen in many cases. So. Chats, I like creativity and I like fun ideas. That's the gist of it. The other idea I have, though... I was gonna say, it might be a real mixed bag. That's my hint. That's all I'm saying. Although again, I think if I want to do it for September, I'll have to look into it now. The Night of Hot Gex is a personal favorite. I'm glad you like Gex. We'll probably be doing Gex again when the remake comes out. As I would like to... I think it'll be funny to revisit the game. And then as well, just, you know. It's a new release. We can play it. Especially if, dude, if Square Enix sponsors me for Gex, I will, I will cry. Like, I don't know how much you want to see a grown man cry chat, but like... 2024 might do it to me. Happy or sad? First one, then the other. Both. <laughs> oh, that's just how it goes. Hey, maybe we'll get it. Who knows? No, I'd be happy. I'd, I'd be honored. Honestly, if I were sponsored by Gex, it would be a, like an honor. I would feel very prideful if that happened. I, I enjoy Gex. I think it's fun. Alright, look at that golden chat. I did it. My splits are like my pee. Red and gold. Alright, RNG Forest time. Let's go. I hope I get out. Like, honestly, like, I would be over the moon like if I can have any part of the Clock Tower Port Plus launch. But, I mean, I'm perfectly content just being able to play the game day one. Like, obviously, it'd be a dream to be involved in it, but I'm okay with not being one. How's banished all both of them? Carefully. Actually, you just should have ignored Huey, too. It doesn't even matter. Like, things might always, might always pan out the way you think it does, chat, so. Go, Huey. That's why it's quite nice just to enjoy what you can enjoy. Like, I would love to be involved in a lot of things, but I'd be okay not being so. And you know what's a good example? I would, If they ever made a new Dead Rising, I would love to have some input on that. Like, I would love to just be able to work or just be able to see the insides of Capcom and how that would work. However, I also just, I understand maybe that won't happen. And you know what? It's okay if it doesn't. But if it did, I would be over the moon. Thank you the follow. Which, an important thing, chat. It's okay to be excited. However, expectations are important to manage. Things might not always go exactly the way you, they can, and, you know, there's tears of happiness, I suppose. Like, obviously, you know, if I was ever invited to be at, at all involved in Clock Tower, like, it's to any degree of, uh, you know, behind the scenes input, I'd be over the moon. <laughs> But at the same time, I don't really work in the games industry. I'm a guy who plays video games online. And I kind of have a weird area where, I'm, while not exactly a small creator, I'm also not exactly a large creator. So, realistically, 
the amount of input I'm likely going to have is likely going to be maybe I'll get early access to the game, but even then, I wouldn't bank on that just because they might not even do anything like that. It's very likely at most I'll probably be able to get a key for it or something, or even then, just I'll be able to buy it. Well, I wouldn't say Goldilocks. I, I, oh, where the fuck's Yui? No. Come on. Come on. I think, uh, with all people. Yui. Where the fuck is he? This dog is terrible. Okay. I think with all people, it is important to consistently try to grow. I don't just mean this in the aspect of Twitch. I mean this in general. Trying to strive to be better than tomorrow is important. Yui. Now, obviously, you're not always going to be able to hit that. Some days might feel like you're going backward. And that's okay. But there's a lot of satisfaction in being able to grow as a person. Oh, I messed that up. That's fine. Wow. I'm brain blank for a moment. Yeah, I know some people who never grow. They don't try to. They don't try to see things differently. Progress isn't always linear. It's not. I know some people for their whole life, they will just get in one rut and never try to move out of it. If anything ever bad happens to them, they're the victim. They're, everything magically went wrong in their eyes. Woe is me, woe is me. They do nothing on their own end to help out their own situation. They be hit with, like, the strongest bits of evidence you'll ever see in your life on something. It can be a variety of things. It can be... They can, they can be hit with a mirror. They can be hit with, uh... You know... Anything. And they'll refuse to see it. Come on. They'll refuse to move past that. It's really not incidental, not necessarily intentional. Sometimes you go personally out of circumstance. You weren't intending to grow, but it happened. That's also okay. I haven't grown in five years, I'm a centimeter. Not a height. Pick your core. Come on. Go. So I think it's quite important to know that chat. Stay. At your core. No, not corn. Core. So it's important to note that. Uh, this is the thing. That is true. Stop. Stay. Right, cool. Dog the red beard. Thank you for the tier one for eight months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you very much. Hope you're doing good. Also, yeah, Rocky was meant to be a pre uh, sorry, Predator was meant to be a Rocky sequel. Someone made the idea. Oh, what if Rocky went to space and felt like a Martian? And then someone said, oh, that's fucking badass. Let's do that. So they made Predator. And that's where Predator came from, unironically. Look back. Uh, how you were even prize and you're doing great. Honestly, yeah. Really? Yes. It's trivia, isn't it, Rockside? Oh, there's another on that map, Sam. Like, obviously, you know, you have a good degree of fear there, which is nice. But it is something important to know. I know on my end, like, when I, when I was younger, I felt more like an asshole. These days, I feel a lot better about myself. And a lot of my own, you know, personal issues come from a lot of the, you know, I don't have stress to put myself under, of all things. We're not gonna pet Huey. He's a bad dog. Ow. I tried, Rockside. Got him. Alright, chat. Now, uh, while I move away from serious seriousness for one moment, who wants to watch an older man suck off a younger man until he dies? Any takers? Oh, no. <laughs> There it is!
And you know what they say. In the same vein, old habits die hard. Ricardo, you are there it is. Always Chat, Spam McDicey suck. Are you- you're laughing. A younger man got sucked off by an older man and you're laughing. Now this scene remade, I demand increased sucking, in fact. I will have your ass off. You have not died in vain. Oh, here we go. Yeah! Look at him go! That one tooth is putting in all that work right there, by the way. You know it is. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. All right, that was the stuff right there, chat. Look at that. Is Ricardo still alive here? Well, he was alive before the sucking. He's dead after the sucking. You can see the life in his eyes go away. Yeah, you ever been... You ever been... You ever been sucked to the degree where the life is fading from your eyes? Because goddamn. That is, uh... That is a powerful move he's made right there. You wish? I mean... Aurora Borealis has had thousands of years to get that going, and that he did. Did I lose time in my speed run to do that? Yes, absolutely. But you know what? Worth it. Absolutely worth it, Chad. Not what matters. Anyway, oh, so I was going to go be good today. It's kind of funny. I was talking all about personal growth, and then I immediately deviated to older men sucking each other off. But, um, yeah, chat. I like to think a lot about this stuff. And also, it's what you put out. It can be a variety of things. I also firmly believe that the most impactful moves you can have are going to be on the people directly around you. Gray bears. What do you mean, gray bears? Explain. Drop bears? Well, no, that's the Australian um, meme animal that, like, kills you by dropping on you. Good. I was because I'm too scared to attack with Chad. I had some time loss, so uh, absolutely we're at dusk. Absolutely, I will eat time loss every time. I'm cool with it. In fact, I think you'd be funny. Got the name wrong? You're all good. It's not a meme. Which one? Drop bears? It's a meme. I tell lots of tourists so they get scared. All right, there we go. But yeah, also chat. Realistically, the person who's gonna know you best is you. Oh, of course, chat. It is quite important to note that. Sorry if I'm sounding more motivational and philosophical than one probably expected out of a guy who's gonna about to talk about kicking a man in the dick until he dies, but, um... I think a lot about this stuff, chat. I think a lot about the past years I've been going on Twitch. It's kind of wild. Um, I kind of mentioned that a lot of what I- what a lot of what I do is kind of felt like for a while I accidentally stumbled into a bunch of things. It's a really weird position to be in. Mainly because, like, you know, when you look at a bunch of streamers, I, I think that it is a hobby that is very filled with general nepotism. Is that bad? No. Obviously, people want to promote their friends and people they like a lot more than randoms. And I remember looking around me, and when I was growing, I remember seeing a lot of the people who were primed to be uh, risen to the top immediately. Uh, people who were invited to things like Twitch teams, people who were, um, you know, 
uh, rated every single stream they ever did by all the larger creators out there in the general network. I got to see a lot of these people and a variety of things. And the weirdest thing is, no matter how much you get at the end of the day, it will come down to person. It's individual by individual basis. Don't get me wrong, obviously luck plays a huge factor in it, and luck can go into that. I grew my own pace, so I get lucky? Both. I consider myself to be both. But also, there's a good degree of preparation and opportunity that go into that. It's really weird. And also, there's been different waves. Spirit? I try to think a lot about these things. I definitely think I got lucky. Like, I, I tell people quite often, don't quit your day job to try to pursue streaming, please. That will not be a good move. In fact, it might be a bad move, in fact. Also, chat, time for the boss fight. Um, I might... I hope I don't need to play an ad right before the very ending. But at the very least, you should be able to watch the fun boss fight. So if I work... You know, we should be good. We should be good for the whole run. If I do know when the run's done, it's going to play an ad immediately. No, do not quit your night job to stream, chat. That's not a good idea. All right, chat. Now, before I get back into it, time to kill this man. Punch him in the dick. Get him! Twice kick him in the deck. Ooh, I think that was it. Well, that, no, that wasn't the death bit. Job, Huey. Break his dick. Oh, we got one. Keep breaking it. Hold on. That sounds about right. Sounds about right, Hellroy. Right. Yeah, I'm really lucky with the various things GDQ. I know that much. Gain some good damage. Come on. It's over. Uh, the dumbass re He knocked me into the fan. And he killed himself. Why? Why did he do that? Futile. Could be. Nice. Name in the fall, by the way. You're sick of getting dick kicked. Oh, of course. But yeah, like in terms of my end, I think I've had a lot of luck getting into various GDQs. However, getting into a GDQ always isn't going to be like the, uh, you know, the guarantee one thinks it is. Now, obviously, you know, there there is a difference in degrees based on the events. But at the same time, it's never a guarantee. Like, you're never going to immediately become famous because you got a GDQ run. Eh, hey, bada boom. Alrighty, chat. Perfect timing. We have our ending now. I'm going to let it... I'm going to let the ad play out on Mackley, but I'm going to be playing an ad right now. It's going to be three minutes. Uh, if you want to avoid the ad, ad block Twitch Turbo or sub to the channel. If you're wondering what's going to happen uh, during the ad, we're going to watch this ending. I'll, pro I, I'll probably play after it. But then also, I'll be setting up Nightcry, our next game. So, those are the I options, see. and also supports the stream, so, yeah. That's just going to go on longer today, or doing a long haul, so. And thank you, Elroy. I try. I definitely try. Alright, so let's see here. They do. Uh, uh, sub support, add support, it's nice. Another ad break? Ah, oh, yes, of course. Well, I don't know what's gonna play. I could play now, I could play in a moment. Like, it usually, I'm letting it roll automatically. Because rolling automatically is going to be a lot better for the, uh... It, it delays it a little longer, so you can watch more of the ending. Yeah. And like, that's the thing. It ebbs and flows. And... In terms of luck, I mean, people mention luck all the time. There's only so much luck can do for you. For a while, the most watched clip on Twitch was some guy getting scared by his daughter while playing Outlast 2. 
And I don't think that guy ever really ruined streaming to the degree that a lot of other streamers did. However, he also didn't want to. Why? He had a family. He was chilling. Is that bad? Yeah. Not at all. But, you know, different people are going to seize different opportunities in different ways. Lion? I don't remember. Nah, it, was, it wasn't a big streamer. Oh, hold on. Uh, I'll look at the name of the streamer. Standing here. All right, chat. It is a channel called Jurassic Junkie Live. They have 6.5k followers. Uh, the clip of theirs that blew up had, uh, let's see how many views. 3,042,023. Interesting Pal and NTSC. Uh, the NTSC copies would be better. Uh, Pal has weird FPS differences. What name? Jurassic Junkie Live, apparently. I had to look up the name of the guy. He's not being bad. He's got 6,500 followers. That's certainly not a low amount. I say he's been getting more into streaming lately, but like, it's one of those things that in many cases, you're not always going to have the same wants or desires as other people. No, he will been complaining because they started. Oh, by the way, chat. We're welcome back. Three, two, one. Let's go. Night cry. They did. They did extra alien. Oh, so that was a cool flux. I mean, good. Yeah, people are complaining about Skull Girls, though, because they uh, they changed a lot of the animations because I think they wanted to move away from uh, sexualizing some of the characters or being overtly horny on main. Probably to get more mainstream public appeal, which, that's fine. But a lot of people who've never played the game in, like, the past, like, years or have, like, less than an hour of playtime have been review bombing Skull Girls, which review bombing in most cases is usually pretty sad. Uh, one, uh, Steam, like, scrubbed all the fucking reviews lately. Is the time we're gonna start at seven hours? I mean, right now we're at seven hours, so yeah. Yep, they kind of soften their edges a bit. Like, I get with some of them. Yeah, yeah, we're good. We're we're good here. We good. I'll start him again. Cool. But like the thing with Evo is that the Evo, you know, tourney list is usually decided well in advance. It's like Skullgirls didn't lose a slot, they just didn't get one this year. But you have to earn that slot, and it makes sense that a lot of larger games are gonna be bearing that way. That's a good step. Yeah. So I think they did that considering Zone is an RS that game. I think they mainly didn't want to have some of the high school characters showing ass anymore, which that's, yeah, that's, that's defendable. I don't think that's a bad take at all. I play the ad? I already played. If you avoid the ad, you're good to go. All right, chat, it's time for Nightcry, though. I love Nightcry quite a lot. So, Nightcry is a weird game, Donate Jin, and Nightcry is a game that we include because this is meant to be the official Clock Tower spiritual successor. Oh, wait, not done. Wait, so wait, did they, wait, hold on, so they kept, like, I, I think they, like, hold on, so they only removed animations from Philly, I'm assuming, right? I'm just a Nazi jerk. Dude, I didn't even... I didn't even know about that one. I didn't even know about the other two. I only knew about the um the horny ones. That yeah, it's probably fine. <laughs> I know chat, it's not my favorite cutscene. We're not skipping it because we're gonna watch it. Don't get yourself but yeah, up now. this game Come though I'll buy you a drink. is neat. What? Only Philia? Wait, that makes sense. Like Philia canonically is like in high school, like she's like sixteen. Here we go. Like, I can't imagine What's they that? change characters like, I don't know, what Parasol, Cerebella, all of them. Well, uh, Something's grabbing my hand. What? 
Yeah, I said something inside here grabbing my hand. Oh, Harry. So it's bound. She's cursed. Is a bit outdated. Anyway, chat. Here's me. I'm serious. Oh, that's literally the Dante sprite. They they paid for that. I don't know why they did, but they paid for that. Doing a Kickstarter thing. Let's run. You don't know why? Well, Clock Tower is awesome for one. And for two, Clock Tower is a game that, one, is rooted in just classic horror history. And I would argue that Clock Tower is arguably one of the best horror games in the 90s. Like, Clock Tower as a debut did better than a lot of other games. Which is wild. Ow. Get up. 95, Chaz. Clock Tower came out in 1995. And before Resident Evil, it looks better. Uh, I know about Michigan Report from Hell. I don't play it for two reasons. One, I played it years ago. Two, uh, copies of that game go for hundreds of dollars, and I'm not exactly gung-ho about buying it just yet. Uh, no, Clock Tower came out on the Super Nintendo, or more particularly the Super Famicom. There was a PC port, and there was also a PlayStation 1 port. However, it's much more important that, uh, what's the word? Um, a new, uh, the new Port Plus is coming out, which will be the first time it's ever been translated for Western audiences and released. Room floors and Sabbath have animation changes. Sub a few changes. Really don't see the big deal. Well, Oz, at, at this point, Dark Patriot, a lot of people who've been complaining have immediately just had their efforts, like, fucking shut down immediately, thank God. I'm not a fan of people just review bombing games for the sake of review bombing. It's stupid. <laughs> And also, like, you know, Skull was a pretty healthy place when I last played it. I actually played the game. I haven't played it since Evo, but, like, I liked it. I might play it more when I finally get my snack box. I bought a snack box, Jets. A little, a little sneaky snack. So I'm excited. But also, I wonder who will actually play the fucking game. I'll do a review bombing and didn't play it. And that's the thing, like, going with, like, the Evo thing, people cheering at Skull not being an Evo... We already knew it wasn't at Evo. They're not, they didn't remove it because, oh my, see, we're sticking it to Skullgirls. No, it was already gone. It didn't get in. You have to qualify for a top eight game. And then they have side turnings. It'll still be at Evo as a side turning, most likely. That's what happened to Marvel. Last year was a Marvel tournament. It was a side turning. I'm mean, bummed out not doing the Marvel tournament, but I, I can't go to Evo this year, I don't think. But yeah. Um, Clock Tower, though, they did a lot in 1995, and that's the big deal of it. And the, all right, back to this game, though. This game is in the marathon because this game is the official Clock Tower oh, spiritual I'm successor. Uh, this is made by the original director of Clock Tower. He brought a lot of the team back, brought a lot of people in, and he wanted to remake the Clock Tower experience under a new name, Nightcry. So this, you know, they actually paid for it to be legit. Oh, she didn't trip on her feet? She did. You missed it. Yeah, it should be fun. Oh, what is it at Evo? Um, Street Fighter 6 is in. I think they announced it. I think they have... Oh, guys, I need to remember all the games. Like, I know they have Street Fighter 6 is the big one. They have Mortal Kombat, which I think was the least popular, funny enough. Uh, they have Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom. Uh, there's quite a lot of games involved this year at Evo. I do know they posted the, uh, like the, the eight main stage games. And a main stage game is like, these are the ones that are the big prize tourneys. Like, these are the ones that will be on the main stages as well. Which, pretty obvious there. Rip fat crew member. More like the flat crew member. <laughs> I think DBZ FZ is probably on there. Exactly, Manicore. Oh, How's the process? We'll be doing good today. You know, we we'll doing good, Manicore. Welcome back. Fifth. Yeah. But yeah, they post these pretty early. And it's a lot of people uh, just, they qualify. A lot of weird games show up every now and again. Like, I remember they had one time they had Samurai Showdown, which is pretty cool. I th didn't them fighting herds qualify at one point to it? Which is like the furry fighting game. I know a lot of people were uh, confused when that one dropped. Just because they didn't expect it because it was like an indie game at the time. People were hype as hell when Skullgirl came up. Because Skullgirl's, you know, been, been trying to get a slot for years. And last year was the first year they ever got one. Like, it was pretty wild. There we go. Here's me and Lucy Corpses. Yeah, a little bit. 
By the way, chat, I like Skullgirls, surprisingly enough. I have a giant Skullgirls print autographed by... Oh, fuck, who's the guy again? One of the head artists. I have to double check. It's been a while since I've uh, kept up with too much of Skullgirls, but I enjoy the art style and enjoy the games. I should remember that. I remember I was really excited. A time hits us. Yeah. You wanna play big band? Boo. Alright, let's go. There we go. Also, chat, you're really like memory spring up as I like see things or remember things. It's trippy. It's a hey change, sometimes change is good. I mean, it really depends. Street Fighter 6, Guilty Gear Strive, Tekken 7, Ultimate Capcom 3, DBZ Fighter, or DBZ Fighters, uh, King of Fighters, Melty Blood. Yeah, that sounds about right. Yeah, MK11. Yeah, yeah. This uh, last time that game was probably going to be at Evo. Which is really trippy that the least popular one was Mortal Kombat. I thought that would have more players. Melty got in. Melty wasn't kicking ass, yeah. People like to complain when they get fired up about things. It's very natural. Oh, dude, people are excited about Street Fighter 6. Like, yeah, I wanted to actually enter uh, Evo at Street Fighter 6, but, um, you know, like, like I said, I'm not going to be able to... not going to be able to swing the events. Which also works out, like... In middle of chat, part of the joy of going to Evo is I went with a couple of buddies of mine. And in addition to, you know, me just not wanting to take too much time off streaming, uh, a couple of my IRL buddies wouldn't be able to go. And I wouldn't want to go without them. Like, that was part of the joy. A lot of it, in fact. That was nice. Sweet. And a lot of memories are based on what you can make, I suppose. All right, we should be good. And like they say, chat, be good people. Oh, wait, the key. Uh, minor time loss. Oh, wait, actually, hold on. No, no, we're good. We're good, actually. We're, we're good. We're good. We're good. Nice. I think so. I went to Evo. It was a lot of fun. Uh, I'd like to go to the event again. Just not this time around. All right, cool. Maybe next time. Which that's important to know as well, chat. Like, in terms of events... You can always go, try it out. If you like it, you can go again. If you don't like it, it's always next time. That's the beauty of life. You kind of get to try a lot of things, chat. You see, actually, the funniest part is whenever I read Bridget, my mind immediately jumps to brisket, and now I'm getting hungry again. As I went to a Korean barbecue, and I had some brisket, and it was nice. I also had some rice. My buddy said rice, and my mind immediately was like, oh, KBBQ. And we get went KBBQ. God damn it, I'm hungry. God, chat, I've been doing good on food and I'm hungry. Oh, he's a powerful man, Topaz. Brisket. Dude, we have brisket bulgogi. I had, I had uh, one of the uh, small intestines. Well, no, because last time I was feeling sleepy, I didn't get as much as I wanted to, chat. I was let down. Breakfast time. Chat, I'm going to get some breakfast after the stream is done. You know what I'm going to say? I'm going to say, it's time for brekkie for Ecky. <laughs> and then I'll laugh to myself and I'll be happy. <laughs> I like saying that. It's fun. I don't know. It's cheeky. 
What do you mean a breakfast tower? No, I'm not gonna get a breakfast tower. Okay. Ray Ray is the most important meal of the day. It is pretty important, chat. That was a panel, buddy. You've been good. Yeah, you know that, chat? I am quite happy that people have been excited for Clock Tower and the general Clock Tower games. Oh, Leonard's a monster. He's, he's a good man. He's monstrous power. All right. Good. Ah, uh, everyone's been breakfast. Ah, oh, of course. Chat, you know what my favorite part about this is? If you get three wrong answers, you just die. If you go on the wrong station, you also die. I don't know, it's always silly. Clock Tower Mobile? You did. It comes after Clock Tower 3. Yeah, Clock Tower Port Plus should be really exciting. And I'm happy people are excited for it. I definitely want to do more of the Clock Tower Marathons, by the way, chat. With the announcement of Clock Tower Port Plus, it's not every day I get to do all the Clock Tower games. So... I'd like to I'd like to make sure we stay fresh for Clock Tower. Oh, I already said I'm absolutely submitting Clock Tower to GDQ for the first time, like ever really. I never really submitted the game to GDQ because I always felt like maybe they'd reject it and it was short, but I've kind of grown to a large enough uh area in screaming that I don't really care. So I just want to get a game I wanted. So I don't care if it's short. It is one of my magnum opuses of a run. Hopefully. Hopefully, chat. New clock tower? Yeah, Frostle, if you need some scissors. Any scissors in chat? We need some clock tower scissors. You know, there's a clock tower mobile. There is a clock tower mobile tope. There absolutely is. We played it earlier today. Any scissors, chat? Now, nah, port pluses won't be out by that time. Also, I love showing off this cutscene because Leonard just murders this man. Uh, he's originally searching here, and then, you know, cutscene just ended, so we back. He's gone! Or plus, what's that? It's the new Clock Tower game coming out. They're making a West, the first official Western port of the original Clock Tower. That's why Chad... Yeah, see, Chad has the scissors. Dicey, evil, like, angry, hyper, lurk. We had a lot of good scissors in chat. And I guess the general subs. We gotta have the proper excitement for a clock tower game, chat. We gotta have some scissors. You thought I said Caesar. <laughs> you know, that's a fair, that's a fair one. Yeah, the original clock tower. And then wine bottle. Same, Leonard, same. I too throw wine bottles when I'm frustrated. <laughs> I'm kidding, chat. I just sort of break down. Oh, that was a pips, right? Good to see you. That's cool. Yeah. I think it is. So, we're pretty hype. And you know what, though? Other streams aren't talking about this stuff, chat. I, I think it's, like, one of the only horror streams I was talking about it. Not, you know, obviously not the only one, but, uh... A lot of people aren't gonna be doing Clock Tower stuff, man. It's kind of that special... Hey, just for us. I go with that. Nice. I'm hungry, man. I'm really hungry. So, there we go. But yeah, um, next GDQ, though, I already, I, funny enough, even without the Clock Tower port, I really wanted to submit Clock Tower. Uh, just because, I, you know, it's our, the original. There's never been a Clock Tower game in a GDQ. There's only been the spin offs. Uh, Clock Tower 3 is on backup, but, you know, it didn't officially get in. So I would like to get the first official Clock Tower game at a GDQ. Yeah, honestly, I hope so too, actually. Speedrun incoming? What do you mean? Probably, yeah. I mean, we're speedrunning right now as you speak, chat. Can I give him four plus drops? Well, you can chill here until it happens. All right, good. I didn't grab the rope. I didn't solve the game, did I? Hope I didn't. Hold on. 
Ah, we good, we good, we good, we good. I can't believe I forgot the diagonal rope. Well, I was into a dinosaur me ground simulation today. Dude, I'm probably expecting a lot of streamers to be on that. In a brand new Capcom game, it would make sense. Actually, wait, it's out, right? Like, the game's out officially? I'm not gonna lie to you, I don't fucking see anyone on my follow list on it. It's kind of wild. Out today. There's not a single person on my follow list who's on it right now. Not even recommended. Is nobody fucking doing it? Huh. Hey, where'd my phone go? Remember I'm impressed? That's fair. I need to charge my phone, but let's see something, chat. Do I have anyone on my follow list who is streaming that right now? So I'm curious. Like, there might be some, maybe later, but like, uh, so far, no. Oh, one. I found one. I found one. There's two. There are two people. I am following two people. Duh. Oh, they're great candy cars. They're absolutely great. So when are you gonna board the train on Nightcry? I know you've been streaming a lot of games lately. You gonna you gonna do Nightcry? And a lot of you? I mean, you could do Nightcry. I'm just gonna recommend Nightcry to anyone who I know who vaguely streams. Why? It's a shit post. Game's fucking terrible. I hate it. I love this game. I hate this game. I love this game. I'm a mixed man on my opinions on Nightcry, Chad. It really depends on the time of day you ask me. Eh, I can charge my phone now. You Nightcry every day? Why Nightcry every night? As is the nature of Nightcry. It was terrible? Yes, it was. So... It's pretty likely, I, I'm guessing there's probably just some assets that exist that Capcom has to be credited. Like, I can't imagine Capcom's, like, directly credited with anything, but, like, we'll see. Got a list? It's powerful. Anyway, chat, time to spam McDicey Boogie. If you have Boogie, do Boogie. If you don't have Boogie, how about you do Bone Zone, a nice little skeleton, man. I want to see that, the red, white, and blue skeletons. Or how about Bully Maguire, because it's new. I bet you go Bone DS if you want to go for a skeleton too. Bone DS is blue. There we go, Howling Guts. Not bad, Chad. There's round one for music. Good stuff. Alright, one, two, three. I mean, it's a banger song, Chad. Every time. Oh, God. What a crack in my neck. I heard that one. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Also, look, there's Monica in the background. Can I actually know the timeline of this game? It's actually pretty funny. There's a timeline. And this game, they try their best, Daniel. Oh, Zimbabwe, I hope you've been good. I hope you're having a good time. Although, chat, you know what I want to do after I do every single game I've ran in a row? I want to do a games I feel like after that. That sounds like a funny idea. What are you gonna do next? I want to do a couple of games I feel like doing. 
I think that'd be a good way of doing it. Oh, Nightcry, you card. I think it would be afterward. Yeah, Learjack, that's uh, one of my favorite marathon ideas. No stream tomorrow, games if you like tomorrow. Well, tomorrow I'm not streaming. I'm saying what I want to do. All right, sorry, chat. I already announced this. Uh, I'm going to plan it eventually. But I'm announcing it because apparently the ideas are even floating around Twitch. I don't want chat to think I'm ripping off an idea. But the idea I've been brewing for maybe months now, or, you know, a month or two now, has been I wanted to run every single game in my speedrun repertoire on the Wheel of Games in a row. All of them. The only difference is if it's not on the Wheel of Games, I won't want to do it. So after we do the next Wheel of Games, I'm going to be doing that. And you know, like, I want to make sure that we can have a fun thing with that. Uh, originally, I was going to announce it afterward, but chat mentioned that apparently Distortion's been doing, a, like, a, like, a lot of his games in the speedrun marathon. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. I don't want to feel like I'm ripping off that idea. I kind of want to mention ahead of time, yes, this is the thing I've been talking about for a while now. <laughs> Which, you know, no idea is ripped off either way, it just parallel thinking he's doing that well that's the thing I, I didn't i didn't know he was doing that chat mentioned today like wait he's doing that i don't want it to sound like i ripped off the idea because it's like oh shit i've been doing i've been playing this for a while now shit let's do it i'm doing it i'm just mentioning that's why i'm mentioning it now that's what i'm saying I kind of wanted to prove something to myself. And that's why I wanted to do it. I've been wanting to feel that way for a while. Chat, you've heard me talk on stream a few times. It's the idea that I don't often get to feel like a real speedrunner anymore. I feel like everyone always has their opinions on various running things. So. What kind of streamer would do that? Just take someone's ideas like that? I've, I know a few. And they're not the best people. I run over 150 games or so. But also, it's not really like a comparable, comparable thing. Like, it's something bad. I just want to mention, I just, I wanted to do the idea. But whenever I have any idea, I like to make sure I pay reverence, chat. I'm very high on paying reverence. That was the Chaos Storms. I like giving credit or credits due. The reason why is because I think streaming as a hobby is very, um... You know. There's a lot of people who don't. I've seen a lot, a lot of things. People just, you know, take an idea and then they just... Eh. Oh, probably. No, we're not going to run that one, Mycin. I'll tell you that much. We're not going to run that one. Also, we're not doing like 24-hour streams. I'll just go to a pace that's probably comfortable. Oh, I do like Parky's high emote, call sign. Parky has a nice high emote. That's a good high emote right there. I am Woody. I'm pumped for it. It should be good stuff. Oh, there's a Milky Flare. Morning to you. I love the lurking emote. It's a nice lurking emote. No, I'd rather not die. I like being alive. It's one of the things I'm kind of good at. I'm very happy with the emotes we have here, chat. We have some very good emotes. What's your favorite emote, chat? A big dice emotes. That's a pretty good one. Like smog. Smog was literally the second emote we ever did, by the way. Uh, Kanzo is going to cleanse her own. Oh, absolutely. There we go. Chaos Storm, thank you for 205 months. Enjoy the most sincere. Thank you. I like cheer, boogie, and assets. As many as so festive, it's a free emo, and I kind of forgot to put it back to normal. So, eh, it stays. 
He can be festive all year round. It's July. It's Christmas, right? Thank you, Chaos Storms. I'm doing good today. Let's make sure it's top. I used emotes as a lot of the community. I think the most used emotes, cheer and grill. Like, the animated emotes get a lot more use. People like animated emotes. They're just a nice feature on Twitch. But I do appreciate always seeing emotes in the wild, too, for here. It is quite nice. Alright, let's go. And then we're in the back half of this game, chat. Oh, God. Doing some long, long hours. I always need a grill. Well, he, I also use grill for raiding a lot, because I like grill. I don't know why. It's cheeky. By the way, today's raid's going to have scissors, chat, so we'll get our scissors ready. I like scissors. What can I say? You know what's funny? I also really lucked out in the fact that, like, when I was streaming, nobody, like, was caring about Clock Tower at all. So I can literally just be the scissor guy. The scissor man. Like, realistically, I'm one of the only streamers that uses scissors, and I'm very happy for that. Don't get me wrong, there's probably at least one or two out there who also do it, but, like, I think we've definitely had that become ingrained in the identity here. Good emote? Thank you. Why do you not have a Daytona emote? Because we do, uh, cheer for that. Also, because I don't have a lot of emote slots. Am I, of course I am. Yeah, of course. Why wouldn't I? I'm probably gonna end up routing it. I'm probably gonna be a part of the head mod. I'm like, I'm gonna be doing all the shit on that fucking. I'll be working. Hard work. That being said, it's not gonna be a good speedrun. I'm gonna have fun, but I'll be a good speedrun. There can only be one. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah! It's a good time. Hope you're having a nice morning, Azekiel. That was a sublime mine. Let's see something by the way. Wait, there we go. Alrighty. The scissor lord, I tried, forgot to split by the way. Alright, chat, we're coming to the most important split. I'll just say, you'll know what to do when we get there. Or I'll see some of Nightcry's best assets. What's this game all about? Um, so there's two things about this game. Part number one that's relevant to us. This game was the Clock Tower revival, and it really wanted to bring, uh, you know, the Scissor Brand of Horror back into the full front. So, uh, it's Clock Tower on a boat. However, for the actual game that you might be wondering, uh, this game is about a bunch of students who are trying to prevent cultists from going to super heaven. Oh wait, that is... Oh, it's not really a ghost, it's more of just like a monster. The scissor walker. Quite powerful. I know, chat, look! Rooney is forklift certified, don't try this at home. I need water after this. Should. Should have done that during uh, one of the games. Hey, I'll figure it out. Two were heaven? Yep. Same, Rooney. Same. Uh, every other time, can I do one 15 hours a day? I think it's, uh, they do have our lunches, so. Uh, hold on one more. I hate saying this, but one mention, I keep thinking from work I've ever do overtime. I can't do more than 15 hours in a day, apparently. But I think that's, uh, the, the idea of half hour lunch, so it's about 16 hours commuting time. Generally should have the same expectation, uh, to themselves they do a big run. Oh, the thing is, though, obviously it ebbs and flows. And, like, streaming is in a really weird space where... Chad, the amount of work you put in may or may not reflect the amount of effort. Dude, I know people who literally stream for five minutes, and then they will make more than, like, the average person in, like, a dozen a month. It's kind of wild. Uh, there's also people who will stream for, like, 16 hours and make massively less than minimum wage. 
I actually had quite a few streams where, um, if it wasn't for ads, we would probably, uh, not be doing so hot. But, uh, ads are nice. Ads have been very helpful on Twitch in balancing that. They've made things quite, uh, nice for a lot of people. I, try, I see a lot of people, like, uh, mention, like, oh, we don't play any ads here. Dude, all your people are subbed. You're not, you're not getting anything from ads. No one's watching any ads. <laughs> They're all paying you directly from their pocket. Good morning to you, FLCL. How are you doing good? I got a good revenue deal? That's because a lot of people who watch the channel aren't quite subbed. These don't count as ad revenue? People who are subbed count as direct revenue. There we go. Uh, we're messaging Kelly. No, Dante died earlier. He's no longer with us. This is, uh, Eric. Anyway, chat, it's now time for Rooney's assets. You ready? Spam McDicey assets. Literally McDicey assets. You know how that do, Leon. It'd be fun. Here we go. Oh my god. There it is. The best assets in the game. God damn, I love this part. Why does Rooney have such a fat ass? Like, why was that, like... Alright. Now, the awkward girl? Give her the fattest ass imaginable. God damn, man. She's just not the- she's not just the cake chat, she's the whole bakery. I assure you, it's absolutely imperative we have this. We love a good bakery, good, good. Good, Mars, good. Oh, absolutely. Oh, Lily, absolutely. Rooney is, uh... Yeah. That's why the split's called Rooney's Booty. It gives you exactly what you wanted to expect. It is Texan. What could we say? But yeah. Um, but streaming is always kind of a neat thing with how it all works. And then there's also a lot of alternative methods. Like there's sponsorships. There's um, people do subathons. People do a variety of things. So, the end really kind of varies per person. But, uh, I say it's birthday for free money. Well, my birthday is on August 30th, and that day is gonna be weird because I actually have a GD Hoffix show on that exact day. Um, so I might just stream after the GD Hoffix, maybe? And you might do that, and maybe go for a little bit of a longer, uh, late stream. Also, chat, here's the Kickstarter backers. Oh my god, I can't believe it! It might be. I'll chat, I once, uh, I looked around Twitch. And I once saw a streamer, uh, while I was doing a birthday stream, I saw a streamer, uh, make their title that it was their birthday again. Like, they'd had a second birthday stream. Specifically on my birthday, because I was doing one, I'm pretty sure. Uh, some things are weird. What? Yeah. Some people are odd on Twitch. It does, at least. That's where the home and bid emotes from. That's the Kickstarter backers. It all makes sense now. Oh, Rooney, time to kick into action. But also, I don't really ever do too much for my, uh, for my birthday. I sort of just chill. I play a game I want. I like that. No, no, not like that. It's probably more the opposite. There we go. Alright. Have you ever kind of cake for my birthday? Not really. I usually just get pretty basic cakes. I like chocolate flavors, but that's about it. Oh, so I think that's the spot. I think it's right there. Oh, yeah, because I didn't watch the cutscene this time with the, the character. 
I'm trying to save some time in the back end. We can do that. That's fine. But yeah, actually, I don't really do much for my birthday. I just play a game. Uh, a lot of people don't even realize it is my birthday. So I'm use the super chat feature. It's been used a few times, but not really too much here. It ebbs and flows. Like, sometimes there's a lot of, like, stuff around. Like, you know, like, I guess subs, but... Uh, most of the subs here are natural, I suppose. There's some gifted, don't be wrong, but a lot of uh, what comes in is a people just sub because they like the stream. We don't have a whole lot of gifted. I know you're wrong, it's not like zero or anything, but like... I know some streams, like, there's like the wild imbalance where it's like a thousand gifted subs and like ten regulars. Nah, it's much more the opposite here. It's kind of funny, Chad, because we're one of the few like 1,000 streamers that actually the new Twitch policies are going to benefit. Uh, there's one streamer that jokes, uh, subvert the emotes and all. It happens. Yeah, so that's gonna be nice. Can't say I'm, uh, exactly complaining about the new policy. So, yeah, here's a, a lot of opinions about what people have about Twitch's new policy. That's Twitch walking through the door. Hi, Dry Pong. I hope you're doing good. I'm doing all right. Raid in the trash. Oh my god. Alright, we did. Oh. I just like my opinions of me. I'm doing alright. Pretty excited for new clock tower stuff. I think it's gonna be fun. I don't know, Chaz. We have a lot of fun projects coming on up. There's a lot of games coming out that I'm gonna be pretty gung-ho about. Big ass trash can, some big ass trash. You know how it be. But yeah, chat, I normally don't have um, a lot of people really doing birthday stuff for me. There's always a few, but... Uh, how dare I be excited for a 40% raise, right? I can't believe it. And yeah, uh, we are one of the few that gets to benefit from that. <laughs> so I am quite happy. But again, that's because a lot of people who have subbed to the channel here are doing it um on their own. Oh, hey, I got the cutscene skip. Cool. Not, again, not to say that no gifts ever happened. No, we had some gifts subs earlier today. Like, we had some from Pro Package Player. Uh, there's... Oh, wait. Oh, God damn it, Rooney. There's one from Anonymous. Probably scroll back and look at a few. I know, um... Frozen Blaze did one. Like, we keep track of who does. Are gift subs paying less? No, so, um, the way Twitch has been doing the new thing is they're only counting, uh, genuine, you know, natural subs, because in theory, anyone can just, you know, get themselves enough subs to meet a threshold, and then they'd be able to take advantage of that for a whole year, because that's how that works. Also, Twitch already kind of promotes a lot of things through natural subs. Like, back when I was applying for front page slots, um, it was happening only through, um, natural subs, um, because... They want to make sure that you're in that area that would make sense. Yeah, partner plus. Boo? I'm not going to boo. I'm kind of digging in the whole thing. I mean, you know, I really don't mind if they include more people in it because I'm not the one being ebbed and flowed. But uh, admittedly, the new po all Twitch's new policies tend to affect me pretty well in a really weird way, which I ain't going to complain about that. It also feels like I'm finally catching up to a lot of people who were partnered way before I was, which I got partnered a year earlier. I probably would have been way fucking better in a position. And for it all, yeah. Yep, it's something. It should be nice. Absolutely, absolutely candy course. Also, like, with streaming, the more I did it, I had to ask a lot of questions to myself, and a lot of what I want to do is my own actual steam. It's funny because like there's certain things that hit you, and then it's like, oh, ha ha ha, the yeah uh, meme, and then it's like, ah oh, shit, wait, this is actually something I gotta think about. I like to think quite a lot about ethics, I suppose. You know why? I wanted to be a lawyer. And surprisingly enough, when you're entering a profession that is mostly full of blood-sucking parasites, uh, you kind of don't want to be one of those. Ironic, considering I entered another... <laughs> oh my god, chat. I can't fucking believe that two of the aspirations I had were related to blood-sucking parasites. 
I mean, I could be sad, huh? Yeah, there's quite a lot that can come from that. There's a great deal of responsibility that one can hold. I don't think nearly enough people trade with the weight it deserves. Phoenix Wright or Saul Goodman? Ah, shit! Oh, God, that's a... I don't, oh, God, I don't like that one. I don't like that one. Like, I... God damn it. Like, dude, I would want to be Phoenix Wright, but I know for a fact I'd act more like Saul Goodman. Saul Goodman! <laughs> And also, thank you again for the kind words, Candy Courts. Hold on. Yeah, bye bye, Order of Dusk. Hope you have a good rest of the day and night, and take it easy. And also, I mean, it's not like being a fucking paragon of virtue. I'm gonna generate fuck my own flaws. It is more the idea in terms of uh, Twitch. There is certain things that one can take, you know, take hold of. I've also mentioned plenty of my own flaws. APM FTE. My chat, I absolutely don't want to pay myself as a paragon of virtue. That's not the point I'm trying to make. You know? I did not turn down a PS5. I wanted a PS5. They just didn't respond to me when I asked about it. I was I, I was sleepy and I fell asleep. I would have absolutely taken a Ghostwire Tokyo sponsorship, which I'm pretty sure that was what I was trying to be. And I'm sad I didn't get to be a part of it. Only my straw, of course. Oh shit, open the door. Thank you. Is that better the way you said it? Well, yeah, but again, I don't need to give myself hype for every like mistake that happens or anything that comes up. Chat, I've taken sponsored streams before and I'm cool with sponsored streams. It's more the idea that I'm very picky with what I pick because I actually believe in that. All right, ready? All right, chat, let's see if I get the skip. Didn't get it. I tried. And you mash all the buttons, or if you do finger guns, this cutscene can skip and save two minutes. That's why I don't run this game. I'm Vigo Baratsov, the owner of this ship. We met in the cargo hold, Rooney. A belated greeting. Welcome to the Oceanus. I hope you enjoy your cruise with us to our eternal paradise. Uh. Uh. Let go of oh. me! No! Uh, uh, no! Oh, well, that was the fun no. gen, eh, Jen? Uh, that's also neat to think about. Father, that wasn't Romeo. I'll be doing good. And also, you know, there's a lot of different situations out there, and for some people, it can make a break. That's what I, I, I say quite often, chat. When I turn down things like that gotcha game, yeah, they kind of strung up like mannequins here? to go to Super Heaven. I told you, what did I you say? Right you. Oh, do I feel more like Saul Goodman or Phoenix Wright? Jerome? Forget about him. It doesn't matter how much of a big shot celebrity he is if he's lost his mind. What's Sam Raimi's? He really backed the game and enjoyed it. That's really it. Absolutely cast him. Well, again, that's kind of the thing, like... When I got into streaming, I left my full-time job, and it's something I wanted to put a lot of work into for a very particular vision. And I didn't want to compromise that. Alright, and... GG. Which I think is quite important. It is absolutely fucking you? huge, and I think it's pretty good. Dude, I wish Sam Raimi believed in me. You're right. Sorry, Monica. I'm gonna survive. No matter what it takes. No matter oh. the cost. It'd be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, most horror games like to emulate. Oh, yeah. He will survive, Rowan. Then become head trimmers? No, actually. Funny enough, Scott guy, I looked into it. Uh, the difference is on handle. 
Uh, scissors are consistent based on size. Um, the handle is like scissors, as you can see there. Scissors are different because they have very long handles. There is a difference, as weird as that sounds. You waking up for work? Chad, here's me if I get rejected from the next GDQ. Here's me if I find out they're gonna remake Clock Tower Ghost Dead. Kidding, I like Clock Tower Ghost Dead. Wait! Wait! This can't be! No! No! This can't be! Wait! Oh, the cause are doing good. Ida. The horse is here. Do an unpump clock tower remaster, baby. This is the opposite of me. Hey, no, just having song lyrics in chat. No, not doing that. No. God, I love Cat's tired emote so much, by the way. Like, Cat has one of the best tired emotes I've ever seen. And it's absolutely one of my favorite ones. Like, I love my nap emote a lot, but it's a different type of tired. Like, that's sleepy. It's sweepy. Like, tired is just like, you're, you're done. You're done with the whole thing for a bit. I relate to that heavily. Alrighty, chat. Well, I hope you feel better. Best riot emote. I I'll say fully well. Like chat, us getting a riot emote was uh, holy thanks to the uh, cat. A lot of uh, mutual <laughs> viewers were asking they wanted to be able to riot, so that's why I have a riot emote because of cat. The Over. Roger, that's all units and then I wanted to use the uh, you know uh, cows of the damned. Alrighty, chat. Uh, I'm gonna go to right uh, remothered now. We're gonna anyway. Uh, without further ado, I'm gonna get started, shall we? Work 30 time, have a good day at work, guys. It's Kel and take it easy. All right, chat, here we go. And bada boom. Let's do this, chat. Showtime. Beautiful game, too. I was not going to be too loud. But yeah. It's always fun, though, chat. And like I said, I always like to mention of the uh, various things of reverence and all that. May I come back from the ad, everyone, officially. Free Mother's a neat game. By the way, the game looks better than this. I'm playing on pretty bad graphics for speed's sake. Because this game has particular settings you need to have. You didn't know that? A lot of people don't. That's why I relate them. It's kind of funny because, like, I mentioned in the past, I've had a few people try complaining, like, This game isn't a clock tower game! My brother in Christ, you're getting free entertainment. Enjoy it. And I just explained why it relates and why it's fitting for what we're doing. Also, the franchise has been dead since 2003 and is only becoming revived as of 2024. I'm sorry, 2021, if you really want to get into fucking... You know. Clock Tower Mobile. No, it's a different run animation, but it's fun. Yes, exactly. Well, I wouldn't say it's a rip-off. It's more of a spin-off. Oh, you know, you said spin-off. My bad. I'm, I read that wrong, Mason. That's my bad. I thought you said rip-off. I misread. Yeah, exactly. Yes, yes, yes. I know a clock tower mobile. Bad habit. Fucking clock tower mobile, man. Yes, such a shame. You should quit. What a game, huh? have no idea how bad this is for you. Clock tower girl and smash win. Uh, probably not. Money and time the closer you're getting is... horror and smash is fatal frame. I have so much to do every day. I couldn't waste time with such a bad habit. Do you assist Mr. Felton all day? Oh no, from midday to 8 p.m. Then I go. All right. As I'm trying, I won't be doing good. If needed, he can contact me. With yeah, chat. We're on the last he legs of this marathon. His wife takes care of him when I'm off. What can you tell me about her? I met her Top of slander. We played two runs of Clock Tower Mobile earlier, chat. I gave two runs of it. Let's say they don't seem to get And flood the market, right? It's like it's coming Resident Evil or something. It's happening again. I don't know. He listens to the same music, the same song. Although, chat, I am so excited for the wave of people who are going to say they've always been fans of Clock Tower. It's gonna be good. 
A lot of people are going to remember fond memories of this game. I know it's not facetious for a second, but no, I'm being quite genuine. I'm actually quite excited to see everyone uh, re-loving the franchise or getting into it. Love those people. I, I'm being quite sincere, funny enough, as weird as that sounds. I thought the Monster House game? No, I did not play the licensed movie game for Monster House. Oh, you know what game I would love to play? I would love to play the Titanic video game. Not Titanic. Um, there is a horror uh, game made by a human that's like in a weird area of like... God, I don't remember what it's called, but like the point of the game is that you're on a sinking ship and you need to save other passengers and the boat is moving around you and it's a very weird deep cut of a game. SOS? It might be SOS. I know it's like on the NES or something. It's a trip. That's NES, yeah. Now walk? Oh, she walks amazing. Now chat, I'm gonna say right now, in any case, especially in the current climate of gaming, if you're enjoying these games for the first time, have a blast. Have a good time. Whether it be Clock Tower, Silent Hill, anything. Did I ever play Monstrum? No. I have no thoughts. I never played it. Seems fun though. Chat. If it's your first time, enjoy that. However, do you know how many people I see currently like typing some of the worst takes online and then like never like only vaguely knowing about the games, never having played them? So don't have the worst takes imaginable if you don't play the games. That's all I'm saying. I'm seeing a, ter a lot of terrible Silent Hill ones. Oh no, I can't believe it. Well, if you see the name Phase, it's usually going to be a pretty bad take. Dude, there's a few videos I totally want to do, though. I'm quite excited about some of the ideas I have. Jennifer, a clock tower reference, huh? You know damn well why they chose that name. You know exactly why they chose the name Jennifer. Like to go around it. Uh, go ahead and hit me, lad. Oh, Alright, good. Your own nice. Is that the game of the piano scene? Which piano scene? Doctor Reed, are you doing some overtime? Never finally got to be the villain? Yeah, I suppose you're not entirely wrong about it. No, oh, he did not no say cock. He said, I want to make you swallow your own tongue, not, not come. I'm in Clock Tower, only know one name, chat. If you're in Clock Tower, your name is Jennifer. Sorry, I don't make the rules. That is like the golden rule. You know what Rooney's original name was meant to be, by the way? I'll give you a hint. It's Jennifer. Beautiful hint, right? Mistaken names, the very same. God damn it. No, Juho, he was never saying I'm gonna make you swallow your own cum. Alright, here we go. Hofumi well, Kona only knows the stake of names, chat. Did someone say cum? Juho might have. Isn't Jessifer the chick from, uh, The Witcher? That was Mago. It's good to see you as always. Chad, clearly I learned if I ever have a daughter. Oh, wait, no, not there. If I ever have a daughter, I'm gonna... Yennefer? Isn't Yennefer? I, I've never played the, uh, The Witcher. I only know vague things about it. Like, I know the, uh, the author hated the games. In this dining room in RE1? No. Surprisingly enough, RE1 does not have the Monopoly on dining rooms. It could be a reference, I'm not entirely sure though. I was in Kyo, so we didn't get it. I was in Sky Guy. Oh, Hound! It's uh, Adam Harrington. Which now I get the name proper. We used to say Billy Harrington. Which, no, that's the gotcha based guy. He said Steve Harrington, which is the Stranger Things guy.
Has been famous. Even then, he hated the games. You just assume it's always duo. It's a fair accuracy. Billy Harrington. We do. Uh, Billy Harrington is an icon, though. Chad. He seems like a nice guy. Soon renegotiate his contract. I mean, I get it. Did I do it? No. But I mean, I get it. Yep. They related? What, Billy Harrington and Adam Harrington? I don't know. Yeah, Adam Harrington chat. Uh, you, you actually know who he is. If you played a little indie game called The Wolf Among Us. Do 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 boom boom Among Us No not just Among Us but the Wolf Among Us Yep Still He was Big here. Me Wolf He's actually a really good voice actor so I I, I think he does good you Do you really think you'll get away with this? <laughs> Let's go. Wait, Wolf Among Us is indie? Is it not? It could, maybe it won't be. Maybe it's not, but I thought it was, right? I thought it was like a, I didn't think it was triple A. I thought it was like double A. Nice. It is Manicore, it is. Ken Harrington, well that one's different. That looks such a triple A game. Well, it's not exactly, all right, so, yeah. Normally, the A's that go into the ranking is like double A, triple A, A, or whatever you want to call it. Usually, this is the companies behind it. So, if an indie, if an indie studio is making a banger game, it's not triple A just because it looks good. It's still indie. And in the other end, if a major studio is making a crock of shit, it's not magically an indie game. It's just the size of the studio. Which, it didn't... Wasn't it Telltale who made The Wolf Among Us? Which, at the time, I don't think they're a massive, massive. Yes? Yeah, I don't think they're a massive when they made it either. We can escape. That's made The Walking Dead. That one may have been a uh, larger icon. I don't think you mean the lost one. They mean the Walking Dead. Who's playing? Oh shit! I knew it. <laughs> Isn't Hell doing Star Wars too? They're they're a lot larger now than they were back then. I think. Fucking cocksucker. Same difference. Wait, chat. What's that new game? I I saw it on uh, on Twitter. Uh, apparently, I think Critical is checking it out. It's the fucking the last one, right? Any last one enjoyers out there? Yeah, last one's not. They meant The Walking Dead. Are gonna die? Wait, no, 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 no. Oh my god, what a whiff. Stop! dumbass. The Last Hope? Yeah, that one. I'm not gonna play The Last Hope. That would absolutely be a sub goal game. Bet. I'm not playing the last hope chat. Make the goal. Well, right now, Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness is at 1,200 chat. We haven't hit that yet. We're like 100 away. So, uh, I have my doubts we would hit it. It's probably 1,000, I don't know, more. Not 1,000 more in total, but like it would be larger than that. Will I have to play it on Switch? I have a Switch. I can play it on Switch. Oh, god damn it. Would you like me to insert? New stream will confirmed. I don't have a new number for it chat. I don't have a numerical amount that I would do for that. 
Ah, oh, shit, wait a minute. That's fine. Make one? Oh, I don't know what to do right now, because right now we're at 1,100. That's fine, fuck it. This is gonna be neat. I don't have a weapon. Huh. I a locker? No. Oh, don't backseat the speed run. No, don't do that. Yikes. No. Let's see. Just run to the end of the game, chat. Oh yeah, we're not gonna hide, no. All right. Nice. Gotcha. She does Roach Club, that she does. All right, see, we did it. I tried not getting hit, you know? I'll try that one now, we'll see how it goes. I'll try it. Oh, that was a Mavito, we're doing good, welcome on in. But yeah, $5, no, the goal, the goal. You know what, chat? And the most fair answer is 1,300, I think. I like blocks 100. Tomb Raider Angel of Darkness is already existing, and I'm not removing that, especially considering that's actually on point. And I think you'll enjoy that more. If you want the fucking the last hope of the 1,300, how is this game to learn? Not at all. I think this game is very easy to learn. Shit. I'll kill her. I will. Hug your sister. And a sandwich made on a car for less? Oh, you have to understand the difference, though. <sighs> you want to kill me? Really enough, there is a difference in those two things. The difference is, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? One of them is scaling, and the other is not. So the time we're doing that chat, it was much closer in difference than the other one. Family Guy fan with the Carpanini. I mean, Family Guy's funny. I enjoyed it back when I was younger. I don't know how much I'm watching it nowadays, but like every now and again, I still get hit by stray clips and a laugh. Yeah, hey, it's pretty hey. neat, though, Texan. It's a neat run. So yeah, that's kind of the thing there. It's the um. Like, back when we had that, it was the next closer goal, and there's a bunch of scaling goals. So, with that, it makes sense that, yeah, that's why it was technically lower or higher, if you want to call it. Because there's other goals along the way. In this case, you know, it's not going to be 1,200 because it'd be 1,300. Because 1,300 would be, uh, right now we're 1,100. So, okay, Tomb Raider Angel Darkness, I'm not going to remove that. It already existed. I'm in the mood. I get that very much. So, I mean, I'll say it right now, for anyone excited about The Last Hope as a goal, you can put your money where your mouth is right now. I'm making 1,300. Right now we're 1,100. Well, Kyle Run did, at the very least. Going to Bumblebee Tuna 41. No! Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you. Give a sub, Kylo Run. You did. That's one. That is one. Let's chat. Let's chat. A uh, goal at that point, whether or not you hit it, obviously that'd be up to chat. Like if chat wants it, they can have it. But uh, that's kind of always the case. Like if you're gonna if you're gonna push for a goal, you gotta contribute to it. Nice. Good tech right there. Exactly. Exactly, Wondrous. As the case. Umbrella reference? Yeah, you got it. Is Gex a sub goal or no? Uh, not currently, no. 
but since Gex is getting a remake, I I think I always said if Gex got something new, I'd probably just straight up play it. I'll just play it. Why? I don't want to drip that. Prostitution. Thanks for tier one for five months. Enjoy the emotes in the series and thank you. By the way, yeah, I'm keeping Angel of Darkness. Like, I'm not no, removing that one. That's a jump scare. The thank you very much, Prostitution Zero for five months. Enjoy the emotes in the series and cheers. And yeah, I plan on keeping Angel of Darkness there. I'm not removing that one. But that is the case. Also, is the age-old thing on Twitch chat. I've seen it many a times. It was probably the worst during Manhunt. When's Manhunt? When's Manhunt? Okay, uh, since we're doing new games, here's the sub for Manhunt. Crickets. You play Manhunt. Finally, you're playing Manhunt. Manhunt's annoying to stream, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I have some- I generally want to play the game again, but holy fuck, that game's annoying to stream. Oh, she does battle, buddy, absolutely. Well, admittedly, I'm not one who's worn heels, but what I have heard is that with heels, normally what you want to do is you don't want to... I have heard that your feet adjust and take time to adjust, too. Yep. And then, the, and then also wonders, the people who actually went towards the Manhunt sub goal, uh, they didn't even know there was a sub goal. They just wanted to support the stream for the sake of supporting the stream. And then some people try like taking credit like, oh, see, we did it. I was like, no, you didn't. One person did it. They wanted to support the stream. Pipsprite, I'm give sub going to Aphexium. Now! Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you very much, Pipsprite. It is much appreciated. You did, Miss Scarlet. Hope you're doing good. I don't think Manhunt is mid. I think Manhunt is a very neat game that I would like to play more of. My problem is I don't want to read about Manhunt being banned for nine hours. Stop, nice. What are we doing, Miss Scarlet? But honestly, though, Manhunt, I really liked it, and the speedrun's really cool. You know, after all your shit talk, you're all good, Pips Bright. I mean, like, I want to mention as well, it's just the kind of the case of the, um... This isn't me trying to say, oh, Chad, you have to sob or else I'll cry. No, this is a way of me having a deterrence. Because very often what will keep happening is we're going to be asking, streamer, when is blank? When is blank game? Streamer, when are you doing blank? And then what's going to happen is, like, oh, throw out a number. And it's like, okay, here's your number. And then it just... It's called a deterrent. I'm not expecting it. It's more, I just don't want the thing to come out anymore. And then later, I get to eat my words, because then what will happen- Yo, you know, I know you're good. It happens quite a lot. Well, let's go to the, uh, the fans of Manhunt versus Rule of Rose. Chat, is it possible for a Manhunt guy and a Rule of Rose girl to fall in love? <laughs> Oh. Well, clearly from what I learned, Chad, if I want to make a, if I want to get a banging YouTube video, what I should do is apparently I should do a full fucking review of Manhunt. I should talk about how much I like Manhunt, which I actually really like Manhunt. I liked the game. I thought it was charming. I thought it was neat. I thought it hit areas that I don't get to see a lot. I like the world of ultra violence. Anonymous giving us up to Cife Alter. Ah, shit, I messed it up. It's fine. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you very much, Anonymous. It is much appreciated. Now! Is that the one with the, the shark? Manhunt? Oh, uh, no, that's, uh... The one with the shark is... Oh, God, what's that game called? Oh, God damn it. Manhunter. Is it Manhunter? Or Jaws Unleashed? Manhunter, but I know it's not man- uh, no, 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 it's like, you play as a shark. Man-eater, it's man-eater, thank you. Uh, small time man got it. Thank you, small time man. Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah, it was man-eater. Close, it definitely makes sense. Like, it sounds kind of like Manhunt. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was blanking too. Oh, Chad. Yeah, like, like I said, that's actually the trippiest part. I thought Manhunt was a neat game. Third mine. Choo choo. We're on the edge of a hype train, apparently. So choo choo. The on the, I think one of the other ones fell off, but yeah. We're right there on a hype train. Tired Mind's keeping it going. They have the hundred biddies. Yeah, original uh, cow. We do it for the Fox Tower Marathon. It's a fun time. Two stuff. I just stop drinking a choice. Uh, depends per time. Be a few different. Ways. I had a Dr. Pepper today. I was, I was craving one. I wanted caffeine. Didn't have my usual bouts of caffeine, but also have coffee. Excellent. Thank you for getting sub to uh, Ukri AFGC. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors. Thank you. Hope you're doing good. And now we have a hype train chat. There you go. Tired Mind got the hype train. Thanks to Texan. And you. And also Pittsbright and Anonymous. And Prostitution and Kylo Ren. Hello, chat. If we hit level 5, I'll play a button that says Bustin'. We go beyond level 5. How about after the run is done? For every level beyond level 5, chat, I will do an additional run of Clock Tower Mobile. You said the bottom? Wait, why the bottom? Wouldn't it be the top? Those kill you, they're an immediate death. If you get hit by it, it's immediate death. You die instantly. Yeah, thank you very much for being here, you creep. That's right, they have the 100 biddies. It's appreciated. Yeah, admittedly, Manhunt, I think, had a lot to say about it. And I don't know. I think a lot of the history behind Manhunt's quite neat. Even the band stuff. I just, you know, hearing anything enough times is like going to be rough. One example is which is every time I have to correct it, no chat. Silent Hill does not have ash. It is not ash. It is snow. It is absolutely snow. The movie has done more damage to the Silent Hill franchise than anything else. Nice, Alex. Meister. Nice. You gotta get some Leons in there, Frostwolf. Do you have uh, the Leon emotes? We do like him, Mr. Leon Gaiden. We have a round of Leon's chats. It's not ash. It's snow. My favorite thing is you're like, how is it snow? It doesn't say anywhere it's snow. And then you just pull up the clip that says at this snowing at this time of year. Chaos yeah, Storms, thank you for the 100 biddies as well. The scissor biddies too, it's quite fitting. Oh, they've been showing for two months. <laughs> Yawn. Oh. Enjoy the emotes and this is once again, and thank you very much. Hope you are doing good today. Also, Magos, thank you for the 235 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and cheers. Glad Chad always enjoys the Leon posting. Correct. You know, the ocean got banned in China? That's also my favorite part. The ocean was never banned, it was pulled, because they didn't want their other game getting reviewed, Bomb. I'm gonna say Gaiden. Miss Scarlet, I hope you understand the curse I have wrought upon your game. And I apologize in advance. As someone who's never ran Gaiden, chat, do you know what you know what I keep getting told? I keep getting I keep every time I fucking see Gaiden gameplay or anything with Leon, like in any of the weird games, I just see Gaiden posting. I see the Leon Gaiden emote. That was the best free emote that we ever had. And I'm so I love seeing that fucking everywhere. Like it's it's such a stupid fucking emo we added, and I love him. Ah, this is going to this by head. Exactly. Like, maybe one of the emotes of all time that we got there, Chad. Also, I just realized the saving permanent in the bottom right. And matching bears emo on your channel? It's pretty powerful. Guide it. Oh, if you're subbed, you can use follower emotes in other channels. They added it's that difference. Oh, they have the 100 scissor biddies word of animal. They appreciate it. Please, oh, that's right. They have the 400 donation I need biddies. The donation. Where is the money? Thank you, Pips Drive. Oh, wait, there we go. Also, Ellie6, uh, thank you the five good subs going to Dave Nucci, Naoda, Amanda, uh, Waski, and the man what? Enjoy the most assist you got him. Thank you very much, Ellie6. It is a train. That's 
true as well. That is absolutely true. Oh, I forgot his split. That's fine. Also train. You could be. I love Leon, though. He's so fucking awkward. He's a good lad. Also, that was actually true, Cold Stare. But also, like, I don't speed on Manhunt. I know that much. Oh, you mean about Silent Hill and shit? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And I think with the 500 biddies as well. Cheers. And thank you very much. Oh, shit, chat, you reminded me. I said I was going to add three more bid alerts, but I never thought about them. I only ever added the big boner and a duck eating peas. I don't think I ever added any more. Shit, I need to add three more. That's okay. I told Chad I would give them five because people kept asking. I want more bit alerts. I want more sound effects. And I said, fine, I'll add five. We gotta add the other three. I need three more. You'd mind me, Chad, with the bits. What could we add? Wine. Well, I'll have that. Chad, what's a suitable amount of bits for wine? I'll get that one all settled if I could. In the moss, that we will. I want that meme to live on. It was a nice meme for what it's worth. Oh my god, Gloria's waiting. What would be a good amount for wine? Are there any numbers that correspond with wine, chat? I don't think there are, right? Any wine numbers out there? Oh. Dude, I am so fucking hungry right now. Hungry guy. Yeah. Why is Ben Eric trying to kill us? We failed. That's why. But anyway, what was I saying for all this chat? I lost my train of thought. Leon. I mean, I should try to fast a little bit. I ate a little bit much yesterday, chat, because I was craving Jersey Mike's and I didn't really have a lot of food yesterday. So I was like, I want Jersey Mike's. I had Jersey Mike's. But I should fast, or have something small today. I'll probably get something small. A small breakfast. I could. Oh yeah, and then I gotta get ready for the Resident Evil hotfix. Oh god, I'm gonna have to order food that day. So I can take it up and eat in my room. Small breakfast or small winners. Good. Dude, I'm get I'm so pumped Wait a minute, chat. A full Nebuchadnezzar of wine. I'm not gonna have a full Nebuchadnezzar of wine. What's that? Resident Evil relay, baby. Chat, it's coming on. The R E Lay. The Resident Evil Relay. I hope you're all gonna enjoy it. Saturday, Sunday, 4 p.m., 12 a.m. EST. It's gonna be a blast. The Resident Evil Relay. When's that? It's this weekend. Enjoy the Italian? No, I sell it, Snake. My dad really likes the Italian. I like the number nine with no bacon. Sometimes they let me get more meat. Sometimes, not always. Yeah! I'm also excited for the next Crib Show. I got a couple of fun ones on there for that. I will say, though, Chad, a certain horse might be winking his way back to the crypt. I don't know how he did it, but he finally got his way back. Which, you know, chat, the funniest part, I'll tell you right now. I'm not putting on Juo on the crypt because he's Juo. In fact, I keep sending Keck W emotes uh, if Juo ever asked about the crypt. Juo, Juo doesn't say anything like rude or anything like that. It just if Juo ever asked about uh, like, oh yeah. <laughs> like if he says anything crypt, I just post like, oh yeah. It's like, <laughs> he means like, when's the next crypt streamer? I just post Keck W. <laughs> He can tell you straight up. I just laugh whenever he says it. Me to stir. That is five thousand bits. Get back on the lines. That is a bustin'. Wait, did we hit bustin'? Yeah, you get two bustins thanks to Redisturbed. Thank you. It's been good, Redisturbed. Thank you for the five thousand biddies. Uh, I don't know if you have any of the bit emotes yet, but you may have unlocked tire. Or uh, yes, the fun one. Let's buy this game. Uh, Moth Powers and Clock Tower. Oh, chat, you're right next to a bus, apparently. 
So that's what it is, Slavena. Hope that answers. Lesbian moth flowers. Yeah, lesbian moth flowers. We have 5% more before we bust again. That is true. But that is your bust. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. Redisturbed. I'm glad you've been enjoying the stream. Alright, toss. Close, it is. Yeah, there it is. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I fucking love the yes emo, by the way. He's just so drained of energy. He's just so tired. I don't even know if it's a tire, technically, but like... I really have a yes, because the match is 4 p.m. That's like, babe, 4 p.m., time for your dick flattening. And then, yes, babe. Or yes, honey. We were all Hi, bro. Let's have a good today. Me too, Zeke. It'd actually be cool. I always thought it'd be cool to have power over bugs. But then I realized I don't think I'll ever have power over bugs. All right, Chad, you're currently about 5% off of uh, the next Bustin. And I'm a man of my word, Chad. Every level past five. We'll get one run of Clock Tower Mobile. Oh, yeah, let's talk about Manhunt. Thank you for reminding me, actually, funny enough, Manicor. Yeah, honestly, like, for what it's worth, when I played Manon, I really enjoyed it, and I would like to speedrun it. But then if I make a video about Manhunt, I might end up be- Ah, oh, God, I don't wanna- I don't wanna deal with it, man. Say the name of the 100 biddies, it is much appreciated. Also, Zach Malone, the name of the 245 biddies. And this house is up the code? It's not. Who's Zach Malone? Also, Mars, thank you for the gift of sub going to Solid Snake West. Enjoy the emotion series. Thank you, Mars, very much for the gift of the man. Not only I played one. Prolix, I'm in the Prime game for two months. Enjoy your emotes and scissors. And thank you, Prolix. All right, chat, I'll hit the busting button. It's going to activate in about one minute. It's going to say busting, busting, busting. And it's going to get a little bit loud. The chat has earned the busting, so I'm pushing it now, okay? It's busting time, chat. Yeah, 50 seconds till it busts. There you go. Sure, maybe more fun. Well, I want to make a video essay about Manhunt, maybe. I think I would only want to do it for the meme. In the chat, you can do the meme. Is it possible for a Manhunt guy and rule a rule girl fall in love? I don't need to see. Oh uh, God. You know where you are it's funny. <laughs> Dude, I fucking love the eye torture. Yes! Dude, she just yanks out her eyes. Bloody eyes. I love it. Anyway, chat. Busting in about 10 seconds. Ready? It's coming. It's coming. I like the first man home a lot. It was hard, but I Oh, there it is. Let's try manhunt too. I don't know if I want to. There's your busting, Chad. You unlocked your busting. It hasn't busted in a while. Now they got back-to-back -back bustings. I get so obsessed with eyes in these spin-offs. I'm obsessed with eye torture. It's part of the nature. You get in this franchise, you're obsessed with eyes. Please, Chad, donation. look at my fucking shirt. I need the donation. Look at that. Where is the money? She yoinked out her eye with a pair it of scissors. Have, I, got this as a, I got this as gift art from me, Jessica, to make in his shirts, and I fucking love this shirt. She just yoinked out her eye. Do we have the dank merch? Candy course, they have the 250 donation biddies. He is much appreciated. Alrighty, chat. It's a gorgeous piece of art. Oh, yeah. Well, I always mention that merchandise wise, I've always wanted to have shirts that look like band shirts. I don't want to have things that are like, uh... oh, there was. There was one. You're right. There were bustings for that. But those are single bustings by one, one dedicated man who wanted to. Not fret over every egg when making the mother of all omelets. Exactly, exactly. You, you wear this, uh, you, uh, you know, and you have to take care of daycare, I suppose. Take care of your kid in daycare. Hi, everyone. And then just... It's all my fault. It would have happened. All right, Chad. Anyway, this is like ten minutes of dialogue. So here's what's gonna happen. They only used it. Um, I guess I'll wait up a hype train, and then after the hype train, I'll play an ad. Because I feel bad if I play an ad during a hype train. That probably doesn't make sense. So, 
they had noticed how most were we're gonna watch the ending Felton. After he the mother of all Joels can't fret over it. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I love Joel so much. I'm, I'm happy Aggie showed me the way of Joel. He's a good boy. So, there's that. Thank you, Candy Clutch, once again, though. And I might show you have Manhunt too, but God, there's so many videos I want to make. Chat, I'm actually going to try working on a video tomorrow, though. I want to. Or today. Today, tomorrow, we're going to call it. I might do that uh, just to occupy time while I try to fix the sleep schedule. This? Let's just forget. But that should be good. Was created as an anti-psychotic drug for war veterans suffering. Uh, actually, I got one more minute before I can finally stand up. To forget. Where her eyes, Horse. she yanked them out with a shard of glass. Father, who they're gone. His life, forcing her that to live. good, by the way, Prolix. Is... Her eyes are Just gone. Like all of us. He was a victim. Are they friends? Uh, no. The, the exact the opposite. In fact, they hate each other. When they withdrew the drug from the market because of its crazy side effects. Wyman, that fucking bastard. Synthesizing parasites and mixing them with That's the some drug. joker level shit? Yeah, kind of, actually. They showed him he could do better. Chat, you want to see something cool? It's possible to modify and the control fun. memories. Yeah. Our memories. Close. But we were only able I like to this control bunker. the moths nice and bunker. be sick, very sick, and those damn memories will come up again sooner Pumpkin? or Pumpkin. later. No, I Hooray, seen. chat! The level, level five it ended there. I mean, I don't have to play Clock Tower Mobile. Uh, also, chat. All right, this is the ending. I'm gonna go piss. Uh, really quick, I need to play an ad to the Twitch thing. You want to avoid the ad? Adblock, Twitch Turbo, Sub to the Channel, or Prime Gaming. Those are your options. You got your busting. I'm going to go piss. This is just them talking for 10 minutes. Don't know what they're playing about? Just say Big Pharma Bad. I'm going to go piss. Be right back. Find the ad now so you don't miss gameplay in the next game. Yeah. And he was the one to push her to leave. And eventually, she did. She ran away. But You're in charge, Dick. I still have unanswered questions. It's not too late. Got the water. It's just not your end yet. It may be the end of everything. And maybe we're already dead. And neither of us knows it. <laughs> I'm not the one who is crazy here. Maybe we both are. You could have been one of us. No, I couldn't have. Yes, you could have, sister. But I could never forget that day. All the screams, the flames. How could you? You wanted to propagate it as a sign of God. This was not a gift. This was not from God. It was fucking stupid science. And those two things have never been compatible. We believed it. It's true. And we were wrong. But you left us there to die. I, I don't... I, I don't know. I, I don't remember. I, I can't remember. It's all confusing and I, I anyway, don't... It's over now. No, I don't want to die rotting in hatred. I've hated all my life. I don't care anymore. It doesn't matter who you were, what we were. You are what you have become. Look at yourself. I'm... Nothing like this. This is all just farce, discount store garbage. You know, now I remember when I was young and I would lie on the ground. Oh, I loved doing this. I would stay for hours staring at the emptiness and seeing myself somewhere else where I could go far away and now all these memories hurt oh, 
it hurts so much. Why can't we just forget? Why? 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 Why do we have to remember? Because... Oh god, I came back on that line? Wait, did I miss the discount store garbage? It's my favorite line in the game. We'll find her. I know you will find her on top of the world. What? Earning the vibe again once you feel sad, so it does. You know, if they got her to a hospital, maybe she would have lived. I'm not gonna lie to you. It did take 10 minutes. And like, this isn't America, this is like Italy, right? Like, the Italian hospital should be more effective than the American hospital. No, Sersky? But yes, Sersky. Yes. But no. But yes, but no. And that means is you're absolutely dead on. However, legally, it's not. Legally, it's based on an amalgamation of 90s heroines. You're correct. It's a good eye. Love heroin? Well, now we're back to heroin again, Chad. Oh, I bet, Manicor, I bet. And also, yeah, like, it, it should be the Italian, uh... Actually, hold on. How old is she meant to be here? I don't know. Maybe the 90s? I think it's in the 90s. Maybe earlier? I don't actually know. 92? Is it actually 92? Because like I know the end game, like when they're old and shit, that takes place during modern day. What was it? Because they have iPhones and stuff. Um what did she find? And I know she's meant to be about forty here, or like thirty seven, I think. A goodbye. And then she's like spoke of hope. High hope. teenage age in the flashback you mean to time. Say that despite everything, she was not resigned to the idea. What's in the bag? D's is in the bag. Not oh, exactly, all. Pineapple Buddy. Exactly. Alright, right, chat, ready to go? Alright, chat, like I said, it's time to make like Elvis and break some porcelain. Yeah! Alright, I'll do number three. Alright, ready? Let's do this. That's trippy. I know I'm not... Uh, right, like... Chat, I have a problem, which is, on the one hand, I like to at least, like, throw on things to support. Oh, wait. There we go. Uh, again. I like to throw on stuff to support, but at the same time, I always like to be careful with the, um... What's the word? Yeah, 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 it's all good. There's nothing wrong with that, uh, you agree. There's nothing wrong with that at all. It's just more the case in, uh, in a lot of times, like, games that might take a long time vary their length based a lot more on difficulty, like I suppose. So the thing is, if the game's a puzzle game and you know the answer, time, you save a lot of time by knowing what they expect you the to take a while to do. Would be even more devastating than all also, chat, I love fucking around. around in this game, so check it out. There would be no separation oh my god, look at her ride! Post-trauma. The memories would wander autonomously in search for answers or a common ground. Fractured by spells of amnesia, hallucinations, and emotional swings. Two uh, opposing good. perceptions would coexist. Yep. Over a lot of nothing wrong with that. One another. To the detriment of the one. Which well, trivia though is when you have a horror game that's shut. long as shit. The so called porcelain memory. No, it's funny, Jeshabu. That's why I do it. It's funny. 
Sometimes you gotta make yourself laugh, you know? Ah, right, Chad, I hope you're proud of me. You know what I've been doing lately? When I play, when I've been playing WoW, when I'm playing World of Warcraft, right? No, this, is, this isn't a World of Warcraft conversation. It's a more important one, Chad. Every time I play, I look at all the all chats, look at the chats people are having. Every single time someone asks a question or something else, you know what I say? I answer with D's. It's D's. Or DN. <laughs> you get a lot of people. No, it's on D's? Yeah, D's nuts. Got him. <laughs> Every time. I just love saying D's. It's fun. Makes me happy to say D's. It's okay, Hound. It's a fun time for all. You want to say got him? D's? What's D's? Run. I know there's the king of D's, Mr. Fuliyuki. The champion of D's, in the fact. Bathroom in room number 212 has you like Sea of Thieves? Oh. And don't forget you know, I know a few people who might. Not quite for me, okay. though. You've really done it this time. Make sure that the two of you don't get him agitated after his. But chat, one of my death. favorite things to do, though, so going Mr. back to WoW really Ashman quick. A lot of people I'm ask sure. for a group, because, uh, you know, we have dungeon shit in, uh, in MMOs. A lot of people ask to group for one of the dungeons, and the uh, the uh, shorthand for it, uh, I guess the acronym, is DM. So you ask, oh, any groups are DM forming? I'll just say, oh no, but I've heard about some groups are DN forming. Because, you know, DN. You'll ask, what the hell is DN? These nuts go. Or I'll just die, doing good. It makes me laugh every time. You gotta get your joy of something innocent, you know, boring. something nice, something fun. They had gone mad. Oh, and and this I game is rough, Miss Scarlet. I like the game; it's rough. Sure yeah, that poor up dog. Poor What's girl. up, dog? She was locked up in there by her How own you? parents. Why? Hi, Jen. Oh, Andrea. How about you? I'll start with room two thirteen. Oh, what a game, chat! You like the Scissor Man? Me too. Chat, I'm ready for a whole new era of people, scissor managers. They really forced you to reclaim your uh, top place at top of G and H. Wait, was there a new role, role the record for the categories? Or I mean for the new Joe, game? I don't like it at all, Lynn. No, I was on Joe, you've been good. Even for the port plus? Who is that tray for? Who are you talking to? I don't understand. New game, port plus, baby. <laughs> You know what did they do to you? So there's another the Moose to Clear remake graphically. Oh, it's first the original game with some additions. It's port plus. It's port plus. This is supposed to be a hotel. I'm excited though. <laughs> and clearly so Clock Tower is gonna be the hot new speed game, chat. This must be the hotel. Uh, nice. One which was engulfed and destroyed by the fire. Good stuff right there. Good stuff. Oh Why is she willing an axe? She wants to. Doing well, am I? Doing good. I'm quite excited. Been hearing a lot of the clock tower news and thought I'd whip out a marathon day. Uh, I've been pairing a Resident Evil event for GDQ. Oh yeah, chat. I was actually talking earlier about Mr. Horse, the Jew Horse. But yeah, um, but Jew, like, you know, he, he earns his runs. I want Jew to know. He he earned the run he's going to be running at GDQ. I gave him a run on GDQ Hotfix, he earned that fully. I think Jew runs a neat game, a game I wanted on Hotfix, and Jew is a good runner for it. It was, Jeshbu. This game was a rough game. I like this game, but also I like cro uh, Crocs and shit. What game? Amanda the Adventurer. He has a world record in it. The show I have going on fits Amanda the Adventurer. That game is good. I like the game a lot. I thought Amanda the Adventurer was a fun game. Oh no! Oh, Drew, oh, Peta. They completed their chores. The boss is here. Like this game is actually one of the worst released in the last five years. You see that? It's funny because now Gollum is so much worse than this. Just zero, right? Just zero. 
Well, no, Joe, you know, Joe, Joe ordered his Wheaties and that. He ran a man of the adventure. He ended up getting the, uh, the recce in it. Putting that dank work. God, I love, by the way, chat, you know what my favorite part about this game is? The time I ended up getting featured in Norwegian news articles pertaining, pertaining to what? Uh, hold on. Hold on, I messed up too much. Ida. Why are you working? Hold on. That's so weird. There we go. There we go. That's, that's weird. Golem is neat casually, but I don't want to speedrun it. I tried speedrunning. Dude, the Golem speedrun's hard. Like it's a mean hard too. It's coming from like I too. I applaud Easy Escape with Who's all the work he put into Gollum, and I really hope he's able to hit some high heights. But like, I don't want to run that game. It reminds me of Alice Matters. Oh this God, I throw an Alice again. Oh, oh yeah, Duo and Joe, you hear the news? After I do the next Wheel of Games type stream, <laughs> I'm going. Wait, get out of the way. Thank you. What I'm going to be doing is I will be running every single game I have ever ran that is on the Wheel of Games in a row. Keyword on the Wheel of Games. I did turn H in, and no worries. And okay, what? After the Wheel of Games, the plan I've had for a while is that I want to run every single game I've ever done in a row. Let's take less for multiple streams. I do plan on getting proper sleep. I'm not gonna like all 120 plus. It's actually close to 150, but yes. Only the Wheel of Games ones. Again, I'm not doing fucking Wallace and Gromits. I'm not doing shit like, you know, anything that's not on the Wheel of Games or things I obviously don't remember. Oh, wait. There's. Uh. What could the code be? Yes, yes, yes. The French window. No, nope, we're not doing. I'm not giving a free Wallace and Gromit. No, no, joke. I count it. It's about 150. Oh God, I'm freezing. No, I'm not gonna do Wallace and Gromit. Why would I do that? No. And it's not. I'll, no, I'm not gonna do one sitting. It's like you know, I'll take you know the normal like sleep. I must find a way I mean, it's cool on. Yes. I'm about to leave once we're streaming. I was gonna go from uh, oldest games I learned to most modern game I learned. So oldest and newest. That's not every game. I, that's why I said every game on the Wheel of Games that I include that I feel like I can confidently run nowadays and won't cost $5,000 to run. Now, if you have not $5,000, you can have every game. The rule still stands. What's going on, kids? Mommy is coming. Andrea, I have to hide. They already made it in the closet, by the way. I totally did. Calm down. Calm down. Or about release it when I played them? When I played them. I have a way to check that, I think. Sweet Home, no, Sweet Home's not the first one. Uh, first one is your boy. You damn well know that the first one's gonna be chat. There's no other option. You, there's no other option. Mommy is exhausted. Oh, five thousand dollars just lost and ramen. Up front, all at once, one person. This is a horror game, Joe. Of course, it's not kid friendly. No, Clock, Clock Tower Mobile. The first game is going to be Clock Tower SNES chat. Come on. Oh, I forgot to split like anything, by the way. I've never ran Manhunt. So Mario Sunshine? I never ran Sunshine. Oh, that was actually really claim. Oi, bro, you come to the wrong part of town. Ah, chat, always a classic. Actually, I might gold that. Let's see. Chat, ready? Oi, bro, oh god, no. Eat cup. 
Oh, hey, Rob, you come to the wrong part of town. There we go. Hey, you. Oh, we did, chat. Now she was dead? No, no, no. She still had bus fare. She wasn't dead yet. She can't be dead until her bus fare is gone, chat. That's how it goes. Oh, hey, I didn't get the dumb glitcher. He's playing the audio over this fight. No, it's not sucking dick for bus fare. It's the fact that if you try walking around with, uh, you know, you're walking around with bus fare, you're gonna get shaved. If you go to the wrong part of town, in the, uh, you know, in actually many cities. Los Angeles, the UK, probably New York. Make me laugh? I'm laughing in general, but yes, you're not wrong as well. You have to wake up. Yeah, Chad, that is the plan. I'll be everything on the Wheel of Games. Shit, they drugged you. Or I could just do it on the order I put it in on the Wheel Listen, of Games. We'll you see. You have to leave. You have to get away from this place. This story and again? I think the omitted games in the Wheel of Games, if I remember correctly, the omitted games are you heard Balls and Gromit, Undertale, Luigi's Mansion, Blair, Amnesia. Professor Albert and I Elias think Wyman. that's it. The same walking stick you were talking about. See? It was all an act. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I want to do it, Pips, if right, because... It wouldn't have been his. Well, I'm announcing it today because originally chat mentioned today. that apparently Distortion's been doing his own marathon of, like, all his games. And, like, that, shit, I don't want to feel like I ripped off that idea. And I had this idea brewing for a while. So, um... What are you talking about? I, I don't want to like, yeah, yeah. See, I, 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 I might need to watch that back. It sounds like a really cool idea for marathon. We need a movie or series. Oh, Gaston. Well, I got two things for you. One, uh, Fog Tower originates from a movie called Phenomena that already exists. I'm talking about Dark Descent. We will do Rebirth. I don't know. I ran Luigi's Mansion one. I'm not doing it ever again. They found you and they brought you uh and the other one they're going to make a clock tower movie but then the director died so run. they ended up canceling the plan anyway uh Saturday. Fucking hell, Lynn, just tell yeah. me that drug yep it's we it's been a while since we ran some of those older games so they will come back chat they will come back and we're gonna just keep going until it's done and yeah, I mean, a lot of the games I kind of omitted were because they just never did well on Twitch, and like, I just don't think that people want to watch them. Or I don't want to do them. Well, they're not going to make the movie now. The director already died and they canceled the project. I'm not going to do it again. Haunting Ground? Oh, no, Haunting Ground. Well, Hans Aaron does well. Like, I haven't heard until a video anywhere. I still have, I mean, I, I'm on the leaderboard, I think, so the old VOD should exist. I haven't played it since before I got partnered. Or after I got partnered, I think. When a mother moth and I ran Genocide because, you know, Undertale is like little, like, four bits in it. She does everything. That being said, you know, I wasn't big kind of streaming it. I just don't. To maintain control over the others. And I wait. Oh no, she's dying. Eliminating the threat. Nice. That's fair. Yep. And then as well, there's a lot of other games. I'm like, eh, but everything else is fair game. If I didn't mention it, I'll, I'll probably reevaluate the list. I'll see what's on the wheel of games. And then my rule is that we must get one completed run. I don't care how good or bad it is. It's one completed run. Oh, of course. Gotcha, gotcha. 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 Alright. Well, I think I want to save time because I'm not showing off the weird RPG mechanic. There's no it exists in this game, chat. As you're doing, it's kind of weird. I think last time I did this marathon, I was like very analytical. Now I'm just fucking around. Why? Well, all my analytics were in the beginning. I was talking about the new clock tower stuff, and I pumped for that. Now, like, that new remother will add that, but like, 
Dude, I'm wondering these. Uh, wait, D dead franchise is coming back means oh shit! I'm gonna be, I'm gonna start getting better at the games. I'll just have to start uh, narrowing the scope. But I think videos on YouTube cap out at 12 hours, which is unfortunate. Yeah, the very same Nervy Destroyer, which is the, uh, if you have keys throughout the game, you can go to a box, which will then give you upgrades like more stamina, uh, more stealth, uh, you get better moth powers. You never learn Shit. about it. You have to find the box and hope that you, uh, learned it. Otherwise, you're just kind of SOL, which is sad. Richard. Jesus. Oh, you didn't go, by the way. Hope you've been well. But yeah, chat. A lot of games would come back. Sweet Home would come back. Maybe I can use it to my advantage. As well, chat already mentioned it, but I would have to do another run of uh, Book of Memes. He's cheating. Ow. Code him and goo. I got it. Stop you little get extinguished, Ow. idiot. Oh, we did it. God, the funniest fucking thing to me will forever be the shark. It's a meme about a shark and it just says get flipped, idiot, and then they just flip the shark. I don't know why that makes me laugh. It's stupid. Come on, come on. Hi, Zach fan. I'll be doing good today. Concentrate. We say we're good. Nice. Inside of you. You are a mother Acherontia. Mother Susperia. I'm listening to you. What you have is not an illness. It's a gift. Good. Nice. Get rotated. Yeah, you said get rotated. Use it. You can do Dude, it. Dude, I would love to. I would love to push shark. But you know, chat. I came to a conclusion. By the way, I think at some point I was talking to my buddy again. I'm back on the board for his deep sea fishing adventure. I have to leave at once. Sir, Quickly it's do. coming from the cold room. I think the lights went out. Kiss my ass, dickhead! Is that John Dees himself? Yuki, door. I hope you're proud of me. Lately, when I've been playing World of Warcraft, I have been trying to channel your energy, and I keep trying to bait people into falling for Dees. But Yuki, I must ask, what is Dees in this case? Oh, did I trick myself? John Dees himself. Be useful to us. Nice, Nervy. Very nice. Sounds like a fun time. I have lost in this game. A lot of them. I have to be careful from now on. Oh, is new expansion any good? Oh, I'm on vanilla classic hardcore. Oh, you too, oh, you too. Yeah, cow the D's nuts joke. Wait, which one? John Dis. Ah, yes. John Dis. That's how I look when I have the yellow light on. I'm dying. John Dees can fold John Halo with one finger. Well, yeah, it's not even comparable at that point. It, is, it just... Stop. It's all their fault. All right, chat, dog goes die. Look away for one second. Close your eyes. And your ears. Right. Aldi's? Aldi's? What's Aldi's? Is there all these all these nuts in your mouth? Fuck. I've been hurt. That's funny, the building up twice. There we go. Tell us I still wasn't ready. I told you. I told you. Bad dog? I don't think it's bad dog. He exploded. Okay. I don't think the dog was trying to explode, Chet. Don't want to blame anyone. You can directly don't blame Chris Darrell on Shit, Twitter. She's coming this way. Do you see that old jukebox? Oh, me too, Howling. By the way, I don't know if I have a mod who's going to allow those, but uh, Automod does get that heads up. You're not in trouble or anything. It's Automod gets it for the reason you probably expected to. Their chores. Obviously. Oh, yeah, Juo, but I am... Uh, yeah, 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 you're good, you're good, so I'll make sure. Automod's a, a weird, weird lad. You killed the dog, she did. Exactly, Alex looks cursed, a little bit. 
Yeah, I know you're perfectly fine. I just like to tell people just in case they like, you know. Where the fuck is it? I like to be sure just in case that you know you're all good. No, she heard me. Oh god. It's the uh I, I don't know why uh Twitch uh Automod's so weird about it. But usually at this end I think mods start sleeping, so it's the uh we're modless behavior chat. Well, it's good, God gone. Thank Hope your morning's you, good. Thank you. Hold on just a little longer. Is that the mother moth? We're all the mother moth. I was like, boom. Jenny, you can stop her. I beg you. Stop her. Can't seem weird. It is weird. Tally's in here somewhere. You can sense it. She might be, but she might be working. Tally's a working girl. She works hard. He delivers that dank, patey content that people need. That was Nari. This game is weird. Modless? Off, not totally modless. Second, singing and playing the violin Don't you love the black screen in this game, chat? Oh god, I am so pumped for the new Clock Tower stuff. I could do it with you. I play the piano. Listen, we can do this. I don't know, Jen. God, though, it's gonna be ambitious, though, Chad. How would we even get there? Running every game I've ever ran in a row. Yeah, dream on. <laughs> it's only two weeks away. We can work on it together. All we need is. Might need to get an editor for that. I know the piano so well. Maybe I can. Nah, I can't do it. I have to find someone to. But the lyrics are no. Scrub through the best bits. My father used to tell me that nothing, not even time. I need to find somebody to curate the content. Though is the problem. I don't know how to do that. Where are you from? <laughs> it's not a nice story. Oh yeah, I forgot about some of the ideas. This is the last game. It is the hey, final game of the marathon. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Abdul Jabbar. Abdul Jabbar. I love Abdul Jabbar. But yeah, we've been doing a lot of games. Although next time, uh, well not next time, but like next year chat when we are doing the clock tower marathon again there's gonna be one at some point that finally adds in the latest edition clock tower report plus what am i doing and i'm pumped for that man i'm not adding every port of the game by the way i'm gonna add that one because it's the latest and greatest as all it's kind of like the definitive and anyways, i'm not gonna run the fucking wonder swan version no we're not doing it chat no wonder swan Okay, eleven hours. Uh, given what I know, it's probably gonna be closer to about maybe ten hours again. It probably adds about thirty minutes, more or less, depending on how they want to do. No one saw no life. I'm not running Clock Tower Wonders one chat. Also, doggo drop. It's not too late. It kind of looks like the reception of an old hospital. Something simple. Something nice. Ugh. Wyman couldn't possibly Way. have used business's finances to fund the. This is how it all started. All right, chat. By the way, you are very, very welcome. Coming mother Acrantia. No wonder. Oh dear. Get me out of here! Hi, right, Cervante. They have the two under six months. Finally, in the home like stretch, I see. We are right at the end of the game. Enjoy you. the green scissors, and thank you. Hope you're doing great today. Also, cheers. Wonder Swan. No, we're not running the Wonder Swan yet. In the fall, by the way. Also, oh, in case you're wondering, yes, I ate speed on time loss, so I can deliver to you the greatest. To the protection room. Which was uh, what's the word? Oh. Oh shit. Oh god, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh god, I clicked off. I also have clicked off my chat. Chat! Fuck. How's it going, Cervantes? We're doing Not good again. today. Oh, we're doing well. Thank you once again. What the hell is going on now? I actually all tapped off my stream, shit. What is this place? A generosity that knows no bounds. Where have I ended up? Knows some bounds. This? How did it end up here? But yeah, I, I I don't mind the time loss there because in all honesty, I, I do not disappear. want to have my fucking ears assaulted by this game. Are we on par? Uh, we'll see. Hey, you! I'm here! Hey, I'm here! Hey, you! I'm here! This way! 
Dude, my man's turboing, chat. He's cheating. I can't believe it. Admin, he's doing it sideways. All right, we got him. He's asking, is this going on Builder Bar? Oh, uh, we're like near the end of the game, yeah. I don't know, I'm stretch. I we'll see how far I had her behind me there. There we go. Anybody there? I'm like, we're probably like right on the right on the docket because I skipped a few of the cutscenes. Somebody help me, Lynn. Lynn, tell me you're there. Anyone? I don't know. Look at her spin. Somebody All right, cool. Back to business. And right at the end. Yeah, the ten hour halls are long though, man. They're long, what long finding? halls. What exactly are we looking for? Shh. We have to be quiet. Mm -hmm. Ashman always keeps some cash in the office. God, I wonder what games are gonna go with each other when I think about it. Yes, yes, yes. That means I gotta learn about I gotta remember most games I learn in order. I think it was the fall, by the way. I wonder if I'll also find my violin. I don't know. I think it's gonna be a fun challenge, Chad. How long ago did you get here? It will be two years in I think it'll November. be fun. I don't know. I'm excited for it. I'm happy. I'm happy I was able to tell you. I definitely would have liked to keep it a little bit more surprising, but like, I can always announce it again when it comes up. the new maid. What about you? How was the Flemington so girls that. and whatever it's called? Mm, it wasn't bad. We're here. And before that, I ran away. At least that's what I remember. This game, uh, it's both. It, it's weird. This game's weird. It's a sequel. It's a prequel. It's everything. It's all of it. Change life. Change name. It's both of them. It's both of these. Locked, obviously. And Chai, you might find yourself asking, "What's these?" Oh yeah, Chai. No, that actually reminds me. I'm finally, I'm finally gonna be making. Uh, I don't want to work on it. Tomorrow I'm going to try doing a one-shot video for uh, YouTube. Um, we have here. It's going to be fun. But D's? Yeah, D's, Hound. But I've been wanting to make a Twisted Metal 2 speedrunning video for a while, and it's going to be a simple thing. It'll be a very simple one, but I think I'll just give a little bit of knowledge about um, just uh, a game I like quite a lot. I've talked about Twisted Metal in the past, and I really do like the game, so I think with the, you know, new show coming out, maybe it'll be exciting to draw some excitement for Twisted Metal 2 speedrunning, right? I think it'll be fun. Not again. I'm excited for Twisted Metal 2. Like, honestly, chat, for the first time in quite a while, I feel like I'm genuinely excited for a lot of new media coming out. I kind of felt like for a long time, there's a lot of media coming out, and there's not a whole lot that's specifically tailored to me. And, I don't know, it's kind of nice knowing that I might be able to have some of that for once. Yeah, it's just mill games I own. Two, three, four, black, reboot, small brawl. Head on. I have played quite literally all of them except for one. I didn't play one because I didn't own one when I was a kid, and two is really good. You may find yourself asking, where are all the games? Um, you may find yourself owning a PS5. <laughs> oh god. I can't. There we go. Ooh. Chad, don't you love this amazing boss fight? I have to hide. Ooh. At least until I manage to build up some energy. You may ask yourself. I love that song, by the way. It's just fun. How did I get here? Ah, chat, I see more people. Uh, we're literally just waiting for that top right to fill up. We are. How's it going, track? Erica Lawless is here on for 16 months. Enjoy the emotes and the scissors, and thank you. Hope you are doing good today. And cheers. How are you doing today, Erica? I have to try again. Chat, what an amazing boss fight. It just... 
Wait. Wyman? Yeah, his name's Wyman. Right? What an amazing boss fight. Yeah, this is this is why the Remothered franchise is on par with Dark Souls. This is probably a Souls game, man. It, it may as well be. Like, they don't ever talk about Remothered Souls, and I think Remothered Souls deserves more respect. Dude, he's beating my ass. Hold on. Chat, you shoot her ass, it bounces. You shoot her head, her ass bounces. That's where it goes, right? Also, let's make it the fun Easter egg thing. You can see him up here. Yep, there he is. He's right there. I'm doing good. I've uh, been having a lot of fun, a lot of good news lately. Oh, no. Pretty hopeful about things. I think... I think... Things are exciting, chat. Dark Motherborn? It could be. You know, chat, I would really like to create a video essay in the vein that I know a lot of creators have done. And I think it'd be quite fun. I gotta eventually get around to that. We did it! I don't see anyone following us. Like, the problem is I don't know like how much I would need to have for my own editing. Speaker control room. I simply took out the cables. Like, uh, one of the videos I'd love to make something on is Deadly Premonition. A game really the stuck with me. I still think about it today. That's exactly what they wanted you to do. Also, as an instance, they'll be doing good. Like, Deadly Premonition is a game that I still think about. I don't know. There's a lot of things you can relate to. Oh, Shen, I mean, with Deadly I think about myself, uh... You will never let me leave! Why are you involved in this, too? Not just myself, I suppose, but I think about... What did you do? It's a game that wants to be itself very much. Not to trust anyone! Did I see that? Yeah. Well, that's what I like to Pips Bright. It's a game that... I never played, uh, DP2, but I played, uh, Deadly Prim 1. And, uh, with Deadly Prim 1... Uh, just the message I got from it was... It was about a guy who was unknowing, unknowingly him. Or, I'm sorry, I guess, you know, full knowingly him, I suppose. Not unknowingly. He's, he's very sure of himself, and it's about, you know, just being yourself to a degree. Got a quirky town and a quirky dude. What the hell was that? I was love and joy what the game has. It can all be summed by just saying life is beautiful. Because you know what? It is. It is beautiful, Chad. Why did you do it? <laughs> And do, 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 do. Although I'm not gonna lie, I would kind of like to look into making a manhunt video for the sole fact of, um... Chat, it's the meme! It's the, could a ruler roads girl and a manhunt boy fall? <laughs> really? I mean, you, you know what I'm talking about, right, chat? It's the fucking, the stupid goddamn meme. I just wanna get away from this place. I have to keep trying. Like, uh... Oh, God. <sighs> I don't know. I mean, I like Manhunt well enough where I feel like I can talk about it. I don't know. I like who really talk about that game in all honesty. I feel like I'd be making the video entirely out of spite, which would be funny. Memes and spite. That's what it all goes back to. Reed, you can do it. We. All right, chat. Time to become rammers. We're gonna ram this door down. Yes, the door. It's giving in. Boom. All right, time for the I big ram. Get your yo beat ready. I don't have any on hand, but you can always just hum it, chats. Do 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 do. Boom. Say it. It is, dude. She's wheelchair drifting. Imagine that right there. Fuck you. It's wild. Fuck you, you piece of shit. But it is you who's the My things. Oh, yeah. The cassette player. Maybe I can use it. All right, ready? Chat, a full recording. We got it. Bingo! Fuck. Son of a bitch keeps rambling you can on You walk? And on. She was strapped to a wheelchair, like a... She was tied to it. Why so she wouldn't move. Don't you understand? I don't know why they chose a wheelchair for her, but yeah, they tied to her. 
And then chat, like real Americans. Gun is the answer. She is no fear and cannot help you. Sanho boy is an... honestly I might want to spot those John Adrian. Like Sanho girl makes a lot more sense, while Amnesia boy makes a lot more sense, I think. I've had to weigh the two between each other, I suppose. I'm coming, son of a bitch. What an amazing no. boss fight chat. I sure value this part of the game entirely, very much so. You and I need How to amazing. Talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's not possible. This is the Red Nun's Lin. Nice. Was Lin. That exates? It could be him. I actually I don't know. You know, it could be. They had all gone mad. Wasn't there another way to stop? Like, this game did have a larger like budget, it would fire. have more recognizable names. Even then, the first game had Adam Harrington, too, so I mean... The monster protecting her. The game did it pretty well. Anyway, chat, it's now time to count about that fucking bitch upstairs. But in case you're wondering, if you try typing it, what's going to happen is uh, Automod is going to think you are saying bad things. However, you can just type a number when you hear it. It is time to hear about using my power. I have to be quick. I have to find that fucking bitch there upstairs. I know she's there. God, I can't Maybe believe I can this part. Power. Maybe I can use my power. Where the hell is she? Help me. There she is. Lynn is being controlled by her. I have to find her and stop her at once. Got her. Help me! I beg you. I know she's there. I have to be quick. Quick, I have to find that fucking bitch there upstairs. I know she's there. We kind of 2.5. Because, like, she cut herself off to talk about that bitch upstairs, but she was about to talk about that bitch upstairs. Well, Tally is powerful and based. Uh oh. Yeah, the voice acting in this game is not bad. Just gameplay wise, a lot of questionable decisions. Help me, I, you. I have to concentrate. I can do it. Yeah, Tally, you hear my big announcement, by the way? I have the goal I would like to do. I'm announcing it earlier because I didn't realize that the idea was also being done Davis elsewhere being around. I have to find so I uh, didn't want to seem like I was ripping off an idea, so I wanted to mention what it was at least. I've been talking about my idea for a while now. Oh, I forgot to hit Linda the Brick, shit. Ah, oh, shit. Fucking bitch there upstairs. That's my bad. I may have messed up there, Chad. I may have choked. Help me! I beg you! I have to go find that fucking bitch upstairs! Oh, well, Chad, you, 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 you get more information about bitches upstairs. I'm happy for you. You can live your best life, Chad. Alright. Eat me! brick! I have to be quick. I have to find that fucking bitch there upstairs. Maybe I can use my power. Yeah, I just realized. Eat brick chick rhymes with eat puck fuck. Like, it's fun alliteration. Help me! I beg you! Or eat brick, Lynn prick! By her. I have to find what? her and stop her at once. God damn this game. I have to go find that fucking bitch upstairs. Or maybe I can use my power. I'm not gonna make this one. Eat brick, dick. That also works. Hey, okay, we're getting one more. Dude, dude, she's so far away. Holy shit! I can do it. Nice. Give me that. Give me your wallet. All right, chat. Perfect. I have to find that fucking bitch there upstairs. Maybe I can use my power. My power is nailing her to death. Let's go, Chad. She's gonna eat a bunch of nails. Oh God! Lynn? All right. Lynn? I like eat brick, prick. It's fun. Huh? Yeah, we're, we're hitting her with the nail gun. Yes. What else would it be, Chad? All right. How many was that? Are you counting?
He is misheard. Nothing wrong with that. It was seven? God damn. Thank you, chat. Hey, damn. are you okay? No. Uh, damn. I, I don't know. I... What's wrong with you now? She's only been here a couple of days and she's made a mess of everything. In one base. Where's Lynn? Who the hell are you talking about? Go! Get a rag! Jesus Christ. It's in the utility closet, Jen. You do remember where the key is. Okay. Don't you? No. Actually, yes, but I'm not going to do it. I, I'm going to go fast. All right, let's do this. We I love that glitch. Tess, that's a rare glitch of, like, I'll be standing up in the chair. I literally had that happen to me casually, and it was like fucking I've funny. Been through all this before. It feels like deja vu. I can Although, chat, you know what? I haven't talked about it in a little bit, but I am absolutely fucking pumped for the next Stay EQ. Here. Gloria, one. You're now part of them, too. You've been... Ah, shit, hold on. Let's go. Like, I am pretty excited for it. How did I know that? And why can't I remember anything else? Gloria. You too? Hey, I'm That's glad. I hope you enjoyed the last one. It's I know I got to, got to see Pip Sprite at the last solution. event. Who? You gotta hang Who out with Chally. What? How I'm telling you? Joe he should try going in person for How the next one. He should apply in person. Lindsay. I'll donate five dollars to his it cause. Dream after all. I remember. Maybe even twin. I have to go back to the dumb waiter. You can stop it. I only slowed it. Joe needs to come next time. He I does. Because do then I can say Peter. The horse is here. You're the only one who can awaken my Imagine that kind of power, Chad. I think it'd be fun. Peter. <laughs> that the whole time. Every time I see him, just repeat it. Wait for the joke to be absolutely killed. And then keep doing it. Then have one time you debate where you don't do it, and then do it again. Oh, it's useless. She can't hear me. How do you wake up someone who is trapped in it's a powerful. limbo? It's powerful. What could be used as a push? All right. Think, Jen. Let's Think. go. No, no, no. Shit. No, no, no. What now? What am I going to do? Chad, I can't believe it. He missed us entirely. He didn't even see us. Uh, this is going sly, also known as Gray Fox. Hope you're doing good today. I have to go back. Now Hope I have all is good with you. The hotel Let's see if we're good, by the way. Yeah, we get you. Hope you're doing well. You hear about the, the exciting cinema. Clock Tower the news time. going on right now? Clock Tower's coming back, baby. 2024. The year... Wait, what, did I... what animal do we got for 2024? Anyone actually know the answer? I love the animal-based years, chat. In the hood? Glad to hear it. It's all good stuff. You going to Evo at all? I know a lot of people doing Evo. I'd be going this year, but I'm not going, but a lot of fun fighting game stuff that should be happening. Dragon? Dude, you're the dragon's powerful. Wait a minute. The pig's ass pork? Damn right it is. Okay, now I can have a... I have to go into... I have to hide and try not to make a That's wild. So you're the dragon, huh? Wait, here. Mongoose? Is that an actual year? Wait, chat, what is the dragon? Wait, what year are we in right now? I don't remember. So here's the year of the rabbit or something, right? Is it the rabbit? I don't want to die. I don't want to die. What year are we in right now? Tiger? No. Someone here will know. Rabbit? Dude, I remember when the year started. I said the year of the rabbit was the year of hope. The rabbit was a rough year. You know what one of the best years was? The year of the rat. Because the rat always gets the cheese. We're currently... Oh, wait, I can split that out of there. Currently in Rabbit. Gotcha. Thank you, by the way, chat. I just want to get away from this place! Nice. Dicey you, Rat, you're damn right. All right, chat, we're on the back half of the run. We're almost done. Ready? All right. The cheese stands in good company. You're damn right it does. You should add some animals. Give it a year of the skank. Wouldn't that be Dragon, essentially, though? Oh, they include a randomizer? It would be neat. Uh, funny enough, you know what Clock Tower randomizer currently exists? It's not the best because it randomizes a lot, but I think there is an item randomizer at the very least. Uh, room rando is not good, but item rando is fun. 
but it does exist. Plateau in the morning. These things happen to the best of us. Yeah, chat. As weird as it sounds, oh no, I really like relating the uh, the, the zodiac years to my own life quite a lot. It is Manicore. Like the year of the rat was a good year for me. Year of the rabbit's been ebbs and flows, but also I like the animal years because they got a lot of meaning behind them. They're just trippy. Oh no, I think it's a little bit of fun. Oh, I don't actually know what the rat stands for. Like, I know the rabbit is hope. I don't know what the rat has. I imagine the dragon is power, right? Like the dragon's something with power. Not everyone died at the Crystal Marinti. Not everyone. Yeah, don't you love this? Rats being smart and sly. You know what they say, the rat always gets the cheese, chats. The early bird gets the worm, but the late rat gets the cheese. I can feel him. Time is different in California, yeah. Chat, my zodiac, I can quite literally say. I got that dog in me. I got that dog in me, chat. I mean the second rag? Yeah, the late rag is the cheese. I got that dog in me. The kind of cheese? Well, the kind of cheese rats eat. Jeff, you have any cheese emotes? Post him with the rat. Wait, there's a basic cheese emote on Twitch. Yeah, post him with the rat. You're the dog? Dude, what's the next year of the dog, by the way? Anyone know? I really want to say I got that dog in me. The whole year long. You're a dragon? The dragon sounds awesome, not gonna lie. When are you gonna turn a Lily to Sneak Pyramid Head? Uh, so Chris Darrell did it. Just call you a cock man because you're a rooster. I call my brother, my brother's the year of the cock, he's a rooster. I turned 30, 36? No, not 36. That's so long. I remember my brother saying it was his year, so I said he, I said the year of the cock. Uh, anyway, chat, almost GG. Let Year of the Cock be the reigning takeover of this moment here. GG. Yay! I PB'd because I just brute forced the ending and didn't watch many cutscenes. Why? Bless broken porcelain time. You're Year of the Horse? Erica, does anyone tell you Hita, the horse is here? Here do we have? Well, I'm the I'm the dog. I got that dog in me, quite literally. She was one of the other Jennifers. One of the fourteen. I got that dog in me. Kidnapped, killed. Before they successfully found the right one. Gg, gg, telling it's BB. You know, chat, and I can put this on there. YouTube, Lynn YouTube never highlight. Never managed to come to terms I got with it. PB and all the clock tower games. All the time. I need to skip more cutscenes. Yeah, you're the rat, and the rat always gets the cheese. To my memories. Anyway, Joe, we still have one more important skip to go through, and, and that's the Chris Darrell skip. Other victims. Under I nine hours, then? If I really wanted to take it seriously, we probably could do under nine hours, but we'll probably skip more world. cutscenes and really just, like, go for best RNG and shit. Oh, like, I'd have to play hard. Like, really Baby. hard. Next year, One the snake is 2025. Ooh, my that's gonna be fun here. Resurface. The snake is like intelligence, right? Like cunning and intelligent. I kind of think of what I generally think about animals and then relate that back to the year. Which the rabbit fucking sucks, man. You know what the rabbit is? It's hope and speed. Being fast and hopeful. I'm not fast or hopeful. Look at me. The dragon, on the other hand, I want to soar like a dragon. You are a rabbit? Are you hopeful and fast? That's that's what the rabbit is. They're hopeful. Actually, I like hope a lot. I just it, this year is a bit rough for me. So admittedly, next year the cock is twenty twenty nine. Badass. Wait, when the next year of the dog be twenty thirty then? Because cock is one year before dog, right? 
and she went no, I picked this because I, I said why I picked it earlier, Tobe. I directly said why. Theodore. Ah, of course, of course. Of course. And uh, try. Here's the Chris Daryl skip. Before you get his name and it blocks out, you hit Alt Tab. It'll pause the game, and then you can skip Chris Daryl's name showing up, never existing. Right, we did it, Chet. GG. Oh my God, he did it. The absolute mad lad. So. No, the implication is that Lynn and uh, Jennifer are. Uh, oh God, what's her name? Jennifer uh, had a lesbian relationship. They love each other. 